dare to play. I reset it earlier. Well, that's weird. It says 13 out of 15. River Heights. <gasps> Nancy Drew Suspect. What? What? Hi, I'm Nancy Drew. Ah, uh, Nancy, you're loud. Please give me one second. Um, I don't know if I should be up here. Hold on, guys. <laughs> Ooh, bless me. <laughs> bless me. Oh. <clears throat> okay. All right. Let me turn you down, Nancy Drew. Where are you? You're here. Let's see if I can do it this way. Um. Oh, great. The game crashed. Fantastic. Bless me. Thank you. Does this work? Dare to play. No. Okay, hold on. Let me turn it down. Ugh. Game's a bit loud, I know. The problem with these games is they start off really loud because they're a little older, so... <laughs> I just gotta manually fix it, and I can't necessarily do that Hi, until I Hi, I'm start Nancy Drew. This is, is my center of operation, still my loud? desk. Still go ahead and poke around. If you want to know the particulars of how I do what I do, take a look at the book titled How to Be a Detective. It's real helpful, especially if you're new to the mystery solving business. And be sure to check out my scrapbook. I put memorabilia from all my past cases in there. A lot of them were pretty dangerous and at times really scary. But don't say anything about that to my dad, okay? He worries about me enough as it is. And whatever you do, read what's in the file called Case File. That'll tell you all about the mystery I'm about to try to solve. If you think you're ready to dive into that mystery, just click on the note and you'll be on your way. Okay. Yeah, it is a little loud. Hold on. Let me just turn it down just a smidge. Hopefully this is better. Um, all right. So, Alibi and Ashes, I believe... So, y'all saw at the beginning, it's like a little cute house. I think that's the house that she's in right now. So, I think it's little, I don't know. I could be wrong. I can't, I don't know. Right? That's her house. So, this is where she is right now. So, the, wait, the, the background's changed. This looks different. Oh, hi, miss. No offense to the new Nancy Drew voice, but man, did, does this Nancy Drew voice hit so different. There's just... Now, I'm, I guess I'm going to be a hater, but the other one sounds like a freaking robot in the new game. She ha she sounds like she has no personality, that she's just reading from a script. And this one just has so much liveliness and personality put into the voice. Yes, she sounds like a 90-year-old woman, but I prefer having personality to a younger person that has no personality. <laughs> Um, I'm sad. I still enjoyed the new Nancy Drew game, but I, I was disappointed pretty greatly. I, but I feel bad. I feel bad saying that because I've always wanted to work with her interactive and I feel like when I talk bad about people's games that I'm not going to get opportunities in the future, which might not be false. But I say it because I want them to fix it for next game. That's literally why I say it. Aw, Madrona, thank you so much for the... Thank you so much for getting the Supreme. That was really sweet. You didn't like the new game? I wouldn't say... Okay, let's see. I liked some aspects of the game. However, there was a lot more bad than there was good. Which is very, very unfortunate. I did mean to say 90. Did I say nine-year-old woman? 90-year-old woman? My bad. <laughs> I meant to say 90. <laughs> did I say nine? It's not bad. It's just your opinion. I know, but game, some game companies are going to be really touchy, especially if they're really small. <sighs> it's so frustrating. You obviously love these games. You're not saying it to be a hater. It is true, but who knows? I don't think they want a hater. Um, last game, we did Captain, the Captive Curse. If you can remember, we were in, like, a little 
town, castle, German castle. Um, Y'all remember it, right? We had fun. We had, this was a good one. This was a good one. So I'm really looking forward to Alibi and Ashes. How to be a detective. <laughs> What's this? This anagram from the Clues Challenge says I should go check out the thermostat at the old town hall. Setting, storage room, action, Tom the star in the hold not wall. Tom is a star, I agree. Uh, Junior. Only because I like saying, that's done, that's done. That's done. Also, what? Wait, am I starting? Wait, what is this? Wait, I wanted to click the thing on the desk. Wait, what is this? The last remaining section of the iron nugget discovered by Ethan Mahoney that was used to create River Heights first anvil. Oh, okay. What the heck is this? What is this guy? Who's there? What is going on? What is this? Is that an ice cube? What's happening? Oh no! Wait, what the heck? Oh no! I've got to get out of here! <coughs> oh my god! The... It's jammed what? shut! What? I'd better hurry. Ha what? What's going on? I didn't even click the case notes. Oh. Wait, don't tell me. I have to stack these? to get out? What? What? Wait, where's the exit? I'm trapped. Oh, oh, I the see, only way I out see. Is through that window. Oh, okay, okay, the window, of course. All right, Nancy, this is 100% stable, all right? I don't want to see any complaining. That's a lot of black smoke. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay. Oh yeah, this, this, yes. Okay, hold on, we're gonna... Is this like the backstory? There you go. Time to get out of here. Oh, nice. I need to get out of here fast. the exit what in the world's going on the pressure i know right hi jai good morning uh, okay yeah we'll try I again time to get out of here okay don't go that way i need to get out of here fast don't click the door guys all right i don't know i didn't pay attention i didn't pay attention to the thing where am I? Oh, what is it? There we go. <laughs> oh god. Who are these people? Nancy Drew, what made you decide to burn down the old town hall? I didn't. Did you work alone? <laughs> Who helped you? What do you mean work alone? I didn't do anything. Was this politically motivated? Of course not. I would never Back off. No press until we take statements. Please state your name for the record. Nancy Drew. Wow. When the fire broke out. This literally went from zero to 100 so fast. Bro, I literally almost died. And the first thing that she does is interview me. Like, get off, girl. I was inside the building. Inside the building. What were you doing there? Someone sent me a note telling me to come here. Someone sent me a note telling me to come here. Was there anything strange about the way the fire was burning? Uh, uh, it started really it quickly. Started really quickly. <laughs> what was the color of the smoke? Uh, black. Black. Did you notice anything else out of the ordinary? The sound. It, oh, there was a snowflake-shaped ice cube on the thermostat. There was a snowflake-shaped ice cube on the That's thermostat. Weird. Did you see anyone else at the scene before emergency crews arrived? Uh. Deirdre, Shannon, Deirdre? Why does that name sound familiar? Uh, Alex, I 
Tony and Brenda. Deirdre Shannon. I don't know who the heck Alexei these people are. Lankovic, Tony Scolari, and Brenda Carlton. Do you believe someone intentionally started the fire? If so, who? It wasn't me. It was whoever sent me the it note. It was whoever yeah. sent me the note. I'm not making it up. I promise. Why am there I you suspect? Have it. A former hero and city icon rendered speechless. And speechless what? is the word of the day as onlookers struggle to come to terms with the brazen destruction of the beloved town hall by none other than the girl detective they had once trusted their lives and livelihoods to. Truly a sad day for River Heights. With Heights 9 News, I'm Brenda Carlton. Back to you, Jim. Okay, Brenda. All right. I still can't believe that happened. You could have been really hurt. <laughs> I know. It's lucky that no one else was there. Did you even see what started the fire? Yeah, it was really strange. What there was this the snowflake-shaped ice cube on the thermostat. <laughs> Hang on. There's someone at the door. I'm being arrested! Oh, no! Chief McGinnis? There's... My hands are tied here, Nancy. Are you kidding? What are you talking about? Nancy Drew, you're under arrest for arson in connection with the town hall fire. I had nothing to do with that. What? You have the right to remain silent. Nancy, Anything you say or on? do can and will be held against you. Yeah, in the we court need of law. daddy. You have the right to daddy speak to Carson. an attorney. Daddy Carson. Daddy. We need a lawyer. Are you kidding? We're a criminal. You're free to make a call. I was. This is a setup. This was a setup. Dad, perfect. Oh my god, what is it? We have a record now. Nobody's gonna wanna hire us. No. Dad. You've reached the personal line of Carson Drew. Ooh, Please do we get to see Ned? To the Does Ned? Can we play Hi, Ned? it's Nancy. I'm in jail. I really could use your help right about now. Please call me as soon as you can. Wait, <laughs> Dad, I don't know answer. if I can even get phone calls in here. I guess I'll keep trying you. When you get this message, don't freak out, okay? You don't need to book the next flight home. At least, not yet. What? I got a note telling me to go to town hall, and when I got there, it just burst into flames. They think I did it. I think this might be one of those situations where I can admit that I might need a little help. Don't I guess I better flight, get going Dad. now. I'll try I'm you again in soon. Jail. I should call my friends. Ned. Ned. We're calling Ned. <laughs> Ned, it's Nancy. <laughs> Nancy, what's going on? How are you? All right, for now. I'm not going to be able to get out of here until I can oh, prove that knows. I'm not the one who set the fire. We'll do anything you need to help get you out. I knew I could count on you. Who Remember that we were using for the clues challenge? The program on our phones, right? Right. Let's all use that to keep in touch. All case information and big clues should show up there. Good idea. Wait, There's she's something allowed. I need what? right away. Just name it. The reason I went to the town hall was because I was led there by a note. I need you guys to find that note and drop it off at the station for me. I think it might have fallen out of my pocket when I escaped the fire. Consider it done. How does... Wait, how does she have access to that? That makes no sense. How does she, how does she have access to that? Yeah, use a phone to keep in touch. Great idea. But how does she have access to a phone when she's in jail? <laughs> Issa, thank you. I know the voice is Oakley. That escalated so quickly. I am literally in like, whoa, I didn't even get to do what I wanted to do. Can you please take care of Togo? Oh yeah, Togo. Can you please take care of Togo until I'm out? Way ahead of you. Since your dad and Hannah are out of town, George is watching your house. How's Togo doing? Pretty upset, but George's mom is taking care of him back at their house. Great. One less thing to worry about. Right, so the, how, the, 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 the building at the building on the logo of the main game it wasn't her house it was the town hall got it you don't want to know how the phone got in there <laughs> stop
Stop! Stop! I'm passing the case to you, Ned. <laughs> Time to help Nancy. <gasps> oh no, Ned, we're not, no. Not that background, I'm so sorry. Ooh, that was a good game. Ooh, perfect. Let's do, which one did I like more? Castle Malloy or Dejon De Deception Island? Probably. Castle Malloy was pretty intense. Okay, all right. Um, journal. Let's use this program to keep all of our facts together. Don't forget to keep checking in here for new updates about Nancy's case. <laughs> They've just arrested Nancy. What are we going to do? <laughs> Whoa, I'm Ned. I'm a Ned, guys. I'm sexy Ned. Oh, we should save. Um, you know what? Y'all are gonna hate me, but let me quit real quick and then restart it because I didn't even get to click the freaking notes on Hi, the desk. I, I didn't get to click this. I just clicked the paper right away and they immediately started me in the game. I wanted to know what this was. It's that time of year again. Grab your pins and strap on your thinking caps. The clues challenge is on the way. Teams of up to six may compete in the week-long challenge. Teams of seven or more are allowed with a five-point penalty per extra team member. Along with gaining the undenying respect of town puzzlers, the finders of this year's hidden medallion will preside over the opening of the town time capsule during the Anvil Day's closing ceremony. But wait, there's more! The leader of the winning team will be allowed to place a personal item of his or her choosing in the next time... Next town time capsule. Sign up soon to tackle the challenge and have the rare chance to send a message far into the future. Oh, we're Team Danger. <laughs> That's our team name? Who came up with that? I bet Nancy came up with it. Team leader Nancy Drew, we got Ned, Bess, and George. Clues, the blacksmith architect and the framework ham party. Town founder Ethan Mahoney and the Rackham... Framework ra equals rack gang Mahoney Anvil Co. Through the round, a lower realm could be any circular entrance, a two story building, maybe a glittering trail for all to see, a loft ablaze with incandescent flowers. Oh, wait, they're talking about fire. A glittering trail for all to see, a loft ablaze with incandescent flowers. That has to mean fire, right? Has to be fireworks. Annual, oh. Oh, maybe that does mean fireworks. Just kidding. Annual Anvil Days fireworks are set off from the city park with a statue of Mahoney next to Town Hall. Time to search the park. So they were already, like, on it. So some, so some other team... Some other team is trying to, to get the win, and they literally just framed Nancy for arson. Jeez. All right. Well, we'll show them by trying to kill Nancy. Oh, well, that too. If they really want to get that their item in that time capsule, Megzi, you have no idea, man. This town is serious business. Wait, is there any? Oh. Okay, whatever. Let's go in here. Oh, closed. Ned, what am I doing? Oh my god. Is this River Heights? Oh, the zoo! Ned, we can't go to the zoo right now. Your girlfriend's in jail. What police station. The schoolyard. Oh man, why did I think I was gonna be able to drive? Like, the... What is the clock one? The, the Nancy Drew clock one where we gotta drive around? No! The scoop? What's the scoop? River Heights Mall. The Riverfront Park. Old Town Hall, but it's burned down. Mahoney Anvil Co. Co. Ooh, pizza. Antiques. I think that's where. Wait. Oh my god. It scrolls. Oh my god, it scrolls. The airport. Time to leave. Bye, babe. Oh, wait, what? I'm out of here. You and your crimes, 
they gonna stop me? Oh, I'm back. <laughs> Drew home. Should we go to her home? Where should we go, chat? I don't I don't really know what to do. At this point, we can just get we literally can do whatever we want. Cause it's so early in the beginning. Oh, there's Bess and Marvin Bess and George Marvin. Bess and George's house. They're right next to each other. That's cute. Let's go to Drew let's go to Nancy's house. <laughs> that abandoned us. Nancy, you're you're rich, rich. <laughs> what, girl? Town hall fire sparks investigation. Oh, Brenda. The ta the smoke has finally cleared from the raging four alarm fire that destroyed River Heights historic town hall last night. But many questions remain, despite the police department's reluctance to name suspects. Heights. Nine News is reporting that Nancy Drew, man, freaking name dropping when she doesn't even have her facts straight. Okay, Brenda. Has been taken into custody as of this morning with no other apparent suspects. The case against the teen detective appears to be solidifying. On the otherwise pleasant streets of River Heights, rage and frustration are beginning to overflow as residents struggle to understand the motivation behind such an act. That's Town Hall. It isn't just some old building, said Andrew Schultz. It's where I grew up. I became a frontier scout there. How can someone do that? While many mourn the loss of the iconic town hall, a small contingent is calling for drastic action to be taken against Nancy Drew. She thinks she's untouchable, said a source who wishes to remain anonymous. For years, she has flagrantly disregarded the rule of law and turned this town into her personal playground. I'll finally be able to breathe, e breathe easy when she's behind bars. Height 9 News will be following the story as it develops. Okay, Brenda and whoever this anonymous source is, y'all are on my hit list. Y'all are next. Um, what is this? Grove Street Bridge to close for annual inspection. August summer road construction. Um, on the lighter side, it was a bit easier for River Heights residents to stick to their diets yesterday after the unexpected daytime closing of Scoop. What? The proprietor was greeted by a mob of angry ice cream aficionados upon returning to her landmark ice cream shop an hour later at 2.45. What? Okay. I want my ice cream! Um, look at that grand piano. Look at the white grand piano. Just beautifully- look at this living room. Oh my god. Look how freaking cute. Freaking Nancy, freaking, freaking sakes. Freaking, your house is beautiful. Where else can I go? Are you telling me I can't explore your whole house? How dare you? Oh, we're gonna go to Nancy's room. Oh my God, that window. Oh look, there's Beth and George. Was she putting in the ice cream? They're like ice cream zombies. <laughs> what is she putting in the ice cream, right? I remember she wanted us to grab the note. Oh, you're right, you're right. Did they just use pictures from some house for sale? I don't know. Maybe they got like inspiration from going to an estate sale or something. <laughs> I don't know. This house was beautiful though. Antiques exhibit declared a fraud. The popular traveling archaeology exhibit, Antiquities of the Ancient World, has been proven by none other than River Heights' own Nancy Drew to be an elaborate hoax. The exhibit, which so far has grossed more than $50 million worldwide, recently closed its doors after the authenticity of the exhibit's artifacts were called into question. Also, I love this music. Charges remain to be filed, but investigators have stated that the matter will be taken very seriously. At this point, we cannot comment, said Police Chief McGinnis. We will continue to be, we'll continue to work closely with national and international law enforcement agencies as the investigation progresses. Blah, blah, blah. Nancy's amazing. She saved us um, all of this. Maybe it's all the people that she's 
um, got sent to jail and now they're all after her. Maybe it's because of this, the people with the antiquities. Hold on, maybe I should read this. So far, investigators have confirmed that exhibit organizers were aware that the majority of the artifacts were in fact counterfeit. The elaborately recreated artifacts have toured the globe multiple times, fooling over 10,000 ticket holders, 100,000 ticket holders. They were excellent forgeries, said Drew, but no forgery is ever perfect. It's like that one show, what is it, white collar, blue collar or something? where the guy is like really good at knowing what's a fake. <laughs> After viewing the exhibit, Drew became suspicious when the details of the case didn't match her expectations. The artifacts were a little too perfect, said, said Drew. In addition to that, the organizers didn't seem to, at all concerned when a large statue was accidentally broken. To me, that was a red flag. Drew took it upon herself to stake out the exhibit, gathering enough as evidence to finally put an end to the multi-year fraud. There is nothing more exciting than getting a glimpse of the ancient world, said Drew. We learned so much from history that we can't afford to allow a hoax like this to go unexposed. As of press time, more than 50 artifacts have been declared fraudulent. Well, they didn't say like what happened to these people, so who knows. What is this? Oh, there, that game, Secret of the Old Clock. That's exactly what I was thinking of. Dear Nancy, from teaching our cake decorating class this summer to being the greatest amateur sleuth ever, we can't imagine what River Heights would be like without you. And thanks for everything you've done and taught us. Here's our special tribute to you, your Sweetie Pie's Cake Decorating student. Wow, Nancy hosted a cake baking class? That's impressive. So these people probably won, won something. Look at that. Holy cow. These are really good. Shadow at the water's edge. <laughs> oh, that's that one mini game. Oh, and she just was like, oh, I'm just going to do the whole freaking book with fondant. Girl. Oh, that's. Cl oh, wait. What is that? Oh, that's a little oh, cute. Keyword equals magnify. Wow. She just did. A wow. That's impressive. This is more my style. I would do that or this job good job winners real human people in a nancy drew game what this girl just built a house freaking talent can you man can you imagine i would have flipped out if one of my pictures was in here i could always be in a nancy drew game that is really cute yeah i agree it is really cute <laughs> All right, uh, what else can I look at? Was that it? Can I look at uh, the other? No? What about the desk? Okay, no. All right, Nancy. I may be your boyfriend. But I'm gonna snoop through. I literally went right out of your door. Um, I'm gonna snoop. Look at Nancy's room. You know, this is always where we start the games. Look at her room. It's huge. Cute. Hey, I know these paintings. <laughs> oh, what's in here? On the case. Chapter four, arson. We're gonna learn about arson real quick, guys. New goal, get my picture in a Nancy Drew game. I know, right? I wonder if they would do that anymore. Hi, 23. Hello. You're a massive Nancy fan. You've come to the right place. We don't play Nancy Drew all the time, but, but when we do, it's like a nostalgia trip. I've lived in apartments smaller than that room. <laughs> yeah, right? Fires present, present a unique investigative challenge for police. Following a fire, most of the evidence will have been destroyed or compromised during fire suppression. Investigators are often left with a contaminated and dangerous crime scene. Once the fire has been put out and the crime scene has been secured, the arson investigator must determine if the fire was accidental or incendiary. Investigators begin by locating the point of origin. Once the fires start, Point is located, investigators will search the area for signs of tampering, ignition devices, or possible accelerant use. Kind of hard to do since they used an ice cube, you know? JCAT? Okay. 
Oh, I'm glad you're here. We are playing Alibi and Ashes. I might have played this game when I was younger. I cannot remember. Do I have a favorite game? Um, I feel like I feel like a lot of these games are built on nostalgia since I played them since I was a little child. So I feel like Hidden in a Haunted Mansion and Ghost Dogs and Moon Lake are probably like my top two favorites. And I also like love Treasure in a Royal Tower. I don't know. It was like my sister's favorite was Ghost Dogs and I love that one too. My best friend, hers was a Haunted Mansion and mine was Treasure in a Royal Tower. But all three of those, top tier, man, top tier. Um, ignition devices may have been consumed in the fire, but traces of the accelerants could still be present. Gasoline is the most commonly used accelerant, but other frequently used flammable liquids include acetone, uh, ethyl, 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 ether? I don't know how to say that. Uh, alcohol, blah, blah, blah. Determining that an accelerant was present provides proof that the fire was set intentionally. Specifically trained sniffer dogs or headspace gas chrom chrom chromatography tests are two of the most reliable accelerant detection methods. While sniffer dogs may not always be available, most investigators will have access to a gas chromatography chromatograph machine, I don't know if I'm saying that right, samples collected from the point of origin are stored in airtight containers, typically glass, to preserve any residual, residual accelerant until they are placed in the machine for analysis. Once the test is complete, the resulting blah 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 is compared against that blah. Determining the rep presence of accelerant is only the beginning of an arson case. The investigator must continue to collect evidence, question witnesses, verify alibis, track leads, and determine probable cause. Insurance fraud allowing the owner to collect on the building's insurance is the most common motive for arson but is by no means the only one it is the investigator's responsibility to piece together the clues and find the truth behind truth buried in the ashes fire triangle okay <gasps> she has a photo of ned in her room Ned, uh, this is, it looks exactly like the photo right here that y'all can't see. <laughs> Rip. Okay, what is y'all's favorite Nancy Drew game? Today's lesson, arson. That was a pretty big read. All right, here, Nancy, where's the, where's the note? You lied to me. Nancy, there is no note. Where did you put it? Wait, oh. What is this? Identify object to open and then find objects lock. Pick rules below. Place all four picks first and then manipulate picks in the order as instructed, beginning with the shaded letter. Thursday's to-do list, wash the car, renew passport, buy pigeon food. Frame Ned's picture. Oh, that's freaking adorable. Um, dude, why are we gonna look at all the door? What, what is this for though? What is that for? Is that for the, is that for this? Where's the key, Nancy? Hmm. Um, is there something I'm missing? Freaking, I love her room. I also love the blue and the yellow. It's so pretty. All right, well, rip. Also, where's her dog? <laughs> Doesn't she have a dog? <laughs> where's her dog? Castle Malloy is your favorite? Oh, perfect. That's what I set his uh, phone background to. <laughs> Nancy's not only solves crime, also works with her community. That's a really nice addition to Nancy's character. Of course. Favorite old game? Shadow Ranch. Favorite newer game? Silent Spy. Huh. Hi, Ronan. Welcome home. 
Um, where's my to-do list? Here we go. Get Nancy out of jail. I can't do this now. <laughs> I can't do this now. I can't do this now. Of course. <laughs> Find the note that Nancy needs and put it in the drop box. I can't do this now. I don't know where her freaking phone went. Or her freaking note went. It's gotta, it's gotta be in here, right? There's like, it's gotta be here. Here, maybe I can call her. Like, Nancy, where's the, where's the, where's the key? Hello? I never played any, but I enjoy watching the, the one in the girls' school with the cult. <laughs> uh, the Waverly one? Is that the one? What, what is the full title of that one? Uh, uh, Witches of Waverly or something? I can't remember. Read the last note in the chain. Thanks. Okay, Bye. See you later. Wait. Oh, is this something I can solve? Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Hold on. I thought this was like a tool. Like, I, it's like a phone thing. Okay, hold on. Maybe, maybe I need to look at this longer. Let's see. I didn't find object to open. Then find objects lock. Pick rules below. Oh, identify object to open. We want to open that little cabinet thing. Place all four picks first. What do you mean four picks? Picks what? Like four picks. Uh, and then manipulate picks in the order as instructed. P beginning with the shaded letter. I don't understand. L star G G star G. Place all four picks. I mean, this says backwards. Very second. Forward, backwards, forward. Padlock. Hmm. Didn't she drop the note while running away from the fire or something? Oh, is that what it, that makes sense? Yeah, we should check town hall for her note. That makes sense. Sorry to bother you in jail, Nance. <laughs> I don't think you have a lock picking kit yet. Oh, maybe that's what it is. The picks. Okay, clearly I need something for that. Yes. Oh, look, it's N D. Nancy Drew. Cute. All right, yeah, you're right. Let's go to town hall. Maybe it, it fell out of her pocket. We need that note. We need it. All right, town hall. Let's go. Let's look. Wee! Oh, there it is. There this it is. This must be the note Nancy needs. This is it. Good on you. Hell, heck yeah for remembering that. Who said that? Who said that? Hmm. Ghost. Good job, ghost. Easy, yeah, easy. Okay, let's see. Wow, it's a lot of fire damage. Ooh, can we I go in? I can't get up there. It's too high. Jump, Ned. How tall are you? <laughs> hmm. Looks like we can go in there later. Oh shoot! No, no, no. Go back, go back. I wasn't done. I wasn't done. So I can, can I like mainly play as Ned or is there going to be parts where I'm going to have to switch to Bess and George? Oh. Oh, don't go over there. Uh, hi, Nancy. I came to join you in jail. <laughs> Oops, okay. Man, I've already died, already gone to jail. My boyfriend's in jail. Woo. There is a, there, okay, so don't click on that. All right, nothing else to see here. All right, what did he say? Find the note that Nancy needs and put it in the drop box at the police station. All right, police station. Um, where's the police station? Here. You play as all four characters. Oh my god, how 
exciting. This is so cool. Whenever and there are times you have to play with certain characters. I love that. This is what happens when you don't get your Monday coffee. Oh, Dropbox, Dropbox. Here we go. Package drop. All right, here you go. I should call Nancy. All right. Locked. I can't get in. Why would a PlayStation be locked? But okay. All right, let's call Nancy. <laughs> Cut to tomorrow. All to characters to join Nancy in jail. Yes. Great. If you can put the note in the drop box at the police station, I'll pick it up and take over from there. Uh, you should take you should over. take over. I'll take it from here. Listen, I'm just doing my job here, Nancy, but I don't see any need to keep you locked up. If you want to prove your innocence, I'm not going to stand in your way. This is a police station. Don't let me catch you messing with anything. Get me? Don't let me catch you. One more thing. We've got an evidence board in the station we track cases with. If any compelling evidence were to show up regarding your case, I would consider taking a look. We're free! <laughs> what? I can just walk around? I can just walk, man. This I am the, the best board. criminal. Track your case on it. You I'm got enough to solving my own case. Else, push that button and give me a call. It would have been nice if they had focused on any other suspects. Right? Why am I having to do your job? <laughs> Special treatment for the rich girl. Typical. What is this? What is that? Lab report in custody. Oh, because that's Nancy. What is that? I don't know what that is. Okay, well, we need more evidence. Freaking doing his job while he goes and gets donuts. So, you're calling to say you lost the evidence locker key? <gasps> oh, that's some great police work there, rookie. I'd better listen in. Where'd you see it last? Pancake City? I don't recall Pancake City being part of your beat. Go find that key. I should send someone to Pancake City to find that key. Is there a lot of crime in Pancake City? Well, it's good to know you're keeping the mean streets of Pancake City free from crime. I want pancakes too. No, it doesn't make me less angry to hear you're embarrassed. Go find that key. Flip Pancake City over. Now. Flip Pancake City over. Key. <laughs> that was fun. Do I make puns when I'm angry? No. When I'm angry, I ask rhetorical questions and fire rookie detectives. <gasps> All right, Waffle Town, Waffle Town, Pancake City. <laughs> what the heck? Oh, it helps that Nancy's dad's a lawyer. True. And like the chief, obviously, he's like, I don't want to have to arrest you, but my hands are tied. Literally tied behind my back. But as long as you stay in the station. What if I leave? Oh, what is this? Nancy. Snacks. Oh, Hannah, you always know how to cheer me up. Who is Hannah again? Is Hannah her? Who's Hannah again? Also, that's so nice. Nancy, I'm on my way back from your Aunt Eloise's. I can't stand the thought of you being held by the police. What were they thinking to arrest you? My flight doesn't arrive until late tonight, so I'm sending you these power snacks until then. You'll need the energy to be cracking this case. Oh, her housekeeper. Freaking Hannah is the best. Mmm. Mm. Mm. Yum. This Yum. is making me hungry. Yum. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Yum. Man, how much is in this box? Mm. Oh, an mm. orange. That's healthy. Yum. Yeah, that's true. They're family friends, mm -hmm. basically. Yum. Oh, I thought there would be something that would mm -hmm. happen if I kept trying. You know how there's like Easter mm. eggs mm -hmm. in Nancy games? I feel like they're really hard to find, mm -hmm. though, unless you like look it up. Mm. Okay, I guess there's not an Easter egg. All right, anything else? I'm surprised he didn't eat it. Oh, investigating arson. 
When a fire is suspicious, additional investigation is necessary to confirm whether or not the fire can be classified as arson. Investigation is essential to tracking down the responsible parties. At the scene, speak with the first in firefighter and, fir and fire officer for their initial analysis. Determine who report the fire. Surprisingly, arsonists frequently call and report their own fires to authorities. Use a tape recorder to interview witnesses. Conduct interviews away from other witnesses. When interviewing, remain neutral. Do not influence witnesses' attitudes with personal comments. Once the fire has been extinguished, examine the scene, surveying the exterior, interior and exterior. Make note of probable point of origins for the fire and evidence. Call in a canine unit to sweep the area for signs of possible accelerant use, such as gasoline or kerosene. If accelerants are present, obtain a sample from the suspected accelerant area. Search for evidence of force entry or tampered safety systems. After the fire, secure fire scene for investigation. Determine the point of origin and possible fire causes or fire cause, and analyze fire flow and smoke patterns. Verify witnesses' statements for accuracy. Obtain name and insurance information of building's owner. Document the location of any evidence using notes, photos, tags, and sketches. Gather samples from around point of origin. Contact security system agency to obtain monitoring logs and documentation. Oh, verify all scene documentation is complete. Prepare the same for release. Well, that's a lot. That's a big to-do list. I need to use the public line to make a call. Fingerprint scanner. Ooh, fingerprint. Fingerprint scanner. I need to find the password. Maybe it's somewhere around here. What if it's one, two, three, four? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. At least I can access the hint hotline whenever. <laughs> so wait, the password somewhere? Can we go in here? What's, oh, let's leave! Wait, what happens if we leave? Oh, items received, here we, oh. Oh, we already got it, we already got it. Can't leave now. Oh. Nancy! Please! Bro, oh. are you kidding me? You cannot leave jail. This is a very basic concept. <laughs> you cannot leave jail! <laughs> oh, darn. Well, Nan that was my bad. Nancy wasn't going to, Chief. I promise. Um, okay. What is that? See, Charles Cheeseburger. Is that a cat body and a cheeseburger head? What in the world? Stay in shape by exercising and eating right. You are what you eat. Oh, that makes sense. Pollute and get the boot. Don't pollute, guys. You'll get the boot. Oh, wait. Sorry. Okay, well, where is the pass? Oh, look. Looks like I need a key. I need the password, too, though. Uh, can I not go over here? No. Ooh, DK Daughters. There's no card in here. Insert media card. All right, we're going to need... I shouldn't card. use this phone. All right, this was back in there. That was getting weird out of context. Had to look at the stream. <laughs> Wait, really? How many do I have to eat, Jcat? <laughs> that typewriter is working overtime today. <laughs> it really is. I'm uh, testing the limits. Man, how, where else can I go to find the password? Oh, forensics department. Yeah. Analyze. Insert sample and we can analyze. Man, we got all the equipment here. Perfect. We're doing some like... Not that we weren't doing real investigation in like the other games, but this is like real investigation. You know what I mean, chat? Real time investigating with like machines. <laughs> 
Darn it, where's the password? Is the world ending? If the world is not ending, whatever you gotta say can wait. It's Why Nancy. Are you being so mean? I just have a quick question. Drew, it is not chit chat hour. Some of us have work to do, and some of us are currently being detained and should act accordingly. It is true. I should count my blessings that he's giving me the opportunity to look around. But gosh darn it, where is this freaking password? Is the password in here? And this sticky pad. I shouldn't use this phone. Hmm. Educational. <laughs> Do you think the password's in here? No. Should we call... Should we call Bess or George? I was hoping. So we need to go Pancake City. And we need to find a password. <laughs> Get out of jail. Check. Check! Escape the burning building! <laughs> Check! <laughs> what? Did that. Uh, did that and got that. Explore the police haven't station. Haven't done that. What do you mean haven't done that? Find a way to open locker 205. Figure out the computer password in the police station. Oh, darn it. Where else can I, where else can I look? Where else can I look, Nancy? Wait, what about this? No, oh, shoot. But stop it. Oh, I can't click that. What about the water cooler? No. Anything in the ceiling? No. I don't think we can do any of that yet. Maybe we don't get the password for a while. Because uh, there ain't nothing. Oh, maybe the duffel bag? No. Does this have a password? There's a crowbar. Crowbar and a broken TV. Isn't that from Captive Curse? I think that is. Have you tried a sticky note that says password on it on the computer? You know, like real secure and such. You know, it's exactly what I was thinking, but we can't click on it. But yeah, that's literally like this right here probably says a password, like right here. But when I click that, it makes the book come up. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Well, we'll stop. We'll stop for now. We'll stop. Okay. Uh, let's call. Oh. Oh yeah, I can't use my phone. Let's call, let's call Bess. Hello? Bess, <laughs> it's Nancy. Don't write their Nancy, password. what's going on? How are you? All right, for now. I'm not going <sighs> to be able to get out of here until I can prove that I'm not the one who set the fire. We'll do anything you need to help get you out. Uh, let's see. I found the police investigation board. I found the board. police investigation board. Perfect. It's gonna be like, It looks how? like we're on well, the right track so far. They've narrowed everything down to just a few suspects. Who do they suspect? <sighs> Tony from over at Scoop, Alexi from the antique store, Brenda Carlton, and Deirdre. And, of course, me. Good. We'll keep an eye on all of them. Especially that Nancy Drew. She just sounds guilty. I need your help finding a key. I need your help finding a key. All right, what's the story? I need to get into the evidence locker. Detective Ryan lost his key. I need one of you guys to find it. Any idea where we should look? Yes, try checking out Pancake City. Sure thing. It's your turn to take the case. Best Let's reporting go. for duty. Best reporting for duty! Oh look, it's a haunted carousel one. What else can she do? Design, captive curse, stay tuned for danger. Oh my god, that one's old. Oh, here's Rhea's favorite, Waverly and Crystal Skull. We'll keep Waverly, I like the cat. All right. Um, oh, we're at the scoop right now. Oh, look. 
Oh, hey there. Didn't Christy expect Tree, to see right? you here. I thought you'd be jailing it up with that firebug friend of yours. Shouldn't you be baking her a cake with a saw in it or something? Hi, Dee Dee. Dear Dra, I know it's got that tricky second syllable, but I figured it out by age two. Don't give up. You'll get there. Oh, well, a sassy makes sassy pants. I think you look like a Dee Dee. And I think you look like you got dressed in the dark. If you want to talk to me, and let's face it, most people do, don't call me Dee Dee. <laughs> Where were you during the fire? Are you investigating me? That's so cute. You were just priceless. I know you don't mean that as a compliment. I'm taking it. I know it. you don't mean that as a compliment, but I'm taking it. That's it? No follow-up? What is this? Good cop, no other cop? You're going to have to tell us what happened eventually. Or what? You can't make me do or say anything. I know my rights. Would you say that you hated the old town hall? You guys just don't stop, do you? I did not start the fire. Catch you later. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh, is somebody else going to be sitting here later? All right, Deirdre. Ooh, ice cream. Ooh. So this is like the map of everything. Oh, Pancake City. 57. So right here. Pancake City is right here. So that's where we have to go. I thought it was an actual city. Um, ooh. What should we order? Oh my god, crap. This is gonna make me want ice cream so bad, isn't it? Oh, uh, bacon blast? Peanut butter chunk? Chocolate covered cherry? Chocolate, co chocolate ice cream with cherries? Choc, choc. Choco train triple chocolate chunk ice cream moon chunk cheese flavored ice cream with asteroid chunks eh. <laughs> I don't know about that one the white cow black cow brown cow minty madness cow -a bubble vanilla ice cream with cow -a bubble bubble gum pieces all American apple pie, everything but the crust. I want the peanut butter chunk. Oh my god. Mmm. So good. I love ice cream. I'm eating it all. I just want to see what they all look like. I love her whisper. I love ice cream. This is why Bess and I would be friends. Oh, same. Oh my god! Mm. Look at the strawberries. So good. Mmm, so good. I guess I could have one more bowl. Girl. I guess I could have one more bowl. Don't, don't even. We're gonna, you're gonna eat it. Oh, good mm. mint tea. Actually, I don't really like mint chocolate chip so ice cream good. anymore. Peachy keen. I guess I could have wow, one more Wow, did they bowl. really make everything look so different? Cookie dough? Can't go wrong with cookie dough. Oh, that's I guess bubble I could gum have pieces. one more bowl. Ch chalk, triple chocolate. I guess I could have one more bowl. I think I like the shakes more. Acorn harvest. I guess oh, I let's look at the cheese one. one. Bowl. Mm. So good. Cheese flavored ice cream was so good, guys. What in the world? Friend is in jail for arson, but we gotta stop for ice cream first. We have our priorities straight, alright? Her, yeah, her stomach's gonna hurt. Can you imagine if she was lactose intolerant? Bacon! I guess I could have one more bowl. Vanilla ice cream flavored syrup or soft drink carbonated water. Vanilla ice cream. I guess I could have one more bowl. 
Ooh, freaking the sodas, cherry. I guess I could have one more bowl. The berry blast. I love ice cream. Brown cow. I love ice I'm guessing cream. that just means chocolate, a chocolate soda. White cow, vanilla. I love ice cream. And black cow. Okay. All right. I ate everything. Thank you. Well, hey there, kid. How are you holding up? I'm okay. Sorry to hear about your Am friend. Am I, though? <laughs> Never expected something like <laughs> that from her. We ate the whole store. This must have been pretty rough on you. She didn't do it, really. You've got to believe me. Bess, I believe you. I believe that's what she you think. Like we never know what someone is rolls. capable of until it's too late. She's innocent. Why am I forgetting that? Really accident? innocent. I know it. Uh, all right, all right. I, I wasn't trying to upset you, Bess, I promise. You're very protective of your friends, and that's a good thing. She's got a lot of evidence stacking up against her right now. You can't deny that. Okay, lady. Thank you, Zwarden. I don't know how is she fine after eating all that. We, Bess is built different, okay? Why did it take so long to get me out? You don't understand, Nancy. I had to try every flavor. <laughs> The walking red flag. I know, right? Ice cream, please! No, I'm just kidding. Why did you close the shop yesterday? Why did you close the shop yesterday? Oh, Bess. It's not good. It's just me. I had to let the staff go. I'm sure it'll pick up. Thanks, Bess. I hope you're right. She didn't answer the question. I know the case against Nancy looks pretty strong, but I consider you a friend. Maybe you could help? You're a good friend, Bess. Just make sure you're not sticking your neck out for someone who doesn't deserve your trust. Where were you during the fire? Where were you during the fire? I really shouldn't be talking about this. Okay, this off the record? Yes. I was out canvassing the area, planting signs, shaking hands, the whole thing, you know? And suddenly, I see smoke and run to check it out. When Tina I get Fey. there, the whole town hall is lit up, just like out of Hollywood or something. Unbelievable. That's where my first job was, you know. You worked in Hollywood? That's awesome. No, I worked in that building. That was <laughs> a billion years ago. Oh, would you believe that back then I shared an <laughs> office with Tommy Lindenson. He's city council upstate now. Such a cutie. Most of the good looking ones are dumb as a big box of stupid, but not him. Hard to keep my eyes on my work when he was around. <laughs> Listen to me. You don't care about that. The fire. That's what we're talking about. Right. I called it in, and then I waited for the fire department to show up. That's the end of that. She's the one who called the fire in. Was she with the first one, though? Whoa. What was that? <laughs> okay, off the record. And then she just spills the tea. Dom is a big box of stupid. <laughs> we should use that. <laughs> Who did you see at the fire? Who did you see at the fire? I saw Nancy, but you knew that. Saw Alexi, too. Do you think Alexi would have started the fire? Do you fire? think Alexi oh. would have started the fire? Between you and me, that one's a walking cautionary tale. What's that mean? It's not my place to talk about it. Sorry, Bess. Okay, bye. 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 Dom is a big box of stupid. I know, we need to have that. Zang, we need that as an alert. We need it. We need it. Is there anything else I could? Oh, what's this? Swap a lot. Swap a lot. Play new. Unscramble the message by swapping letters within each of the vertical vertical columns below. She. Uh. I. Ick. Maybe it's the. The. The if? Oh, 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 oh! Uh, but, maybe? But? But if. She. If the. But if the. Come on, guys. Come on, we need a we need some words on stream here. <laughs> oh, I have 
lots of letters. Which sound? Oh, she said the girl we just spoke to. She says, "Dumb is a big box of stupid." <laughs> oh my god, that's funny. Um, what is this word, guys? Okay, let's do the easy ones first. We can like narrow it down. A bus. Um. Always the these are so easy. This is should. But if the blank, I blank. Moon? Moon? Uh, should it maybe? Shouldn't. Uh, the word with the apostrophe, switch the A and N. Oh. Oops. Oh, wait. Yes, that one, right? Shouldn't? Yes. The other one I love uh, is the game when Bess and George say, Watch out for weird people! Oh my god, I love when they say that. Oh my god, what game did they say that though? That would be a good alert too. Watch out for weird people! <laughs> oh, this is one. Oh, no it's not. Maybe it's D as well. What is this? Pigeon? Pimian? Uh, you think, what is this? What is this? Him? Ooh, him. Oh, person person yes but if the person I suspect maybe yeah yeah if but if the person I six I if the person I suspect the um, uh, L maybe L least but if the person I suspect the least is the P, P person uh, I should inspect oh oh suspect suspect Ah, oh, but if the person I suspect the least is the person I should suspect the most, <laughs> shouldn't I then go back to suspecting him the least? I win. I did it. The heck? <laughs> that kind of didn't make that much sense to me, but it's okay. All right, five. I got it. All right, one, one ice cream to go. Mmm. All right, we're good. So good. Let's go. Let's go do. Let's go to Pancake City next. Pancake City, here we come. Um, <laughs> uh, Pancake City. Here we go. So good. <laughs> Detective Ryan, I think you said he was going to Mabel Roses. Who? Mabel Roses? Dance Academy. Oh, here. 
What are you doing on Mabel Roses? I know, right? Detective Ryan? I think he went to the antique shop. I am on a wild... Man, what is Detective Ryan even doing here? I remember antiques was there. Did that do anything? I think it was just for a game. I don't think it was meant for... to do anything. Oh! <gasps> oh, oh, God. Oh. This! Oh, no. How will you be paying for the vase you broke? Um, I don't know if I can afford it. You shouldn't have put it there I to begin with. I don't like you. You break things. I'm sorry. Oh, did you hear that vase? She's sorry that you made the long <laughs> trek from China to Europe where I you survived two like world you. wars you and countless things. natural disasters. Only to be unceremoniously kicked to death by some <laughs> space cadet for no reason! Not that that matters now that you are dead! I'm sorry, it was an accident. I didn't do that. Oh, well, if it was an accident, then I'm not mad. Really? I thought your generation was supposed to be good with sarcasm. Scram, kid! Give me some space to mourn! Do us both a favor and stay out! <laughs> what? Yeah, what is with this guy? What the heck is this? Um, dang, he's so mean. Yeah, okay, boomer. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Okay, well, uh. Oh my god, is that the jet pack? Is that the jet pack from Castle Malloy? <laughs> Would you mind not touching that? I wasn't. <gasps> I was just looking with my hands. I'll stop. Get out of there! Okay, I'll leave it alone. But Get the out of there! But the keys! Sorry! Oh, the keys! The keys! A blast from the past. The region's finest news publication. Okay, for years, River Heights time capsule uh, been quietly hiding in the foundation of a historic town hall, patiently waiting to be open. Now with the Anvil Days Festival just around the corner, the contents of the capsule are becoming the object of much, much speculation. We decided to head to St. Clair Elementary to ask the students what they thought might be in the time capsule. Oh my god, these are real people. Oh my god. Jamie, age nine, or seven, seven. I don't think a horse could be in there. Maybe a drawing? A caveman. One thousand, one hundred thousand watches, but they're out of batteries. <laughs> maybe some Wild West things? Some old documents, maybe even the town constitution or original town plans. This girl's going places. It must not be important stuff if people didn't think they needed it. Did they have things that long ago? I think it's probably empty. Okay, Karen. Suiting. Fill in, suit in your name, man. All right, let's see what else. What's this? New arrivals. This is cool. I like to go to antique shops. I haven't been to one in a really long time, but it's always so fun looking around. This What's just this? might come in handy. Oh, free. Uh, okay. I'll take. What that. are you doing? Get out. Okay. We're gonna need George to come in here so that he's not angry with us. Is there any other things I can look at? Can we talk to him? I'm sorry. Well, if it isn't history's greatest enemy. <laughs> did you come to burn my books or break my breakables? I just want to ask you a question. <laughs> well, the answer is yes. The question was, should I waltz myself out of the shop and never come back ever as long as I live? <laughs> You're really mean. I can live with that. Now go make friends with the outside world. Wait, this is kind of funny. Okay, all right, fine. We're leaving. Fine. Here, well, actually, we'll stay here. Let me call Nan. Let me call. Let me call. I don't know, Nancy, and then get and then switch to George. Unless I can just call George. <laughs> George, you go. <laughs> Hi, George. Okay, Nancy really needs us. We're going to have to work together. Don't forget, we're not alone. Even though Nancy can't get out maybe to help Ned. Us, she's still working the case. We need to make sure we're getting her the evidence that she needs. If we get stuck, it might be good to check in with Nancy to see how she's doing. How's Togo doing? For the most part, good. But 
My mom told me he saw a picture of Nancy on television and just about lost his little doggy mind. Poor little guy. I still can't believe Town Hall burned down. I guess we have to call Nancy first. Nancy is really lucky she made it out. And there's something else we need to keep in mind. It's possible that whoever set that fire wasn't just trying to frame Nancy. Do you really think so? It was possible that they wanted her in there when the building burnt down. We can't dismiss it as a possibility. Yeah. Murder. Bye. Bye. Murder. Murder. Let's call Nancy. Who do you think that guy would What's like? Up? Ned or George? So Deirdre's going to be about as helpful as George at picking out the latest fall fashions. I say we throw Ned at the problem. You might be right. I'll talk to him. Oh! Oh, yeah, get Ned to talk to her. Wait, that's so smart. Time to flirt, Ned, but only when I say so. How's the investigation coming? <laughs> All right. It looks like I'm going to be able to use some of the equipment around here. If I don't get caught, that is. I don't understand why they won't just let you out. Since all of the evidence is stacked against me, they want a little proof that I didn't do it. Still, it doesn't seem fair. Trust me, I'm with you on that one. What do you think of Deirdre? I definitely don't trust her. <laughs> I don't know what her motive would be for burning down town hall. I don't think it was Deirdre. Do you think Deirdre could really be behind the fire? She's we not that smart. We can't discount her. She's been trying to bring me down for years. True, she does have a motive. Actually, I don't know. Maybe it was her. What was the shape of the uh, little ice cube that was on the thermostat chat? Do y'all remember? I'm passing the case to you. Wait, I'll no. take it from here. Hmm. A snowflake. Who has snowflake ice cubes? A girl would. You know? All right, let's call Ned. I messed up. What's up? Probably an ice cream shop. You're on to something, Hyper. <laughs> Ned, I'm going to need your help with something. You name it. I need you to help us out with Deirdre. How so? You know how she's always flirting with you? <laughs> oh, no, she's not. She's just nice. Right. She's nice, just nice. But only ever to you. Does that sound strange? No, I'm a very pleasant person. Ned. I know you're right. It's just, it's just a little weird. It's a lot weird, but this is a desperate time situation. <laughs> what do you need me to do? Pour on that trademark Nickerson charm. See what info you can pry out of her. You're sure this is okay with you? I'm not the jealous type. And also, I'm in jail and would like to get out. <laughs> Those right? are solid points. You got it. Your turn to take over. Time to help Nancy. Okay, where was Deirdre again? She was by the ice cream, right? All right, let's time to flirt, Ned. Where's the ice cream place again? Is it down here? Oh, here. Thank you for the old Neckerson charm. Wait, is that Bess? What's up? Oh my God, Bess! Whoa, it's so weird. Oh my god, this is, so, this is so weird. We need some info from Tony. Can you take the lead since she likes you? Is Tony the ice cream shop person? How's the How's steakout? The steak Pretty good. I don't think she's on to me. On a related note, I have no idea what she's doing. More ice cream. Okay, bye. 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 Oh, Whoa, it's so weird saying Bess. This is so weird. You can eat that. She's like 10 feet away. I know, right? Ned! How's it going? I don't know if she's Hi, taking Deirdre. out I'm her fine. or you the person. certainly side. is. Are you joining me? Actually, I just need a little more information from you. Nancy's in trouble. Sigh. Ned's defer. That girl doesn't deserve you. But I'll help. Because I'm wonderful, right? You could say that. Great, because I did. Can you tell me about Alexi? What's everyone doing girl. with him lately? I don't really know much. Apparently, he was accused of some crime when he was younger. No one really trusts him now. What crime? I really don't know. Probably something creepy. 
I mean, he does work in an antique shop. Oh, so that's the old man that's in there. Could you tell me about what happened at the fire? Please, it's really important. Nedgar, I've been over this with everyone a million different times. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I am actually bored of talking about that fire that I saw. Please, for me? Okay, for you. Ugh. I was out jogging, and I saw the fire. I didn't know you were a jogger. Yeah, I'm into all of that health stuff. So then what happened? I saw a bunch of smoke. Brenda Carlton was there, and the antiques guy. Nancy, too. Did you notice anything strange? That's a negative. Was I'm into that health stuff if she sips her chocolate shake. <laughs> Saying sigh while she, while she sighs. Sigh. <laughs> do you really think that Nancy was behind the fire? Don't know. But I do know it's looking pretty rough for her right now. Why were you at Town Hall at the time of the fire? I just was. You must have been there for a reason. What was it? Fine. Fine. Just stop giving me that desperate look. I can't handle it. I was following Nancy. <gasps> what? I thought she was cheating since you guys were so far ahead. So I followed her and found a note someone left for her. I intercepted it. It had a time and a place, so I went. Nothing happened. Do you still have the note? Yes, here. Did Wait, it come in that bag? Mean? Yeah. It was raining pretty hard that night. Whoever left it must have wanted to make sure it wouldn't get ruined. Does that say words? Love, Ned. Key. What? <laughs> but what is... I don't understand. Setting. Storage room action. Tom the star in the hold, not wall. Wait, this is the note, but Nancy... We already turned... We already found Nancy's note. Thanks. I know. She's not making it a secret at all. <laughs> Ned... You're pretty competitive when it comes to Nancy. If you say so. Are you enjoying seeing her in trouble? I'll be honest. I'm enjoying it a little. Why? She's so perfect at everything. It's like, save a little for the rest of us. My parents are always bugging me. Why aren't you more like that Drew girl? She's in whatever stand, just save the blah 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 from the who cares. It gets old. And anyway, don't you think that I'd like to be all jet set? Dashing across the globe and getting curses put on me and meeting cute guys? <laughs> that does sound exciting. Seriously. <laughs> she's probably that anonymous source. That's exactly 100% Jai. She's 100% that anonymous source from that newspaper. 100%. What do you think about Tony? She's got a lot of pull in this town. <laughs> Who knows what she could be trying to get away with? FOMO much, right? I mean, to be fair, I would get pissed off too if my parents kept it, like, you know, comparing me to somebody else that's better than me, right? Bye. Like, stop. See ya. But also, like, come on, girl. Don't internalize your parents' issues. Um, okay. So, let's, um, let's go in. Some ice cream to go. Mmm, yeah. Nice. Okay, all right. Hello, how can I help you? Can I have, can I have some, some ice, ice cream? cream? Sure. Mm. Okay, all right, back to the case. Crap, guys, this makes me... Hi, I went welcome. To, what can I get for you? I went to this old-fashioned ice cream parlor maybe, like, a couple weeks ago, and they make their they make their own handmade homemade ice cream, and it was so good. I can't stop thinking about it, and this game is not helping me. It's not helping me. That's not helping. Can you tell me what happened during the fire? It's still an open investigation. I can't give that information out to just anyone. I am a city official, so I have a certain responsibility here. Is there anything at all you can tell me about the fire? Obviously, it's a sad moment in the town's history, but the way this community has responded really shows off what's great about this city and this country. One order of ice cream, please? Oh, I was hoping you'd ask. <laughs> I straight up don't understand the moon choke stuff. Chocolate covered cheese. You've never had cheese flavored ice cream before? I'm just kidding. I I think it's 
I don't think this is real. I don't know. A face beat? <laughs> what? So much free ice cream, I think. I know why Tony isn't making any money. <laughs> I know, right? Mm, yum. Mmm, yum. What is this, Wisconsin? I don't know, does, is, does anybody here, have y'all had cheese flavored ice cream before? Like, they make some weird ice cream. But, like, cheese? Maybe? I don't know, who knows? Maybe it's like one of those things where the flavor actually tastes really good, but you just have to try it. It's just like a weird combination. All right, let's go to the antique, antique store. Ned isn't gonna break anything. Maybe he'll like Ned. Maybe he'll like Ned. Oh, look. Number punch. How fast can you press all the buttons in order from one? Alexi, Helen. Okay, I'm gonna work. How fast can you press all the numbers in order from one? Oh God. One. Two. I, I cannot check. Three. Four. Five. Oh no. Chat, help me. <laughs> Six. Um, seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. 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 There's fourteen. Where's thirteen? Oh, thirteen. Thirteen. Fourteen. Sixteen. Fifteen. 16, 17, 18, uh, 19, 20, 21, oh, my eyes, 22, 23, 23, 23, 23, 23, 23, 23, 23, 23, 23, 23, 23, 23, 23, 23, 23, 23, 23, 23, 23, Where's 30? Where's 30? Where's 30? 30. 31. Where's 31? You think it would be easier? 31. 32. 33. 34. 35. 36. 37. 38. 39. 40! Am I not done? Oh, 41! I win. It looks like I won something. Oh, a key! Look at that. Suck it, Alexi. Alright. Yes! I'm a winner! Fire security. I can't do this now. What do you mean you can't do it now? Here, key. I need to find a way to get Alexi to leave. Oh. This sounds like a plan for a hot girl tummy ache. Oh, for the ice cream. <laughs> There's an ice cream place here with a pear and blue cheese flavor. Have you tried it? Try it for science, Madrona. Thanks, Lulu. Thanks, Dale. Yeah, first try hair flip. Oh, looks like freaking out though. Okay. Greetings. Greetings. Are you the Alexi? Yes, butter him up, Ned. Are you the Alexi from the old stories around here? That was a long time ago. I can't believe that's actually you. You are the original kid detective. You should advertise that. Put it on your sign or something. That's not who I am now. But it's something to be proud of. Just let it go. It's my past, not yours. Okay, that is not the way to butter him up, apparently. What do you think of Bess? Is she the one who broke my vase? Yeah, she thinks you hate her. I don't hate her, but I do want her to think that. She should have a healthy fear of this place. <laughs> I have to chase off the clumsy ones or I'll end up on the street. <laughs> have you seen Detective Ryan? The 12-year-old cop? Yeah, he's been here. He, he left <laughs> something behind. Did he leave it behind to torment me? Possibly not. Is it tormenting me? Yes, yes it is. Can't figure the blasted thing out. It's on the new arrival shelf. The 12 year old cop, hmm. Uh, this guy, I, as much as I hate him, cause he was mean to Bess, uh, I like this character. 
Did you hear about the fire? Of course. <laughs> it's funny. What's the story with this alarm key? I have never seen that in my life. I found it right here. I don't know how it got there. I had nothing to do with this fire. Nothing. I'm not going through this again with you people. Once is enough. What do you mean? After all I've gone through, you want to hang me out to dry again. Well, it's not going to happen. You got it? Get out of my store. What? Why? I said leave. Man, shoot. He hates Ned. Ned's like the best person to speak to. There's a key under there. What? How do you know that? Oh, there is. Oh. God, it's one of these puzzles, chat. No! Oh. Is the goal? I turned them all on! What's the one to turn them all off now? I'm really bad with these types of puzzles because there's there's a way to do this and it's to act memorize which ones turn off which thing but I usually just figure it out by just doing it. <laughs> Give me the key, Nancy. Or, oh, Ned. Ned, just put your hand in there. It'll fit, I promise. Man's got, man got real defensive. You know what? He probably was doing something so suspicious and that's why. Why else would he get angry? Hey, she should have broken the vase. His sass is warranted. Oh, she shouldn't have broken the vase. His sass is warranted. Sure. But for Ned, just literally being nice and, like, complimenting him on his past, like, that's unnecessary. Yeah, like, rapid clicking. Oh, like that. Woo! Hopefully this <gasps> is the key that Nancy was looking for. Oh, that other key wasn't what Nancy was looking for? Wait, well, oh, that's why he got defensive. But what was the, what did it say? Fire something, right? Oh, see, that's super suspicious. There we go. We found it. We found the key, Nancy. Hello. Oh, he's not angry at us anymore. Okay, time to keep asking him more questions, I guess. <laughs> Hi, Jared. Thank you. Good morning. What do you know about the old town hall fire? No more than anyone else. Have you met Deirdre? Have you met Deirdre? Don't know. Deirdre? Know the family enough to know that I've got no interest in meeting her. Why is that? Her parents are dull and unimaginative. They only care about money. What are the chances that they're going to have a non-tedious, non-awful daughter? What do you know about Tony? Well, she's on the city council, so she's either corrupt or deeply immersed in the corrupting process. Not everyone in politics is corrupt. Seriously? Where is your youthful cynicism? <laughs> yes, all politicians are corrupt. Why do you distrust politicians? Because they don't care about people like you and me. When they're running for office, we're just votes to buy. Once they're elected, we're just collateral damage for whatever or whomever's buying them off. Bye. Until next time. He sounds so friendly. Okay, bye. All right, I don't think there's anything else I can click on. All right, we got the key, Nancy. All right, to the PlayStation. <laughs> He's not wrong. <laughs> not incorrect. <laughs> All right, here we go, here we go. Should we give her both keys? Should we give her both, like all the keys? I can't do this now. Oh. I can't do that now. Maybe, maybe? Wait, what is this? Hold on. Find a way to dust 
her note for fingerprints? I can't do this now. Oh my god, Ned. Hold on. Got it. I can't do this now. Wait, I just did that. I can't do this now. Meet the reporter from the night of the fire. I can't fire. do this now. Take a good look around the antique I can't shop. do this now. I can't do this now. Got it. I can't do this now. Beat the high score on the numbers game? Come up with a plan to get help with Got the it. case. Find my own fingerprinting kit. I can't do this now. Got it. Find Detective Ryan's key at Alexi's shop. Find Detective Ryan's key and drop it off at the police station. I can't do this now. Okay, whatever. I guess I can't do this now. Yeah, maybe I have to leave the screen and then it'll work. Hello? What was it like being in the fire? Were you scared? Absolutely. It just Dumb question to ask. Whoever set that fire knew of what they were she doing. was. From everything we've been hearing, you're lucky to be alive. Until we catch the arsonist, the station might actually be the safest place for me. Oh, that is true. That is true. If somebody was trying to kill Nancy, the police station is the safest place for her. That's so true. But no, like, I'm so happy you're okay. I'm so happy you're alive. I love you, Nancy. Like, where's that, Ned? Wait, what was that one game where Ned was actually, like, so cute? Deirdre gave me a note. She said it was just like the one that led you to the fire. Great. I have some dusting kits in a locked cabinet in my room. As soon as I find my keys, I'll put them in the drop box for you. Ah, that's in her bedroom. As soon as I find my keys, I'll put them in the drop box. Okay, we have to find her keys. We found a fire alarm key at Alexi's shop. Did he say anything about it? He seemed pretty upset. Really? What did he say? He said that he didn't want to go through something like this again. Interesting. Yeah, that was really weird. What do you think he meant? I don't know. I'll ask my dad. He seems to know a lot about everyone in town. Oh, oh. I'm turning the case over to you. I'll take it from here. Yeah. <laughs> Need a super cut if I can't do this now. <laughs> was it scary when you almost died? What do you think? I know, right? Ned struggles with emotional communication. He's as detached as Link. She's not dating him for his brains. <laughs> no. Have we ever seen Ned? I think we can. Um, we have we have seen a photo of him in Nancy's room, but I think maybe can I like actually see him sitting down like Bess? Does anybody know where he sits down so I can I can go and see him? All right, let's go get the keys. Fire security is what it said, right? All right. Okay, 205. Here we go. Perfect, a puzzle. Oh, just kidding. Computer password! Each row and column must have one number and only one selected. Can't use same number twice. Okay. I better find a way to listen to this. Town hall fire questioning. Nancy Drew, Deer Deirdre, San Shannon, Tony, Brenda, Alexi. Perfect. All right, what is this? User manual. Okay, this is the connection indicator, locking port, status bar, port indicator. To open secure ProMeister locking system, press tabs of locking ports to enter correct combination. All four status bars must be lit. Status bars turn on when correct number of port indicators are lit. Uh, port indicators reflect number of corresponding color lights that are currently lit in locking ports. Side-by-side -side locking ports share a connection and these Pairs cannot use locking ports of the same color. Z connection indicator bar above a pair of port turns green if connection is valid and red if invalid. All connection indicators must be green. Oh, I'm gonna have to unlock this one, aren't I? 
Okay, wait, what about this? All right, my phone. Yes, her phone. And her keys. And... Lock picking. We have to give that to Ned. I think. Like, what am I gonna use with it? Like, it's better to give him. Right? Um, uh, a floppy disk. <laughs> I broke- I broke a nail while trying to fix a part of my model kit that I did wrong. Oh no, Molt! I hate when you break nails. I'm sorry. Giving Ned the dog treat. <laughs> Here you go, Ned. Good boy. Alright. Oh. Is it open? I should have paid more attention when I read that out loud. So is my goal to... Okay, so this is blue, pink. What color is this? Okay, so blue, pink, neon, yellow. And these have to be green. Um, okay, okay. Do I have to have all? No. Okay. This is an interesting puzzle. Beeping sound either. I'm so sorry for your cat. <sighs> give her some cute little cat headphones. Also, give me one second, chat. I'm gonna turn down the AC. It's cold in here. Hold on. Hold, So I'm gonna put this on. All right. Okay. Uh, everything has to be lit up. Like all of the lights. But we can only do one at a time, right? Hmm. I don't understand why these are like these. There was one time where I got all of these green, but these weren't all lit up. Have to be lit up, yes. When you, oh, so like all five? One, two, three, four, five? Hmm. But is that even possible? I don't think that's possible. Maybe at least two? Here, let me read the manual again. Let's read the manual again. All four, okay, press tab, yes. All four status bars, so these, these, must be lit. Status bar turns on when correct number of port indicators are lit. Okay, so, right. So we have to turn on some of the port indicators to turn the light on. Got it. Port indicators reflect number of corresponding color lights that are currently lit in the locking ports, right. Side-by-side -side locking ports share a connection and these pairs cannot use locking ports of the same colors. Oh, that's what makes them turn green or red. Got it. 
okay. Um, connection indicator bar above a pair of port turns green if connection is valid and red if invalid. And they all must be green. Ugh. Okay. <laughs> all right. So to make this green, right, so we can't have the same color. And then this one can't have blue. See, that's why it's green. And then this one can't have yellow. And this one can't have blue. So that's what makes it green. Okay, got it. However, we need these to, okay, so the yellow lights up with two. The blue lights up with two. Same with the pink, I think it's all two. I guess maybe that's why it shows like this little graphic. All right. Now that we know what to do, I gotta actually do it. So let's make this one pink. And let's do yellow and blue. And let's do blue and pink. No, too, mi too much pink. Wait, how is that too much pink? How is there already two pink? Oh, right. Oh, so it turns off if there's three blue. Okay, so we can't have that. But we can have this. All right, what if we do, what about a yellow? Okay, we can't because the only yellow is this one. So what if we do yellow and blue here? Okay. Oh, shoot. Okay, what about this? Oh, shoot. <laughs> this is hard. <laughs> this is hard. <laughs> okay. Okay. We're on a roll. Here we go. Okay. What about... Can't have blue or pink. So what about yellow? Okay, perfect. All right. So then we just need pink. <gasps> Yay! I actually solved it how it was supposed to be solved. Woo! All right, town hall. I better see what evidence the police have. Something. All right, what do we got? What do we got? Let's look at this they one. They seized gasoline. I need to find out what was really used to start the fire. Mm, okay. The following items were uh, only were seized under the authorized search warrant. Denim pants worn on previous day. Matchbook with matches. Oh, that's what that was. Iron nugget from Old Town Hall anvil display. One stuffed teddy bear. Five gallon gasoline can containing two ounces of gasoline. Additional notes, accelerant traces gasoline were found upon clothes. Gasoline can was found behind empty cardboard boxes. These pants, is that Nancy's pants? They were covered in gasoline, probably because she was crawling on the ground, right? Maybe? The statement above is true and accurate. Uh, Detective John Ryan. Okay, all right, what about this one? Um, last name Drew, Nancy, hair... Titian? What does that mean? Blue. She's five foot seven? Nancy's taller? Taller? She's taller. Arson. Uh, arrest state. Chief. Bail. $250,000. Pending. No information. Case number. Oh, I've never heard of that. So it's reddish brown. I have never heard of that hair color before in my life. Interesting. All right, here we go. Dispatcher 911, what's your emergency? A fire, there's a fire. What is the address of the building that is on fire? It's the Old Town Hall on Anvil Way. It's um 1217, 1217 Anvil Way. What's your name? This is Tony, Tony Scolari. Yeah, so Tony's the one who first called. Okay, Tony, I'm sending the fire department to help you now. Stay on the line. Okay. Oh, please hurry. The fire is... <gasps> the windows just blew out. Is anyone trapped inside? I don't know. I can't see in. The smoke. The smoke is too thick. 
Wait for the fire department on the sidewalk by the street. Stay away from the flames. Okay, I can do that. Wait. Oh my gosh. I think I see people up there. I have to help. No, don't go near the flames. Tony, do you not? Do you understand? There's there's more than one person. Tony, don't go near the fire. Stay on the sidewalk and wait for the emergency new crews. Tony, Tony, are you still there? Caller hangs up. Oh, Tony. Hmm, it looks like the alarm wasn't working at the time of the fire. I need to find out why. How does she see that? Where does she see that? <laughs> um, building status, idle, not routinely used, total number of stories above grade, below grade. Ignition, storage room, short circuit, wall thermostat. First, item first ignited, undetermined accelerant. So, the area of origin is a short, short circuit. And the heat source was the wall thermostat and the ignition was a storage room. Right, okay, fire origin. Story of fire origin spread, confined to building of origin. Intentional, suspicious, factor contributing to ignition. Human factors contributing to ignition. Estimated age of person involved, 18 and female. Detectors slash alarms present. Multiple smoke sprinkler. Failed to operate. There it is, detector. Failed to operate. Reason for failure, unknown. Okay. Yeah, fire reported by Tony. Method cell phone. Okay. Alright, I don't think that's all. That's all. That's all of it. Okay. Nice. Okay. Um. Alright, computer password. Okay, hold on. Let's see. What else can I... That's done. Check. Did that. Did that. Okay. Alright, so what did it say? I tried one, two, three, four. Did it work? I forgot. Each row and column must have one number and only one selected. Can't use same number twice. So it really is one, two, three, four. <laughs> but. <laughs> Um, uh, hi, King Frodo. Let's try. Got it. <laughs> Woo! Easy. <laughs> no way. <laughs> wow, that was actually not so bad. Print sync. Yes, I can. Take ticket shark. Enter record or citation number. Ticket shark. Hold on. What was Nancy's number? Um, can somebody write this down? Five nine one two eight. Actually, I could probably remember that. Or do I need the booking number? Or do I not? Or maybe I don't need any of these numbers. Hold on. 59128. 59128. 59128. I promise I didn't do that uh, <laughs> puzzle before. Wow, I got lucky though. Oh, hmm. Citation records database. Yeah, I guess I don't know what number to put in. Okay, that's it? Okay, well, we accessed the computer, but I can't that's do anything done. yet. Hmm. Alright, let's give these to Ned. There. He has a lock picking kit and my keys. So let's call him. Oh, just kidding. We can use our phone now. 
Of course. Oh wait, we needed to call her dad first, didn't we? Yes. This music is so intense. <laughs> it calls for intense moments. Like looking Nancy, around the police your station. Are you okay? I'm in jail, so things could be better. Still? Still. They're blaming me for the fire at Town Hall. That doesn't make any sense. Why would they think you'd have anything to do with something like that? Are they treating you okay? Well, so far. I'm dropping everything and I'm coming home. Hang tight. I'll be there as soon as I can. Dad, you don't need to rush home all the way from Australia. I can take care of this myself. I just need a little help. It's in Australia. Nancy, I've always thought you were very responsible, but this is not something you should try to take on yourself. I certainly won't turn down help. That's my girl. I've got a lot of favors to call in, so even though I'm far away right now, I'll be able to help. Right now, I'm going to see if I can't get you out of jail. I'm going to make some calls. Keep me updated. Will do. Chief McGinnis let me out of the holding cell. That's great news. But I can't go home until I find more conclusive proof that it wasn't me who set the fire. It's a good start. I'm going to keep working to get you out. And I'm going to keep working on the case. Nancy, I know I don't have to remind you of this, but be careful. You could land in some serious hot water if you impede the investigation in any way. I'll be careful. I promise. It sounds like it. It does sound kind of like Ned. Her dad? Can somebody confirm if it's the same voice actor? What exactly is Alexi's story? He was just like you, a very popular detective. He used to be known as the Magnificent Markovic. That's him? Sure is. Or was, I guess. No fee too small, no case too big. Huh, I guess I always thought those were just stories. Who knows how true those stories were. It was a long time ago. I should get going. I'll see you soon. I should get going, because uh, I have nothing better to do. I'm in jail, Dad. All right, Ned, call. Hi. The case report says that the town hall alarm was tampered with. Can you check it out? Yes, we'll get right on it. I need a sample from town hall to test for accelerants. Okay, how do I do that? You'll need to find a clean all glass container Best with a has lid. That. It needs to be small enough to fit into the chromatograph. You're on your own for that, but I bet you can find it if you look around. All right, check. Then as for the sample? Try to get a sample as close to the point of origin as possible. Point of origin? You know, where the fire started, right near the thermostat. We'll get it for you, don't worry. I need you to take over. Time to help Nancy. All right, huh? Let's get the keys and uh, this lock pick. Different voice actors? Okay. They did sound kind of close, though. I think it was the accent. All right. Uh, let's go to Nancy's house first. They do sound the same. <laughs> no, I can, I can see that. I can see it. All right, I could hear it. I could hear it. All right, here we go. Nice. How did this end up at the crime scene? Yeah. Nancy, why do you have so many matches? You have so much chocolate! Nancy! What? <laughs> what? Nancy! We like we know who likes chocolate. Okay, Krollmeister fingerprint dusting kit. I already have a fingerprint kit. Never ending supply of chocolate, my favorite. Freaking sakes. Also, this is what Ned looks like. Our <laughs> two loves ice cream and chocolate. <laughs> All right, um, now we got a fingerprint dusting kit. We need to go, we have several things to do. Let's go flirt with um, that girl. <laughs> Definite golden retriever energy, yes. Okay, let's go back to the scoop and let's go flirt with Deirdre and then let's get her fingerprints. I love that Bess is, like, staking this place just because she and the other girls inside. <laughs> a 
I like seeing their idle animations. Hi, Spooky! Hey! Good morning! Oh, goodbye. goodbye. See ya! Hey! Wait. Goodbye. Later. What about... Oh, wait. Hold on. I need a safe place to dust these. Maybe the desk in Nancy's room. Right. Uh, hold Hi. on, let's talk to Bess first. Want some ice cream? No, eating ice cream is my cover. But she's been here for like 10 decades. I've already had all of the flavors on the menu. Oh, if this investigation doesn't stop soon, forget the new sundress I got, I won't be able to fit in my house. <laughs> Wait, we really did have all the flavors? <laughs> What do you think of Alexi? He's really mean. I yeah, bet somebody he accidentally broke some of his old junk and he flew into a rage and he burned down Town Hall. <laughs> what? Oh, okay. So oh, that's what happened? All right, good to know, Bess. Bye. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> oh my god. All right, sorry. Back to back to Nancy's house. Back to Nancy's house. On her desk. This looks like a good place to dust the note. All right. All right, here we go. How does this Don't work? Don't need that yet. No? Okay. All right. Aha. All right. Nailed it. strong enough but okay if you say so all right we got her finger we got her fingerprint got it nice okay so let's um got it take a sample near the point point of origin at town hall and drop it off at the station well this is a problem because Bess is the one who has the bottle. So how am I supposed to get it from Bess? Am I supposed to use the drop box as like a way to switch items between inventory? Here, let's Any try. Any big breaks? We need some info from Tony. Can you take the lead since she likes you? You got it. Better not do anything interesting when I'm gone. <laughs> Goodbye. Talk to you later. Oh, wait, I'm not gonna switch to her? Oh, hmm. Hello, how can I help you? Goodbye. Bye. Uh, Bess can drop it and Ned can pick it up in the drop box. Okay, I think I have to, okay, let me, let me call Nancy then. What happens if we go to all these places? Oh, it doesn't do anything. best directly. Thanks. Oh, or Bye. Not. <laughs> Bye. Okay. No picture of Nancy. Just a shadow. Hello. Mysterious. You should take over. I'm on the case. All right, best. I haven't I haven't been George yet. Maybe I should switch to George. Nancy, what's up? I'm passing the case to you, Bess. I'm on the case. Hi. How do I know you didn't forge the note you gave Ned? Forge the note? Is forgery even a thing people do anymore? Yes, it happens all the time. That's stupid. 
I would have just typed it up, printed it out, cut out the middleman. Bye. See ya. Okay. Hi, welcome. What can I get for you? Catch you later. Bye. Okay. All right, let's go to the police station. Drop off the bottle. I can't do that now. Okay, just kidding. I guess Bess is the one that needs to get the sample. That's it. So Bess is gonna need to get the sample. So she's the one that found the bottle. All right. Come on, Bess. This doesn't seem like a best activity, but... I can't get way up there. That is crazy. Unless George is taller? Oh, here we go. Just kidding. <laughs> oh, just gonna hop on in here. It looks here. like the inside of a toaster in here. Can't believe how lucky Nancy was to make it out. See, what if... See, this is nuts to me. What if, like... No, what if you played Ned and Ned came in here? Like, what does he say? Oh, this thing is gone. Oh, here All it is. All right, fire. Where did you start? I know the point of origin must be in this room. It was here. I think the fire started here. I should take a sample. Okay, got it. We got the sample. Is there anything else in here that we can, like, look at? How is she not worried that she's gonna get caught? Or that won't get caught? Oh, look. Someone must have turned off the alarm. That's not very safe. <gasps> and better the keys. tell Nancy. Oh my god, the keys that turns off this fire alarm was in Alexi's parlor. We picked those up, remember? Whoa. All right, perfect. All right, let's give these to Nancy. Bess's cute little yellow car. Okay, let's call her. Oops. Hello? The fire alarm at Town Hall had been switched off. My dad knows the people who run the city alarm systems. I'm going to see if they can give us a little more information. You take the lead now. Alright, let's call it I'll dad. I'll take it from here. Why does her dad not have a photo? Nancy, I'm so glad you called. Any luck getting me out of jail? No such luck just yet, but I'm working on getting a ticket home. You don't need to do that. I'll figure this out. There's no way I can stay here knowing what you're going through back home. I'm getting a ticket home ASAP. You won't change my mind. Thanks, Dad. It's the least I can do. I talked to the chief. He's not going to budge. Oh, shoot. But look, you do whatever you need to do until I get back. I trust your judgment. If you run into any trouble with the chief, come to me. Okay. I just found out something big about the alarm system. I think I need your help. I'm at your disposal. What do you need? I think that the alarm was disabled at the Old Town Hall. I need you to look into it. Now that is a big break. I think I may know just the person to talk to about that. Give me a call back in a few minutes. Okay. All right, let's go get that sample. While her, while we're waiting for her dad. All right, where do we put this sample? Uh, that one's the fingerprint. All right, here. Oh shoot, we need to drop the fingerprint off too. All right, oh here, insert sample. Analyze. Beep boop, beep boop, 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 boop. I need to figure out which accelerant matches these figures. Right. Number 45, number 45. How do we know? How do we know what number 45 is? What do we do? Oh, maybe the computer? The 
this maybe? No. Uh, I don't know. Lunch break. Mm -hmm. All right. Um. Hmm. No evidence. Uh, hmm. What do I do? How? Well, I guess maybe we can't know yet. All right, let's call her dad. Nancy, I'm so glad you called. I need help interpreting some sample data. I need data. help interpreting some sample data. Yes. All right. What do you need? I have data from a gas chromatograph, but I don't know what the output means. I think I may have just the thing you need at the office. I'll have it dropped off to your friends just to be sure it gets to you. Perfect. I'll have my friends keep an eye out on the fireplace mantle for the delivery. Oh, fireplace Thanks. mantle. Okay. What do I do if I can't clear my name? Don't worry about that right now. It's a little hard not to. If it comes to that, you let me worry about the court proceedings. I'm not going to let anything bad happen to you. I guess I'm lucky that I have a prosecutor for a father. And I'm lucky to have a daughter who only rarely goes to jail. Dad! Okay, I'll upgrade it Yay. to almost never. Rarely. Don't worry, you're not guilty and you've got me in your corner. We'll get through this. What did you find out about the alarm system? So, what did you find out about the alarm system? You're right, it was switched off. According to my friend at Heights Security, the alarm was disabled on site at 2.17 the afternoon of the fire. I hope that helps. You how bet it does. Do, how Thanks. How do they know exactly when? 2.17 afternoon of the fire. Okay. Oh, Hannah. How's Hannah doing? She's so sorry she couldn't be here for you. She said she's rushing back home. I told her that we'd take care of things, but you know how she is. Hannah is I better let you go. Pants. I'll see you soon. I want to be sent chocolate when I am not doing so well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta fix that right up. Um, all right, let's see. All right, we still have to find a way to listen to the suspect interviews. Is there a way to like put it into the computer and listen? Haven't done that. Did that. Did that. If you go to jail chat, we'll send you chocolate. <laughs> no, Lulu, it's not what I meant. I meant just like if I'm having a bad day. <laughs> All right, let's call Ned, and let's get Ned to give me the fingerprint. Hi. <laughs> I just spoke to my dad. He said the alarm at Town Hall was disabled at 2.17 the day of the fire. Can you check everybody's alibi at that time? Ah. We'll do. We'll figure out where everyone was when the alarm was disabled. Right, I need too. you to take over. Time to help Nancy. Got it. All right, let's go flirt. Let's go smooth with the people first, and then we'll go and drop off the fingerprint. Hey. Where were you at 217 on the day of the fire? I was out on the clues challenge. Same as you. Don't believe me? Call Jessica. 555-2741. Or Holly. Down. Five 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 six three eight gotta, eight. We gotta call him. We gotta call him. Jessica and Holly. We gotta call him. Is that is that her team members? Jessica and Holly. Interesting. Oh. What were your friends' numbers again? Write it down this time. Jessica is at five 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 two seven four one, and Holly is at five 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 six three eight eight. Bye. 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 Five, five, five. Oh, wait, hold on. No, yes. No, yes. Let's ask the best to do it. What's up? Never Bye. Mind. Talk to you later. Better be enjoying that ice cream, best. Hi, welcome. What can I get for you? Goodbye. 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 Why can I? I'm not asking her. Maybe I have to have best. Or, Ned. Wait. No, yeah, I have to ask best to get her. Okay. Oops, wait, I didn't mean to click that. Schoolyard! 
Wait, what happens if I go to all these places? at the zoo. The Drew Law Offices? Wait, did I need a... The Mr. Drew is not in. He'll be back as soon as he can. Oh my god, it's that voice again! What? When's the... When did we hear... What game was that? No. What game? I can't remember. But we've heard that voice. The Finley place. <laughs> Why was there screams? Who's Finley? Why were there screams? What's going on? <laughs> what was that about? Madame Duggard's Dance Academy. Tony will leave to get the tr to get the truck delivery. If you play the game in the ice cream in the ice cream shop until the truck honks, then you can snoop around. Oh, good idea! <gasps> good idea. Welcome to Pizza Palace, home of the Sir Anchovy Special. The How pizza did... you should enjoy outdoors. The Sir Anchovy Special. Do y'all like anchovy on your pizzas? Ooh, a cemetery. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, hello now. Hi there. Gosh, it's so good to see ya. You keep up the good work now, dear. Oh my god, it's Bess's mom. Wait, what about George? Hi there. Oh, it's great to see you guys. Now you keep working on that case and oh, drop by anytime. Oh my god, the lore guys. Also, why did I think this was about Nancy's mom? Or some of this stuff was Nancy's mom. Maybe it's just we're getting a lot of information about just Bess and George and Ned and her dad. Maybe that's why I got confused. Hello. Where were you before you saw the fire? At around 2 p.m. I was going to talk over at the River Heights Historical Society. What was the talk about? We were talking about the time capsule. Not that that matters now that it's been burned to a crisp. It was due to be opened at the Anvil Days Festival. You should know this. The winner of the Clues Challenge gets to add something of their own when it's resealed. Goodbye. Bye. All right, so he has an alibi. Hmm. Yeah, we have to play as best though. Okay. Oh, I don't know if it has to be best or not. All right, let's go to the Drew residence. Didn't they, didn't she say something will be left on the fireplace mantle? Okay, it's not there yet, so maybe not yet. All right, let's go drop off the fingerprint. I don't mind them, not my favorite, but they're fine. Oh, anchovies? I don't think I've ever had anchovies on pizza, so I'm not even sure if that's something I would like. I think personally, I would it, but I don't know. Okay, there we go, Nancy. All right, let's call her. Oh wait, no, we're supposed to call. Oh my God, look at this. It's from Danger by, isn't it Danger by Design when we got to decorate the characters? Oh my God. Oh my God, all right, let's call Holly. Hello. Hi, Deirdre Shannon gave me your number. Can I ask you a quick question? Um, sure. Where were you yesterday around 2 p.m.? Hanging out with my friends. Who was there? Deirdre and Jessica. We were working on the clues challenge. Are you sure about that? Positive. You can ask Jessica if you want. Okay, thanks for your help. Bye. Okay, all right. Checks out so far. Let's ask Jessica. <laughs> I know that. Oh, is it the Japan one? Hi, Deirdre gave me your number. Can I ask you a quick question? Um, sure. Where were you yesterday around 2 p.m.? Working on the clues challenge. Who was there? It was me and Holly. What about Deirdre? Ha! She was supposed to be there. 
ended up coming hours later, as usual. What do you mean by that? Don't tell her I said this, but she's not a very good team member. She's never where she says she's going to be. She's always running around, and she'll never say where she's been. I shouldn't have said that. Don't tell her I said that. Oh, I have to go. <sighs> Jessica ratted her out! Yes, queen! Tell the truth. Rat on your horrible I'll let you friend. Go. Bye. Rat on her. She doesn't deserve to be saved. Holly, Holly. <laughs> what? Holly, Holly, Holly. Alright. She's exaggerated a bit. Hello? You think so? Alexi said he was giving a talk during the time the alarm was disabled. Interesting. See if you can verify that. Uh, okay. Let's I'm turning the case over first. to you. Hi, I'm Whitney. on the case. Oh, wait. I didn't even notice Nancy's haunted mansion. Wait, what else can I change it to? Shadow Ranch, Blackmore, Venice, Twista. Secrets can kill. No, we're going to keep message on haunted mansion. Okay. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. No. Yes. Here, 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 here. Oh, wait. I have to go get it first. Oops. This is uh, really fun. I like switching between both of the people. I like how she's not doing this alone. All right. It's scanned, I think. So now we can do this. No matches found. Uh, darn it. It wasn't good enough. Ugh. All right. Why don't we call George? We haven't called George in a while. Let's call George. Or at all, actually. Let's call George. Hello. Maybe she George, it's Nancy. Nancy, what's going on? How are you? <laughs> all right. For now, I'm not going to be able to get out of here until I can prove that I'm not the one who set the fire. We'll do anything you need to help get you out. I always feel intelligent after playing a Nancy Drew game. Me too, Edwarden. Me too. How many Nancy Drew games have you played? Mm, I'm not sure. What number is this one? All Nancy Drew games have a number. I don't know. <laughs> a lot. <laughs> I checked the partial fingerprint from Deirdre's note, but there weren't any matches in the system. If we can get a match against one of the suspects, I might be able to get out. Can you find a way to get prints from everyone? You got it. It's your turn to take the case. I'm on the case. <gasps> she has ghost dolls. <gasps> this one is the only Nancy Drew game I... I played it when I was younger. I think when it first came out, but this game got canceled. Um, so you can't play it anymore, um, uh, for good reason, but, but I have, this is one of the games I haven't played on stream. Oh, yes. No, wait. Well, yes. Okay. It doesn't matter. Wait, why is she in Nancy's? Oh, yeah, she's in Nancy's home. Duh. Um, okay. What are we gonna do? Let's see. Done. We're gonna need to get Alexi's fingerprint and Brenda's fingerprint. Where the heck is Brenda? Hi, Whitney! Uh, thank you so much for some gifting to Queen Gamper. That was sweet of you. Hello, Queen. How are you? I can't do this now. I can't do this now. Mm. Done! I can't do this now. Oh, find my own fingerprinting kit. Oh, wait. does all Do all of them get one? There we go. Oh, she gets one. And some chocolate. That is so good. Done. 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 All right. Let's go figure out how to get other people's fingerprints. Let's go. Maybe the guy likes George. 
Let's see. Maybe the guy, the antique guy. Done. Wait, how do we find Brenda? Like, where does Brenda work? Like, the news place, right? Is there a news place? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Um, all right, antique store. Oh, she's at the van. Shoot! Wait, what does that say? It was originally Thursday at 2. The talks were came from Saturday at 11. Right. Oh, Hello. Shoot. I didn't realize she was here. Hello. Will you help us let the town know that Nancy's innocent? I'm not fully convinced that's true. Plus, that's not how things work. But she is innocent. Then why is she in jail? Because she's been framed! <laughs> I've been working the crime beat here for a while, so I can safely say that people claim they've been framed all of the time. So far, not one has been able <gasps> to prove it. That's why we need me. your help. I do Thank the news, you. not charity. Plus, this is a good story. A heroine falls from grace. A once grateful town turns its back. The final clue is found. Listen to how good that is. I don't even have to try to make the story interesting. Aren't you worried about seeing justice done? No. I'm a reporter. If people cared about seeing justice done, I'd report on it. But they don't, so I don't. What? Wow. Boo on this girl. Um... Thank you again, Whitney, for stop gifting your PJ. That was sweet of you. Thank you. No integrity. Yeah, absolutely none. Where were you around two on the day of the fire? Live and on the scene, as usual. I'm pretty sure most of the town saw the broadcast, and this story is on the fast track to national coverage. You didn't answer my question. I'm sorry. I'm working on a lead. I have to work on my notes. What? Great to see you again. All right, so she didn't answer my question, but she was already on the scene, so she knew it was gonna happen. What do you think of Nancy? On the record or off the record? Just honestly. So off the record then. I think she's in big trouble and way, way out of her depth. And on the record? Well, gosh, she's just another example of what makes this town so special. Can you tell me what happened at the fire? Are you asking me for my statement? Yes. I already gave that to the police. I'd just like to hear it from you. We're asking everyone. Oh, good luck with that. Now, let's get to brass tacks. What's the real story with Nancy Drew? Oh my God. She's not guilty. It's not up to me to decide innocence or guilt. It's up to the public. Actually, it's up to the courts. Officially, that's true. But the court of public opinion makes its verdict before the actual courts can even schedule a hearing. Guess which one matters more? Oh, dang. Were you writing a story about the fire? Writing? Yes, I was writing a story and broadcasting and webcasting and macro and micro blogging. I own this story. D what is, what the, ma macro, micro blogging? Are you going to continue reporting on the fire? If I didn't, I wouldn't be doing my job. The fire is the biggest thing to happen here since old man Crowley's will was found. Good. I need your help. I need to know everything you know. In my line of work, you have to work for the answers. If you want to talk to me, you're going to have to give me some good info about Nancy. I don't like the sound of that. As my dad always used to say, What are you gonna do? Cry about it? You ready to do this or what? Childhood trauma? <laughs> Sure. All right. Do your worst. Who would want to see the old town hall burn down? Don't know. Don't care. Has Nancy always been interested in starting fires, or is that a recent development? You didn't answer my question. So, you're reluctant to say. Probably not a recent thing, then. Tell me about Nancy's dark side. What are you talking about? I'm talking about Nancy. Okay, my turn. Oh, God. Wait, you didn't let me ask a question. Yes, I did. You asked me what I was talking about, and I said Nancy. 
Speaking of Nancy, is it true that she's been known to skirt the law when she's on a case? No. So then she just flagrantly breaks the law. Good to know. Stop, that's not what I said. I don't want to be interviewed. I just need to find out what's going on with Nancy. Okay, all right. I'll put the kid gloves back on. Everyone in this town is so shy. I'd kill for a little verbal sparring now and again. You gotta be primed and ready for the big time. And I get nothing here. So you're looking to move on in your career? Yep. Believe it or not, this backwater burg doesn't cut it for me. Wow. This lady is a, is a butt muncher. Nancy's no fire starter. No, she's not. Deirdre said she intercepted a note intended for Nancy. What do you mean? She was following Nancy and snagged the note. So someone was trying to lure Nancy to the fire with a note? Yes, exactly. What's to say she didn't write the note herself? I've seen that sort of thing before. What's to say she did? Basic logic. I couldn't possibly be guilty. Look at this note that anyone could have written. It's desperate. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, Kat! You didn't treat us fairly in the articles you wrote. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I change what you said? No, you took what was said out of context. It seems that way, but trust me, it's not what happened. It's common for subjects to be nervous and forget what they've said. You can't blame me for that. You'll get better. Anytime you want to practice, let me know. We could talk about Nancy. Have you turned up anything on Tony? I'd love to. That's the only thing that can make this story better. What do you mean? Tragedy? Government cover-up? Now that's a national story. I would kill for Tony to be wrapped up in this. Do you think Tony might actually be behind the fire? My sense tells me no. But my ratings say please, please let it be her. Why? She looks all upstanding. But she's on the take. I mean, she just has to be. What do you know about Tony and the fire? I've got it on good authority that she was putting the squeeze on the police to take someone into custody. Didn't seem to care who took the fall, as long as it happened fast. Did she push for Nancy to be arrested? Doubt she even gave it that much thought. She wanted the fire off her list and in yesterday's headlines on the double. Dang. See you later. Bye. Bye. Jeez Louise. Is there anything I can... Nope. All right. Wow. That woman is not a good woman. A good lady. Greetings. The talk you said you were giving at the Historical Society was canceled. Oh, what are yeah. you talking about? That's it what never happened. Said. Where were you really? <laughs> it was not canceled. I showed up. I gave my talk. There was a reception. Then I left. Same as always. That's not what I heard. What you heard was wrong, so why don't you just butt out? I'm looking for a gift for my uncle. He's a real... train buff. Can you help me find something special for him? Train? Now that's a question I like. You got it. I'm gonna go see what I got in the back. Just hold on. Oh, there we go. All right, here we go, here we go. Dusting for fingerprints. Perfect. That's a good Perfect. fingerprint. Yeah. Nice. This is cool. Got an old fashioned fire extinguisher, metal polish. Dang it, if only I had the key. Dang it, if only I had the key. At least I think I had the key, or at least Ned had it. Is there any other thing I can snoop? Should I beat Ned's score? Hi, Superway, aka my own score. Good morning, how are you doing? <laughs> she just leaves. Goodbye. All right, let's go. Uh, 
How you doing, Superway? George, look. She's refusing to move. All I want to do is snoop through her stuff, and she's making that impossible. Can you help? Go make her move. Ugh, fine. And she's, oh, she's talking What's about up? her? What do you think of Brenda? Seeing her makes me want to invest in hair salons and plastic surgery. Do you not like her? Oh, I'm a huge fan of the whole Heights 9 news team. When news breaks, who will be boring about it? Ugh, <laughs> I just sort of hate her. Why? She's just always so chipper. I hate it. Write down in your notebook that I hate that. That's it? My dad made her hit list a year back. She just makes stuff up. She dresses up and does hidden camera stings in these ridiculous outfits. Hey, didn't she dress up as Nancy once? I don't know. That's not normal behavior there. Wait, she dressed up as Nancy? She's definitely that girl, 100%. Would you like to go for a walk somewhere? No. Okay, good talk. It seems like your friends aren't as confident about where you were as you seem to think they'd be. Between you and me, they're kind of dumb. Wow, you're a terrible friend. <laughs> you talk to them or something, right? I'm not wrong. Anyway, we're not for real friends. They're still in the 90-day trial period. I can return them in their original packaging at any time. Do you know right. anything about Alexi? Right. Him. I'm not a fan. He's got old man weirdness and old man smell. I don't know if one causes the other or if that's just how he rolls. We shouldn't even have to deal with him. He should have been arrested years ago. Arrested? For what? Oh, it's nothing. I'd really like to know why you think Alexi should have been arrested. I see that. Are you going to tell me? No, probably not. Why don't you go ask him yourself if you care so much? See you later. Later. This is S-tier dialogue with this person. I couldn't agree more. <laughs> Hello. What do you know about Nancy Drew's arrest? Hello. It's sad for her and for this town. A lot of people put their faith and trust in Nancy, and she's really let a lot of people down. But she didn't do anything. It's not up to me to decide that. I just know what I've seen. I know that the police force here doesn't take anything lightly. If they've made a decision, I have to stand by it. <gasps> oh, excuse me, I have to go get this delivery. Yes! Fingerprints. Oh, That's this? Town Hall. Why would she have these pictures? She has a photo of the window and the fire alarm. Oh, a sus. Fish sauce. Wait, how do I get her fingerprint? Oh, it's locked. Oh, a key. This is just like what Nancy saw at the fire. <gasps> the snowflake ice cube molds. Oh, chat, this ain't looking good for Tina Fey. Antonia's. Oh, her name is Antonia. Oh, Tony is for short. Oh, okay. That's an accelerant. <gasps> Paint thinner. All right, she has paint filler thinner chat. Interesting. I need to find the right tools to open this lock. Darn it. I don't have the lock. I need lock to find pick. the right tools to open Darn this it, lock. Darn it, Ned. Why? Wait, how do I get her fingerprint? Shoot, we need to come back as Ned. Can I not get like a cup she's clean? No? Hmm. We need to come back as Ned. <laughs> Finally! Hi, Gift World! Alright, let's Can't call. Can't use my phone now. 
No. I can't do this now. Hmm. Done. I can't do this now. Hmm. Let's. Who should we switch to? Maybe we switch to. Oh, I think we need to switch to back to Ned. We'll switch back to Ned. Hello. Or maybe not. Nancy needs us to get fingerprints from all the suspects. Any idea what to do? I'm not sure. That's Nancy's area of expertise normally. We'll have to observe everyone and keep an eye out for anything that they have touched recently. How long do fingerprints last? I don't know, but we should look for something that's been handled recently. That way we know we're getting the correct prints. Did you hear about Bess and the antique store? What happened? She wrecked some priceless vase and is completely persona non grata at the antique place. So that's up to us. Oh no. Well, that's okay. We'll be able to handle things at the antique shop. I'm really worried about Nancy. What if we can't help her? I know. I feel the same way. But we can't afford to be worried right now. Nancy needs us more than ever. Let's keep Nancy pushing forward on the case no matter ever. what. Alexei's alibi is not holding up. We should keep pushing him for information if we can. Goodbye. Bye. Too bad I can't switch between the people on... Like, from person to person on the phone. We have to go through Hello? Nancy. We found Tulene in Tony's store. Excellent work. Tony is starting to look like a promising suspect. Alexi lied about his alibi. That means he's a priority suspect. Keep a close eye on him and try to figure out what he would gain by burning down Town Hall. I'm turning the case over to you. Nancy Drew taking over. Is there anything I can do on Nancy's side? Do we have any more like... Oh, here we go. To lean in supply closet, Tony. Friends didn't back alibi. Deirdre. Has snowflake ice cube tray. She said she was working. Can't confirm. Uh, was that Tony? Tony said she was working? Or was it Brenda? Or maybe it was Tony. False alibi. Meeting cancel. Alexi. And then these are the keys to the fire alarm. All right. Okay. All right, let's call Ned. So maybe Ned can go back to Tony and get her to be distracted. Hello? Maybe. Ned, we need to get Deirdre's fingerprint. That too. See if you can distract her. Distract her? Maybe invite her out on a date. Anything so that we can get her fingerprint. Can do. Wow, he didn't hesitate to say yes to that. I need you to take over. We need Ned, a, a date. Ned, reporting for duty. No, but even Na Aunt Nancy. Nancy, like, I know you're in jail, girl, but I don't think that's it. I, I don't think that's a good idea. Here, let's see if we can do this first. Hi, welcome. What can I get for you? What's with the snowflake ice cubes? <laughs> They're the after. cutest. Deirdre sent me to the novelty shop, and when I saw them, I just about died. I said, Tony, you get those and you put them in your shop. Don't think twice. Can you get them in any other shops around here? Nope. Only right here. Nancy saw a snowflake <laughs> ice cube, just like what you use here Hi, at the fire's point of origin. That's some compelling evidence. Does she still have it? Why do you have paint supplies here? It is a never-ending battle to keep this place up. I get a lot of traffic in this shop, and I am constantly fussing and fixing up this place. It never ends. Are you running for a new term? Yes. How's that coming? It gets harder every election cycle. People will do anything for money or exposure. You have to play hardball to stay alive out there. Goodbye. Come again. Dang it, I was really hoping I could... Lulu, did you say that I have to, like, play a game and, like, wait or something for the car to come? Or do I have to talk to her again? Because I have the... I have... I have the... This kit, 
where it's like a lock picking kit. Darn it. You hate. Oh. There it is. There it is. No, not that. What about this? The lock picking kit might just do the trick. It's locked. Duh. I don't know what I'm doing. Can't see inside. I need to figure out how to crack this kind of lock. I'm gonna have to go and look at Nancy's notes because, yeah. Ain't, ain't, ain't no way. I have no idea. All right. Okay, that's fine. All right, let's go flirt with her. Hi. I was wondering if you... Yes? Maybe we could go grab some food together. Yes, I would like that. I can't go out like this. I'm going to have to go get ready. But you're out already. Oh, Nedwin. I know you're used to spending time Nedwin. with Nancy Drew, but not all girls are like that. Some of us find better ways to spend our time than playing detective. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. I only did that for your fingerprints, lady. Got it. I see why Nancy likes this sort of thing. Perfect. Got a whole better fingerprint. All right. Goodbye. Hi. I'm not going to actually go Thanks. on a Bye. date with you. Talk to you later. Goodbye. No, goodbye. Leave. Don't come back, Ned. Don't show your face. Oh, shoot. We didn't get the fingerprint from George. We didn't. Where's the place? Okay, let me drop off the fingerprint and then let me let me get best to try to get the fingerprint from um oops, from uh, Tony. Cause isn't didn't she say Tony likes her or something? What's up? You should take over. I'll take it from here. Actually, let me call George and get the fingerprint first. Hi. I need you to take over. I'm Lock on the case. Lockpicking is hard in this game, at least to me. No, you're 100% right. Just gonna take a photo of that. No reason, no reason. Identify object to open, and then find object's lockpick rules below. Okay, well, we need to open a cabinet. File cabinet, here! Why does it have the stars? Luggage lock? Sc school locker? Some BK? Bike lock, maybe? Padlock? Okay, well, this one. So I have to follow this one. Very second something. I really don't understand that. R. Okay, place all four picks first. Manipulate the picks in the order as instructed, beginning with the shaded letter. So R. What? Alright, well, I took a photo of it, so we have it. <laughs> but. Does that make any sense? No! <laughs> Not at all. Oh, did that say every second one? Is that what it said? Every second one? How do you, how do you figure out if you don't know the star thing? Oh, every second one. Yeah. But how do you, how do you figure out? 
Isn't it file cabinet? Yeah, it said file cabinet every second one. Oh wait, what am I doing? All right, all we need is Tony and Brenda's fingerprints. Hmm. Hmm. Hi. It's your turn. I'm on the case. Let's call Bess and see if we can get Bess to get Tony's fingerprints. I have no idea about Nancy. Brenda's. What's up? Maybe she likes me. I Nick. need you to take over. I'm on the case. Oh look, she's still gone. <laughs> Isn't the fingerprint residue still on there? Hi, welcome. What can I get for you? Can you tell me where you were at 217 on the day of the fire? <laughs> Bess here. so serious when she talks to people. Oh, here. I thought you'd be a little more concerned about Nancy's arrest. I know this is hard for you. I do. You brighten up my shop when you drop in, Bess. I hate to see you so upset. Of course I care, but what can I do? You know anything about Brenda and Nancy? Do you know anything about Brenda and Nancy? I don't have to tell you, there's a lot of animosity on Brenda's end. Between you and me, Brenda's still furious about the antiquities of the ancient world special. <gasps> the traveling exhibit that Nancy found out was full of fakes? That's the one. Oh. Brenda broke the story herself. Word is, she had negotiated a special with one of the cable channels. But when Nancy broke the story, the cable people <gasps> killed her special. Brenda went full out ballistic when she heard. Really? I don't know if this is true or not. They say one of the Heights Nine news interns went home that day with a broken arm. What? That's what? the rumor. One thing I know, she hates Nancy. Big time. Until next time. Goodbye. Wow. Wow. So Brenda, dang. Oh, what if we, hold on. Hold on, hold the phone. Hold on. What if we get her to make ice cream for us? That's what we have to do to get her fingerprint. But she doesn't, Bess doesn't have a fingerprint kit, so let me go get one real quick. That's probably what we have to do, though. Yeah. Mmm. So good. <laughs> I'm making these poor girls eat so much. And Ned. <laughs> Alright, let's go back and try. How does Net Nancy know how to do lock picks for certain things? Let's do chocolate covered cherry. Time to find some fingerprints. Yes. Perfect. Got it. Got it. Do it right in front of her. <laughs> All right, let's drop off these fingerprints. Nice. Figure that one out. All right. The only person left is Brenda to get her fingerprints right. <laughs> Nothing to see here, Tony. Okay. Wait, where's the, wait. Where's the car? Hello? You take the lead now. I'm on the case. Where, how do I get the, wait, is it, it was in front of the scoop place, right? Okay, let's take all of this. Okay, well we have three of them. Um, let's put them into the machine over here. Okay, got Deirdre's, Alexi's, and Tony's. All the fingerprints. Ha ha ha. Alright, let's do this. Search. Clear. 
Click to compare prints. Line up for exact match. Possible matches found. Three. We probably need to wait to do this until we have the fourth fingerprint. So let's call George back because when I was... Hello. No. No. Bye. Let's call Ned. See you later. Let's, let's do Ned. Ned. Because he has a lockpick thing. So then maybe we Hello? can do the lockpick. Ned, pick. I need your Ned's expertise. Ned's expertise. I see what you did there. This is about Deirdre, isn't it? Yes, we need to distract her. You have to ask her out on a date. I have to what? Just take her out for lunch. Stall her for a while. But what if people see us? I'll get a reputation. Ned. <laughs> okay, I'll do it. It's weird, but I'll do it. <sighs> Thanks. Wait, 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 wait. He's worried about his reputation if he takes out Deirdre on a date. Not like, I don't like, or maybe he means like, he's known for being Nancy's boyfriend, so this would make him look bad. I don't know, it's still, he should have said like, I don't want to do it. Eh. I'm passing the case to you, Ned. He Ned, something Ned, reporting better. for duty. Eh, Ned, Ned. Should have been like, no, I can't do that to you. Or, I don't know what else. Where's, where's the car? Where, when does the truck show up? Hello. Thanks, bye. Goodbye. Yeah, people will think he's a dirty cheater. But like, he cares more about reputation. I don't know. All right, let's wait. Oh, it's the bands at the antique store, not the scoop store. Okay, that's why. That's why I got confused. All right, hold on. Let's try to lockpick. We got this, guys. We got this. Here, peanut butter ice cream just to start off mm. our day good. Oh, this is good. Our, our session, continued session, good. Yes. All right. Uh, we need to get her out of here. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. I can't do this now. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. <laughs> um. Got it. I can't do this now. I can't do this now. All right. I can't do this now. I, I haven't asked her on a date. I thought I did. Anyways, uh, I need her to leave. Please leave. Let's play this game while we wait for her to leave. Hi, Tanner. Thank you. His day lined up. Yeah, he's got it. He, my man has got it. In is not he. Me is in me. What? Me. Is. Who? What is it? Oh, my. 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 Um, man, how long is she gonna take to leave? Am I gonna have to do this whole thing? Does she only leave if, if, if it's George or... N Bess? Did she ever leave with Ned? She ain't leaving! Usually it's like pretty soon. Oh my god, Ned. Uh... Hmm. Hold on, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see if I can drop off this. So I'm trying to pick a lock. Let's see if I can drop off the lock. I can't thing. do this now. I can't. Are you serious? I can't do this now. I can drop that off. Didn't realize I could do that. Dang it! So he's the only one that can hold the lockpick and stuff. Well, let's ask her on a date. Maybe we can't do it yet. What's the deal? I waited for you for an hour. I'm sorry. I ran into traffic. All right. <laughs> Fine. Don't let it happen again. Do you 
Do you visit the novelty shop often? Maybe is that where Do you we visit would go the novelty shop date? often? Trust. Sure. I love that place. I demanded that Tony go there, and now she's super into it too. Why do you go to the novelty shop so often? We've been having a lot of house parties lately, so I go a lot. You know, it's a shame that you never come to our parties. I've never been invited. Consider yourself perpetually invited. Oh my goodness. Isn't that exactly the same thing you were wearing before you got changed? <laughs> no, it's completely different. I can't believe you didn't even notice. What? It is the same. I was wondering <laughs> if funny. we could go grab some food together. Yes, I would like that. It's the same Were you outfit. able to distract Deirdre? Yes. Great. I'll call Bess or George to go see if she's left anything behind. This is odd. Wait, this is odd because we technically already got her fingerprints. Nancy, what's up? Ned's got Deirdre distracted. Can you see if she's left anything behind? <laughs> Drop <laughs> off anything you find at the station. You got it. She just has the same outfit for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. <laughs> I'm passing the case to you, Bess. Bess, reporting for duty. All right, what did she leave behind? Yes. Her notebook, what is this? Clue, the blacksmith architect and the framework ham party. Architect equals founder. So town founder, Mahoney, Mahoney, Anvil Days and the Rock'em Gang. I have no idea what this means. Uh, we're the second ones to find next clue. What, Nancy seem already ahead? This will not stand, this must be stopped, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Breaking, got a hot tip that medallion is hidden in old town hall. Snuck in and searched, no luck. <gasps> so she already searched in the town hall? Clue, through the round, a lower realm. Shape up, Clue, you don't make sense. Must be round, entrance, or shape? Possibilities, Harrison Park, Ferris wheel, the water tower, crow's nest. This just in, all of these ideas were wrong. Intercepted message, tracking down lead. Oh, this was Nancy. Note was a dead end, no one there, nothing to be found. There's no way, or maybe it wasn't Nancy's thing that she was stalking her. There's no way to do this without cheating. Nancy's team must be cheating. I can't wait to see the look on her face when she gets busted. Clue, a glittering trail for all to see. A loft ablaze with incandescent flowers. Incandescent equals brilliant white. Also a type of light bulb. Last year's criminology chemistry class comes in handy again. Aluminum, titanium, and magnesium burn white. Saw best Ned and Nancy near the, near, near the new town hall. Ned looking fantastic. Everyone else looking dra- <laughs> Tragically nerd. Tragically nerd. Oh my god. Need to figure out why they think Newtown Hall is important. Place one team member on probation for crime, only saying things that are stupid. Hmm. Clue. An Ebon store and irresistible pool. Ebon old school for black? Oh, Eben. Ebon? This is from before the fire yesterday. We need to get this to Nancy. Mm. This automated letter serves as official notice that your vehicle was photographed by the River Heights Red Light Photo Enforcement System and that the registered driver has violated city driving regulations. You must contact the River Heights Police Department to verify if you were the driver photographed and to arrange payment of the violation fine. Fine payment must be received by 918. After this date, the River Heights Police Department will summon or issue a summons. If you wish to obtain the full detailed version of this ticket, including location of offense and red light camera photo, or to contest the citation, contact the River Heights Police Department. Do y'all remember? Um, I don't know if y'all still have these, but you remember the pitch, the little cameras that would take a photo if you ran a red light? They got rid of those. I don't know if they got rid of those in, in 
every state, but they got rid of them, at least in Texas. I remember being so terrified of those cameras because they still would like take a photo even if it was like a yellow turning red, like right when you like go like right under it and stuff. And it would cause more traffic accidents. I think it's the whole reason why they got rid of them. They, tra they cause more traffic accidents than I think they're... They were used to like stop people from doing it, but it caught it ended up causing more. I'm still paranoid. I know, right? I am from Texas. Yes, I'm from Dallas. They they took them out in our town too. Yeah, like I remember. I don't remember when that happened or like why it happened really, but we don't have any more. So River Heights does. <laughs> I've been old school for. Okay, uh, could be scoop stores on. Black Street and it's ice cream is really really good. It needed to look around. Possibly that time capsule could be on premises. Nothing found. Waiting for next clue. Game over, Nancy Drew. Oh wow. That's a bit in interesting. Um darn it, I need this lady to wait, no, I don't need this lady to go. Because I don't have the lock pick kit, so never mind. Take it back. Take it back. All right, why don't we go back to the antique store and talk to that reporter lady, see if we can get her fingerprints somehow. They added way more cameras, excuse me, in my old area. Wait, so y'all still have those cameras? <laughs> Ahead of the time, yeah. All right, let's see here. How do we get her fingerprint? Hi. Is there a way I could get in touch with you later? Good question. Why don't you take one of my cards? <gasps> my phone's always off when I'm on scene, but I check my messages constantly. I'll call back if it's important. But her fingerprint's not on If this. you want to talk about Nancy, off the record even, I'm always there for you. Oh my god, we can ask her straight up. You've impersonated Nancy in the past, haven't you? You've impersonated Nancy in the past, haven't you? Possibly. I've done some crazy things to get a story. It's part of the job. How Dang. crazy. I can't give away my methods. A lot of what I do is setting up a trap and seeing if anyone falls for it. And when they do... Wham! See you at 11 because you just got nined. That's not exactly news. Nope. It's better. It's actually interesting. So maybe she's the one who made the note so that Nancy would come here and get caught like she set the trap for Nancy <gasps> and put it could be her it could be. she has a lot of motive not only she did Nancy take a really big story from her not that Nancy did it on purpose Nancy was just being Nancy right but that made her so angry so she has motive to want to get back at Nancy but killing her I don't know about that Anyways. I understand that you were upset that Nancy ruined your big story about the antiquities of the ancient world show. Yes, I was, but that's the business. I lose stories constantly. There's no such thing as a solid story until it hits the airwaves. And even then, She's taking wouldn't that you rather want easily. to get back at Nancy after she ruined your big debut? I did. And then I got over it. Do you have any clue how busy I am? I don't even have the energy to hold a grudge. And if I did, I'd never have time to do anything about it. Bye. Drop by if you've got any hot tips. How do I get your freaking fingerprint? Hello. Until next time. Drop by if you've got any hot tips. Hmm. I've always loved her hair. Oh, the reporter's You hair? again. Get out. My bad. God, I was playing this. <laughs> Alright, let's drop some stuff off. Can you grab, like, a cup? I couldn't. I, or, did I? Well, I don't know. Maybe I could have? It looked like I couldn't click on anything new, though. Can I get like a fingerprint off this? Hold on. 
Okay, I don't think I can get a fingerprint because I picked it up out of a metal container. So, oh, hold on. Maybe we can do it, but like somebody else can do it? Hmm. Or, yeah. Oh my god, we can call her and pretend that there's a... Oh, hold on. Call in a tip. Hot tip. You have reached the Heights 9 action news tip line for Brenda Carlton. Please speak clearly when prompted to report breaking news in the North River Heights area. Say yes. Otherwise, say no. Yes. You have indicated a breaking news story in the North River Heights area. Brenda Carlton will be notified directly. Goodbye. Not directly. All right. Let's head to Brenda Carlton. Maybe she's... Well, wouldn't her car be gone? Maybe she would leave her car? Oh, 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 here we go. Perfect. Need powder. Yes. Get that Got last it. fingerprint. Woo! What else can we look at? Ooh, what's this? That <gasps> acetone. Start a fire. Yes, but that is such a common thing to have around you. But still, could it could acetone is a rather a flammable. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Is there anything to click on? Hmm. Well, that needs to be open, but I don't have a key for that. All right. Got her fingerprint. Let's give it to Nancy. Yeah, he's he's probably going to be mad at me the rest of the game. <laughs> oh well. All right. Call Nancy and let her know. We could send that girl on a wild goose chase Hello. like over and over. <laughs> Cause she's kind of a butthole. You take the lead now. I'll take it from here. Mm -hmm. Not a very nice lady. Okay. Oh wait, let's go pick the stuff up. So we knit we know that Tony has paint thinner. We know that uh, Brenda has acetone. We still don't really know. Wait, do we know what Alexi had? Alexi had something to clean off his instrument, but I don't know if that was like his little spy glass thingy, but I don't know what that was. I don't know if that could start fire, but I'm guessing it could. But we still don't know what Deer Deirdre has either. All right, got lots to do. Okay, first let's put the fingerprint in. And then, um, I forgot what this is. I guess we don't need it right now. Have a have fun with a tip, Brenda. <laughs> also make sure you keep updating the suspect board. Good idea. All right, let's do the fingerprint. I'm thinking either print two or print four. What do y'all think? Cause this is rather big. These are small. And this is this, maybe this one actually. I think it's this one up here. It's Brenda. It's Brenda. Brenda, Brenda. So Brenda is the one who whose fingerprint was on this, right? But this isn't the same note that Nancy got, was it? Nancy's note was more like burned. Right? Because look, this was Nancy's. So what was this? The this Is 
It says the same thing though. So like that's odd. It's odd, guys. That's odd. So this Deirdre is the one who found it. However, Brenda Brenda's fingerprints were on it. Oh yeah, these photos were taken of the new of the town hall, but they were like in Tony's store. So it's odd. Acetone and van. Uh, ye Brenda. Fingerprint on note. Brenda. But do I give this to Deirdre since she's the one? I don't know. Lied, scoop, closed, not open. Tony was the liar. Right. Um, that was another Deirdre intercepted. So maybe Deirdre. Okay, maybe Deirdre is one. one. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think we got this settled for now. All right, so couple things. We need to somehow read or listen to the suspect in interviews. We need to figure out what the heck this is. And we need to, oh, we need to go and put this number in. Can y'all, can y'all write this number down in chat for me? Please, oh. Please, hold on. It's weird. All right, we're good. Um, freaking Brenda. <laughs> that, okay, got it. All right, all right. RH627E401. I'm not going to remember that. I think this is what we put into the thing. Hold on. Let me see if I'm correct. Also, what is that sound? Every time I start the computer, it sounds like something sh short circuiting. Um, that's worrying. Also, can y'all give me just a second? One second. One second. Hold on. Hold, please. The number one cause of running red lights. Wait a second. This puts her at town hall right when the alarm was switched off. <gasps> but she was in her car. Wait, was it at 216? Oh my god, this is 211. <gasps> red light violation. Wait, maybe she ran a red light. Because she was running to town hall to turn off the... I don't know. <gasps> Fine amount of $100. That sucks. That sucks. Alright. That's done. How do we find a way to listen? Do I need... Maybe I need to give it to them. <coughs> I can't do that. Um, all right, let's call her dad and see if she can get more information. <laughs> gotcha. The way she looks in the Hello? photo. <laughs> Just driving. I should get going. Bye. All right, dad, that wasn't helpful. Um. Who should, maybe Ned, we'll call Ned. We could get him to confront Hi. Deirdre. I need you to take over. Ticket. 
Time to help Nancy. Deirdre, I forget how we're staring. Hi. Thanks. We're not. Bye. 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 Hi. What do you think Brenda is up to? Shh. Sorry. Can't talk about this now. Suspect is on the move. Wait. False alarm. Suspect is just grabbing a snack. Suspect loves snacking. <laughs> Bess Bye. is taking this so seriously, but also not at the same time. <clears throat> Hi, welcome. What can I get for you? One order of ice cream, please. Sure. I need her to leave, chat. Mmm, yum. Is the truck gonna come? Oh my mm. god, this makes me want ice cream so bad. Mm. Do y'all prefer shakes? Like, just ice cream like this. Just normal scoops of ice cream. Or do y'all prefer ice cream sodas? Oh, it has carbonated water. So I guess this plus ice cream plus flavored syrup. Like this. And a waffle cone. Yeah. Oh, I love that. And homemade waffle cones. Oh, so good. Oh, you can just resume. The heck? When is that freaking van going to come? Lulu, do you know if it comes for Ned? Ned's the only one who has this gosh darn lockpick kit. He's the only one. <laughs> gosh darn it. Might as well wait. Hi. Is that it now? Sounds like an engine. It'll say there'll be like a little thing that pops up that says truck is approaching in red letters. Have faith in the van. I'm, I'm waiting. Hopefully it comes. should have come by now. Over. How much ice cream do I have to order from you, lady? Mm, yum. Freaking Lieb. No, I meant to play. Dang it. No. I actually don't know if it has to be best or not, but if you can't trade the kit, then I guess it has to be whoever has the kit. Yeah, I tried. I tried to trade it. Let me try it one more time. Let me try it one more time. Maybe I did it wrong. I can't do this now. I can't do this now. Yes, you can. I can't do this now. 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 Darn you. All right, let's check Nancy's house. Did I mess up by making Ned be the one to have the kit? That, oh my God, no way. There was one Nancy Drew game where I hard, hard locked myself out of being able to beat the game. Y'all remember that, right? I think it was, was it Stay Tuned for Danger? To be fair, that game was known for um, being bad <laughs> in the sense of like, you can usually not finish the game because you didn't do something in time, but yeah. Oh, hello now. Hi there. Gosh, it's so good to see you. You keep up the good work now, dear. There's a well-known glitch in Waverly Academy that'll block you from finishing too. Is there? Do you happen to remember what it was? Just because I'm curious. 
Um, I don't know. Let's just go talk to people, I guess. I'm a little stuck. I want to open this. Oh, wait. Oh, I think we can. Salutations. Why were you really at the old town hall? I wasn't. I was just passing by. We have evidence that you were there. Confound what you, were you Nancy doing? Drew. I was trying nah. to open the time capsule. Why? Oh. That's none of your business. I didn't start the fire. I don't have to put up with this harassment. Whoa, Lulu, thank you for the 300 bits. Why did he try? Wait, what? He tried to open the time capsule? <gasps> was he trying to get some antiquities from there? And he was hoping to get them and sell them? Oh. Mm. Is near the beginning you do something in an order that's wrong and Rachel is gone when you need her? Um, yeah, see, that's unfortunate. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't run into that, though. Thank you so much, Lulu. What do you know what about Brenda? What do you know about Brenda? The reporter? She was in here pestering me earlier today, too. Are you all taking turns or something? Send the next guy in with a sandwich, would you? <laughs> um... What did Brenda ask <laughs> while she was here? I don't like it when people ask me questions. Right now, you are pestering me with questions about previous questions that I was pestered with <laughs> earlier. It's just recursive and rude, and now I have a headache. You're not a very chipper person. Why is that? Why is that? I once was. Really? Oh, yeah. I had a lot of fun in life. I had friends. I met the girl I was going to spend the rest of my life with. Okay, then what happened? What do you care? You some sort of tourist in other people's misery? No, it's just this shop is pretty cool. It seems like you'd be happy to run something like this instead of grumpy. You'd think that. I was happy, but one time, just once, I tried to speak truth to power. And man, if I didn't pay the price. What does that mean? It means my life has been a cruel joke. Try as you might, it's hard not to let that influence your general mood. What happened to end your career? Well, when you make it your business to tell the truth, you make a lot of people mad. That's what happened to me. Ah. I was 20. I'd been around the block a few times, been working my own cases for 10 years at that point. I'd seen it all. I'd been kidnapped, knocked out, hexed, cursed, locked up in a trunk, you name it. But I always nabbed the baddies. Always. So he was that is like until dancing. I turned in J.P. Bennington for cheating his way into City Hall. The Bennington family was very powerful in those days. Still is. In fact, Tony's brother-in-law is a Bennington. What happened? He accused me of stealing one of his father's priceless antiques, this ancient magnifying glass that was supposedly used in the drafting of the town charter. Supposedly belonged to one of the town's founding fathers. Why didn't you just say you were innocent? Ooh, that's a really good idea. <laughs> I did. In hundreds of ways, to anyone who would listen. It didn't matter. That's not fair. No, it isn't. My life was just beginning. Then in a blink, I was cut off at the knees. No one trusted me. No more cases. I lost everything. Wow. I wanted to see the world. I was going to. Then, just like that, he took that from me. Now I try to bring a little of the world to me when I can. But look around. This isn't enough. Aww, I feel kind of bad for him. It's kind of like Nancy's case, isn't it? Yeah, it's it's kind of like Nancy. So somebody's trying to frame Nancy, and if she's not found innocent, the same thing that happened to him is going to happen to Nancy. So Nancy can lose her career if she doesn't get or figure out who the 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 guy or who the person is. Um, that's kind of unfortunate this guy didn't find the guy, or find proof that he didn't steal that object. I would be kind of bitter too, but I don't think I'd snap that this much to random strangers though. Um, care, Do you have any antique radios? Go Maybe back in the back there. room? Yeah. Sure. Alright, now that he's gone... Let's inspect this thing. 
I think this is the key for it. Oh, it is. <gasps> oh, magnifying glass. What is this? Page one. Warning. This top secret book is booby trapped. Turn the page only if you have deactivated the security system. If you decide to turn the page, please make sure you are far away from other people. You've been warned. Oh, okay. What's the Why would Alexi trap? have an empty bottle of ether? <gasps> she has ether. Amateur, former amateur detective found guilty. River Heights First District Court reached a verdict today in the closely followed case of a disgraced former amateur detective charged with theft, trespassing, and related charges. See, this was about Alexi, and this is exactly what's happening to Nancy. So I'm wondering if whoever did this to Alexi is the same person that did, is doing this to Nancy. I don't think I believe an alarm will go off. It's a wheat notebook. Oh, you're probably right. <laughs> I just didn't know what else is in the trunk. Alexei Markovic, 20, was charged with the theft of a priceless -like antique lens from the Bennington residence, while assistant prosecutor Carson Drew could not produce the necessary evidence to find against Markovic in the theft charge. The jury found in favor of the prosecution for all lesser charges. Sentencing will take place next month. Wait, so it was Nancy's dad? So wait, he was against Markovich, but he didn't have enough evidence. However, the jury still found him guilty. Wow, that's messed up. <gasps> that's why she was saying that Oh my god, that's what Deirdre was saying about how, like, it doesn't matter. Yeah, courts are official and everything, but it, it matters about public opinion. Why wouldn't one have an empty bottle of ether? It st restores MP. I know this from Final Fantasy games. <laughs> As of press time, Markovich has declined all invitations to speak with the press. His lawyer has stated that there will... Be no appeal in the case. J.P. Bennington's office has stated that he will be personally investigating each of Markovich's closed cases for any irregularities. With such a large number of cases, it may be years before this town knows the full extent of Markovich's actions against his town. In the opinion of this journalist, the Markovich case serves as a harsh reminder to those who would place their trust outside the respected public institutions that have served this fine town for so long. So wait, actually, maybe, maybe Alexi is so angry and, and just a petty person that he's doing what happened to him to ha what happened to Nancy because she's still, but he, he's still holding a grudge against her dad. That would be interesting. Anyways, okay, you, tr okay, you've been warned. Okay, are you sure you want to keep reading? This is your last chance. Stop while you can. Note to biographers, this is the casebook of the great Alexei Markovich. Do not worry about the security system. It doesn't work on bio biographers, but it does work on parents and especially teachers. The case is a floating eye, my very first case. I think the man in the purple robe is not telling the truth. Found a secret passage in the old stoneworks building with a strange library on the other side. Soft, the floating eye was part of a mechanical rig contraption thing. Oh, fancy name. The man in the purple robe was trying to- You are not allowed in there! Now, out! Now! Ah! <laughs> Wait, was that Ned screaming? Oh! Oh, was that the guy? Wait, oops! Wait, that's so funny. <laughs> Wait, that's so Why funny. Why would Alexi have an empty bottle of ether? Oh my god, that is so funny. Okay, I don't know if I have time to read all of this. Here, let me save. Alexi has ether. Here, let me wait for him to come back. And then I'll try again. I'll just read the notebook. Oh, he's still gone. Okay, so Alexi has ether. Um, Tony has paint thinner, and, uh, Brenda has acetone. The only person we don't know 
who has a flammable substance is Deirdre. Deirdre. I want to keep reading, but I'm nervous he's going to come back. Whatever. The secret of the lightning factory. The lab at the edge of town has exploded. I'd better look into it. Snuck out, snuck in. Very creepy. Saw three men in black. Mask carrying out a large box. Thieves overloaded the security circuitry to cause a fire when stole a new prototype. Wait, isn't there a Nancy Drew game with a lab? I don't think we've played that one yet. The case of the echoing hall. Too easy. It was the shop owner. He actually twirled his mustache when he talked, like in the movies. The case of the murmuring shroud. Items stolen. The famed... Oh, I thought he was coming back. The famed Mesopotamian shroud, a.k.a. the murmuring shroud. Supposedly, if hung from a line at night, the wind will whisper the location of a long-lost tomb... I didn't buy it, but it would be really cool. Police are stumped. Strange footprints. One side clearly defined. One side drags. The museum director chased me out of his office. He was a little slow with that limp of his. The limp. Those strange footprints. I need more evidence before I confront him. Busted. The shroud was a fake. He staged the break-in to draw attention away so he could steal it secretly. The ghoulish parade, the Halloween parade, bundles of cash stolen, a town full of suspects. How can I find the culprit? 30 interrogations, no new clues. Where is the money? Flash of inspiration. I'm asking for all pictures taken that night. Spotted two pumpkins whose costumes get noticeably plumper as the night goes on. It was the pumpkins. He seems like a really nice detective. Stinks that he had to have this happen to him. I haven't been keeping up this diary as much over the last few years. I don't know why I'm coming back to this book now. Maybe I'm looking for a little luck. Maybe to find a thread in all of these solved cases of my youth that I could unravel and trace back to the core part of me that knows how to crack a case. J.P. Bennington is going to ruin me. I don't know if I can stop him. My house has been robbed and all of my records, except for this old book, have been taken. All the evidence I had that... He's bribing his way into office, gone. I'm back at zero, and now he's accusing me of stealing from his father, and I have nothing to fight back with. Just got released from jail. I told him I was innocent and didn't matter. I'm due in court. They don't have evidence, but the judge is in Bennington's pocket. Mm. The papers have turned on me. I can't catch a case. I dropped by to find Maggie, but she didn't say a word to me. She didn't have to. Her eyes were... What are you doing? Get out! Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no! I hope these aren't actual pumpkins. Otherwise, them being plumper is impossible, even if they're stuffed. I think they... I think it was based off, like, their costumes, right? Oh, see, who's pump two pumpkins whose costume. So it's people in pumpkin costumes. <laughs> um, I told her I'd prove my innocence. I could tell that she didn't believe me. I'm beginning to doubt myself as well. <gasps> so Maggie was the love of his life. And since he got sent to jail and was convicted of this crime, she left him. Oh. <gasps> I'm done now. Guilty. They couldn't prove the theft, so they charged me with trespass and neg 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 and you name it. Uh, doesn't matter. When people hear guilty, they hear guilty. I'll be spending some time on a work program downstate. I don't care about the work. I only care about that word. Guilty. Saw Maggie on a walk today with her new boyfriend. She gave me such a sad look, and there was something else there. Was it pity? Am I to be pitted now? Pitted! For years, years I stuck by this town. I put my life on the line again and again because I love River Heights. Correction, loved River Heights. To see now that they could be swayed by such a low life as Bennington turns that notion on its head that they could turn on me and never think for a second that I might truly be innocent. These people don't deserve what they have. I'd like to see this town destroyed for what it's done to me. I'd like to see the skyline consumed by flames and watch the masonry crumble into sand. I want this town to pay for what it has done. <gasps> 
I've been carrying this book around for months waiting to find the clue that will prove my innocence. I will write only one more entry in this book and I'll and it'll give the details of how I proved my innocence. Until then, I will carry it with me. Dang, that's kind of sad, man. Woo! Wait, we didn't. Well, we don't. Gosh, dang. Hello. Why were you at the antique store? Trying to get some background on Alexi. Didn't go all that well. Why not? He's not a fan of the media, and he's cranky, and he's old, and I broke one of his things on accident, and he would not let it go. Goodbye. Ha Drop Goodbye. by if you've got any hot tips. I kind of feel, I feel, I don't kind of feel bad. I feel bad for him. That sucks. Sound like Shrek. Get out of my swamp. <laughs> Get out of my swamp. All right. We need to get into the thing in lockpick, but let's see, what else can we do? Got get it. That. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. I've got everything except getting Nancy out of jail. I really need this lady to leave. Hi, welcome. What can I get for you? Do you know much about Alexi's past? I do. He mentioned that he used to be a detective, like Nancy. Wow. He's usually pretty secretive about that. Did he mention that he let the power go to his head and stole from the people he was supposed to be helping? The town turned on him. He lost all his friends, and even his family practically disowned him. He says he was framed. In all this time, he's never proven his innocence. He must have been quite the detective. He still seems upset about it. Very upset. Very bitter about the whole thing. Did you know he's been jealous of Nancy all these years? She got what he wanted and he hates it. Whoa. Do you think Alexi's the type to try to frame Nancy? He might be. I wouldn't rule that out. One order of ice cream, please? Sure. Dang. I don't believe a word Ooh, she yum. says. I don't like her. Mmm, yum. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, yum. I'm trying to wait for her to leave, darn it. I wonder if I should switch to somebody else. Call Nancy. Hello? We found Ether at Alexi's shop. Really? That seems out of place at an antique shop. It's on the list of commonly used accelerants for buyers. Good find. You should take over. Nancy Howie, Drew taking over. I'm gonna see what Deirdre has. Okay, let's add that to the board. Where's the board? Here. Ether and trunk. This is Deirdre's. Okay. What if I, what is, can you take a look at this? Be right there for an evidence check. I disagree with your cop work there, Nancy. Hmm. Maybe I need more. I also don't know who, oh wait, the keys were found in Alexi's. Oh, let's try it Can again. you come look at the evidence? Be right there for an evidence check. Not yet. It's got to be yeah. watertight. Yeah, so we probably, we need, we probably need more. Darn it. Oh, wait, I forgot. I could probably, oh, wait, 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 wait. This is how we listen. Oh, it's an SD card, not a floppy disk. <laughs> All right, let's listen. Please state your name for the record. Nancy Drew. Where were you when the fire broke out? Looked like Inside the building. What were you doing there? Someone sent me a note telling me to come here. Was there anything strange about the way the fire was burning? It started really quickly. What was the color of the smoke? Black. Did you notice anything else out of the ordinary? There was a snowflake-shaped ice cube on the thermostat. 
Okay, I don't need to listen. Okay, let's listen to Deirdre. State your name for the record. Deirdre Shannon. Deirdre. Where were you during the fire? On the side lawn. What were you doing in the area at that time? I was out jogging. Did you notice anything strange about the way the fire was burning? The strangest part was that the building was on fire. What color smoke did you see? I don't know. Smoke colored smoke? <laughs> did you notice anything else out of the ordinary? Yes. It took a very long time for the fire department to arrive. Do you really want to start down that path with me, Shannon? Because I don't think you do. <laughs> did you see anyone else at the scene before emergency crews arrived? No, I don't think I did. Do you believe someone intentionally started the fire? If so, who? I thought you had that part all figured out. Interesting. Okay. She was jogging? Please state your name for the record. Antonia Scolari. Where were you when the fire broke out? On the side lawn. What were you doing there? Canvassing the area. It's election season, which reminds me. Let's chat when you're done here. What was the color of the smoke? Is this a thing I need to know? Well, couldn't really tell. I can tell you that it did not smell great. Did you notice anything else out of the ordinary? For an old abandoned town hall, there sure seemed to be a lot of folks hanging around. Did you see anyone else at the scene before emergency crews arrived? Yes. Brenda Carlton, Nancy Drew. Nancy Alexi Drew. Too. And it's not the first time I've seen him creeping around that area. Oh. Did you believe someone intentionally started the fire? If so, who? Whoever it was is going to pay. I'll see to it personally. Hey. All right, Brenda. State your name for the record. Brenda Carlton, Heights 9 reporter. Where were you when the fire broke out? I was working that beat, so I was in the neighborhood. What were you doing there? Working. I already said that. Was there anything strange about the way the fire was burning? I've covered a lot of fires, and they all look different. I wish I could tell you more. The main takeaway here is that, thankfully, no one was inside at the time. What was the color of the smoke? That, I know. It was a nice, thick, almost supple gray. It really popped nicely with the light setup I was using. Usually you see thin black strands that are hard to pick up on camera. This was nice. Really looked sharp. Did you notice anything else out of the ordinary? Yes. Nancy Drew exited the building while it was burning. Did you see anyone else at the scene before emergency crews arrived? Yes, Nancy, of course. The Shannon girl was there. Councilwoman Scolari and Alexi, the owner of the antique store, were there you as know, well. You know, Tony didn't say she saw Do you believe someone Deirdre. intentionally started the fire? Who? In my line of work, we're not allowed to jump to conclusions. But when Nancy Drew strolls out of a burning building looking guilty, I'd say you've got your answer right there. Hmm. Yeah, I know, right? She's like, yeah, that fire was 10 out of 10. Would film again. <laughs> okay. Also, I, I thought it was black. Was it gray? I mean, I guess it could have been either, or... State your name for the record. Alexei Markovic. Where were you when the fire broke out? I was out for a walk in the area. What made you go for a walk? It was a nice night. Do I need any more of a reason? Was there anything strange about the way the fire was burning? Well, the whole thing was strange. That fire shouldn't have taken hold. The sprinkler system should have kicked in and doused it. What color smoke did you see? Black. Black. Did you notice anything else out of the ordinary? Such as what? The entire vent was strange by nature. Who else did you see at the fire? I saw some people. I don't know. There was a lot going on. It was hard to focus. Do you have reason to believe that someone would have started the fire on purpose? Absolutely not. That building is the heart of this town. There isn't one person in this town cruel or reckless enough to destroy it. Oh, do you think maybe something that could prove his innocence was in the uh, time capsule? Because didn't, didn't we get it confirmed that he was looking through the time capsule before? Yeah, he said it. That's what he was doing uh, around the same time that the fire happened, which is really sus. That's done. All right, I don't know what to do now. <laughs> Let's call Carson Drew, her dad. 
Hello? Yeah, I guess the game is not that old. <laughs> Do you remember Alexei Markovic? He was one of your first cases. That was a long time ago. Do you think he was guilty? The case wasn't that simple. Why not? There was a lot of evidence stacked up against him. As a prosecutor, I couldn't just ignore it. I know that, but did you think he was guilty? It didn't matter what I thought. I could tell from the start that the jury wanted him locked up. It was a very strange case. I mentioned it to the judge, and he told me that I was too new to the courtroom to make that kind of judgment. I believed him. Oh, and no. now? Now, I don't know. I wish I had listened to my instincts back then. From that day forward, Alexei went on to be an honest member of the community. And the Bennington family went on to cause no end of scandal. That right there speaks volumes. Yep. So, dang. So her dad even admits, admits that he probably would could have been innocent. And that he should have listened to his gut. Oh, that sucks. Hi, Ark. I'm doing good. How are you? I should get going. Take care. Dang. I kind of hope that Lexi didn't do this. So that maybe we can find evidence to clear his name, because that would be like a really nice ending. All right, I don't know who to call. Let's call George. I don't know who else to call Hello. or what to do. I, I don't know what to do. I need you to take over. George, reporting for duty. Does George have anything in our inventory? Okay, just that. Done, 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 done. Mm. Done. 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 Okay, so she's done. So maybe Beth. <laughs> All right, Dale. Thanks for announcing What's that up? to everybody. I'm turning the case over to you. <laughs> Nancy Drew done. taking over. Done. Beth Marvin. Nancy. What's up? Done. I'm passing the case to you, Beth. Let's see if everything's Time done. Time to help with Nancy. Beth. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. <laughs> Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. I can't do that now. Got it. Got it. Got it. Though, that is like so... What is the word? Hello. Satisfying. I guess I'll have more ice cream. I was Are hoping you sure you'd ask. Done? I think we needed like 20 more done to be 100% sure. <laughs> I, love I ice need cream. this lady to leave. But I don't want her to leave just yet. Because I need to be Ned if she leaves. You know? Hi! Oh, here we go. You got a red light ticket near Town Hall the day of the fire. What were you doing there? Just passing by. I was speeding because I heard that neighborhood was full of dangerous criminals. For example, arsonists. <laughs> Catch you later. Bye. Guess I'll we'll have some more ice cream. It's because we've been feeding her with so much ice cream, Mark. <laughs> Literally, I made her eat every single flavor. <laughs> um. Hi. I'm passing the case to you. I'm on the case. All right, let's see here. Let's ask for a hint, because I'm stuck. Oh, never mind. It's expired. Because <laughs> hints expire. Because that's a thing. Thanks. Mmm. Mmm, juice. Drew, do not touch the door. The door is not for you. I'm sorry. Okay. All right. Okay there, buddy. 
Yeah, Ned is the only one that can open that cabinet. Because he has I a need you to take pick. over. Ned, reporting for duty. But What's up? Bye. See ya. I can't use my phone here. Oh, hints. Oh, block pick. No, hold on. What about the results? I have a save of fire. What do I do with it? Wait, no, that's it. Try using the machine. We did that. Lockpick. I already have that. Dang it, Lulu, I'm stuck. I don't know what to do. The only thing, like, everybody's checklist is done. Same with Nancy's. And the only thing that I have to do is to do the lockpick. Hello. But I am, like, waiting. Bye. Come for again. This girl to leave. She won't leave. I don't know. Maybe we keep playing the game and like solve like a full game. <sighs> and then, and then, yeah, I know, right, Sam? And then the hints aren't helping. No, it still hasn't. Well, we were doing other things. So now this is me just chilling. So, <laughs> maybe I have to solve this. Maybe I have to solve this. Do we break the game? Is that possible? It's been possible in other games. Please tell me it's not possible. Pick from Ned. Oh, never mind. Never mind. There it is. 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 I uh we were doing the lock picking this. kit might just do the trick. Yes. Freaking finally. Lock picking. Yes. Trust in the truck. <laughs> Alright, let me see. Let me see. Okay, I have it. I have the the notes up that we took. I took a photo of Nancy's notes. So it says file cabinet every second one. So we have to do, let's see, blue. No. Uh, so it goes red, yellow. Oh, wait, no. Okay, yellow red green no shoot red no gosh darn it <laughs> yellow i don't know which where it's gonna pop up blue green all right all these corners are correct all right so and then it says every second one so we start with the r so red so every second one so red i don't know if i should okay yellow blue green 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 wait what okay i think i did that wrong hi minog what does it mean every second one do they mean like like what okay let's try that again girl better not show up like it took me forever to get her stupid truck to show up so it wants me to go this way and it wants me to start as red 
So if it's every second one, so it goes red, blue, yellow. So then yellow. And then red, blue. And then yellow, green. And then red, green. And then blue, green. I'm so confused. <laughs> Every second one? Okay, so we start. Okay. I literally have been doing this, though. How about we just do the order? Red, blue, yellow. Red, blue, yellow. Green, red, green. Blue green. <laughs> Get the C4. <laughs> Let's just tear it all down. That doesn't make any sense. It says, so identify object to open, check. Uh, find the object's lock pick rules below, check. Place all four picks first, check. And then manipulate picks in the order as instructed, beginning with the shaded letter. Can I like turn it? Can I only like click? Oh. Oh shoot. <clears throat> oh no. Yeah, oh no. Okay, hold on, hold on. I have my save file. Oh, we can just try again. Oh, okay, we're fine. Maybe I'm supposed to like- The lock picking kit might just do the trick. <laughs> oh no, you should hear the- Oh, there was one time he screamed, Lulu, it was funny. Okay, so let's try it. Maybe we have to take out the lock pick. I don't understand this. Okay. So it says every second one, it says start with red. And it says right click on inserted pick to remove it. So maybe we remove the red and then yellow and then blue. Wait, that doesn't make any sense though. <laughs> That's not right. I don't understand. I'm, I'm wanting to understand guys. I'm wanting to understand here. Hold on. Let me let me get the picture up so we can work on this together So you can see what I'm seeing. So give me a second. We might get caught again. That's okay. Hold on. I'm just look, give me a second. I'm trying to upload the photo Okay. Hold on. Let me get the photo up this is so confusing. Okay. All right. Let's put the photo here so y'all can see it. I'll zoom in. Oh, God. It's so zoomed in. <laughs> oh, where'd it go? Oh, here we go. Okay, so let's... So, you see how this says file cabinet? What the heck? <laughs> Trying to, like... <laughs> there. Here, and... Oh. There. You 
see that? So it says file cabinet every second one. This is what it looks like, all right? So what I've done, so I put the, the picks in in the right, you know, order, right? Blue, green, red, yellow, right? And then it says, start with the shaded one, so that's red, so R. And then it says, like, go, uh, go around, go around. But if I do that, if I do red, the next one, if it's every second one, it would be yellow. Yeah, so every second one would be red, yellow, blue, green, green, green. Exactly. But I did that. <laughs> Blue. A green, green, green. Twice? Oh, maybe again then? Red, yellow, oh, maybe. Hmm. It didn't do anything. But maybe, hold on, maybe I did it wrong. Let's try again. So red, yellow, blue, green, green, green. Okay, and then blue, red, yellow, red, blue. Red? Because I, th I did the every second one after. Maybe I have to reset. Let's try. Try that again. <coughs> oh no! Oh no! It's not getting me caught! I'm just trying to lock pick your file cabinet. Leave me alone. <laughs> Leave me alone. The Let me pick your lock just and do the peace. Trick. Lady. Red, yellow, blue, green, 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 blue, red, yellow, red, blue. Yes, red. got it. Oh, we did. Da. Whoa. Oh, ah, we did it. What's Tony doing with we town did hall it. plans? I should make sure Nancy knows about this. She has town hall plans? What? Proposed land use of historical building, or historic building city for River Heights. Demolition? Application fee paid. Pending litigation, Jennifer Davis. Tony, application information. Received 517. Original plat of South River replaced existing structure with new seven story mixed use complex. I hereby certify that all information and documents hereby and complete and accurate to the best of my knowledge. Yeah, what is she? How? What? Okay, what is this? Um, dear Miss Scal Scalarelli, thank you for your recent inquiry on the status of your proposed land app action application case 0817473 we are sorry to inform you that at this time the application is still pending in litigation if you have further questions you may contact our office directly jennifer davis mixed use application she, she, she wanted to turn this into like like offices and an apartment okay what she really has it out for nancy Oh, shoot. Attention, what follows is an incomplete list of criminal activities that have involved Nancy Drew or those associated with her detective operation. Miss Drew's unsanctioned activities are unnecessarily dangerous and do not serve the public interest. Keep in mind, this lady, her, what, her brother-in-law or something, or her cousin, I can't remember, it was Bennington, the Binningtons, and they're known for scandal. So who knows? 
Um, Miss Drew's actions have continuously resulted in large city funds expenditures and drastic drops in public approval. River Heights Police Department is fully capable of managing crime in the city and has proved it can do so quietly and efficiently. Now is the time to send a clear message that the city's tolerance for Miss Drew and her cohorts is quickly reaching an end. Amateur sleuth foils thief. Copyright and patent thief. Investigation of county court system. Uh, march to jail. Musician, musician declared a fraud. Theft of music written by a different musician. Offer st okay, I don't know if I can read all that. Is there any more? Crime ring exposed at Abel Mark. Stolen goods found at black on black market. Visiting astronomer revealed as a fraud. Imposter predicting be astronomer. Annual tradition saved by girl detective. Arson sabotage to shut down the nutcracker production. Checkmate. Local sleuth stops chess plot. Kidnapping and blackmailing to fix chess match outcome. Jeez. Poison found in prescriptions? Oh god. <clears throat> Dang it! Do I have to do it again? I don't know if it counted. The lock picking kit might just do the trick. Okay, hold on. I, since I know what to do now, we can quickly do it. I'm glad we were right. Red, yellow, blue, green, 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 blue, red, yellow, blue, red. Yes, got it. Okay. What's Tony doing with town hall plans? I should make sure Nancy knows about this. Yeah, you tell, tell what? her. Ned. She really has it out for Nancy. Teddy bear trouble at Barry Wonderful International Smuggling Operation. Antiquity fraud revealed touring exhibition exposes fakes. Up updated review process for city funded exhibits. Tomb Raiders take in to a new level. Repeated residential robberies. New fences and night patrols at Shady Glen Cemetery. Hauntings lead to a hidden treasure. Mysterious incidents to cover attempts of retrieving stolen goods free entry day at amusement park increased night security so this is what it's called like caused interesting all right we did it yes we freaking did it all right let's give it to nancy <laughs> hi juice box thank you I can't do this now. Can we give her the... Oh, we don't have anything to give. We just have to call her and let her know. He should have taken... Wait, we should have taken a photo and used it as proof. It looks like Tony was holding a major grudge against you. I figured as much. She's never been exactly friendly. Once I get out of here, I'm going to see how serious this grudge is. How's the case How's the case coming? It's not great in here, but I suppose it could be worse. If it weren't for you, this would be the worst experience of my entire life. She and I get knocked shady. unconscious and thrown into a dungeon every other week. We found some of Tony's files. I think she wanted to develop the town hall site. So there's a chance that she could have wanted the town hall to burn down. I'm going to see if my dad can help us out with this. Okay. I'm turning the case over to you. Nancy yes. Drew taking she's over. Not, she's not in her cell. The chief let her walk around to basically solve her own case because he doesn't know what to do. So we're just, Nancy's stuck inside the police station, but she's able to do whatever the heck she wants. Not a bad situation we got. Oh, no, get this. She didn't even get her phone back. So one of the police officers lost the key at somebody's... I forgot where we found him. And then, so we got Ned to go get the keys for her. So then she basically used that key. That was the officer's key that he lost. Ned gave it to her so that we could open up our locker, which had our phone in it. <laughs> so... <laughs> 
I don't even think the chief guy knows that we have our phone. <laughs> um, anyways, let's call dad. She had a phone to use anyways, but Hello? I guess it's easier to use her phone. We found a list that Tony's been keeping. She thinks I make city council look bad when I crack a case. Well, you do. Dad. But that's their fault, not yours. Yeah. Keep an eye on Tony. It is their I've fault. never trusted her. Yes. Do you know anything about Tony's development deals? Offhand, not much. What do you need? My friends found some paperwork of Tony's. It's starting to look like she might stand a profit from Town Hall being demolished. Let me look into that. Give me a call back in a bit. <laughs> Go ahead and keep it. <laughs> we call back now. Hi, Rebecca. Thanks for lurking. You've reached the personal line of Carson Drew. Please direct all business matters to the firm switchboard. What? Check. But now what? I think I've got enough evidence. I'm on my way. Not yet. It's got to be watertight. Ah! All right. Um. Let's call Bess. Yeah, Bess. Nancy, what's up? I need you to take over. Bess, reporting for duty. Yes. What's up? Until next time. Goodbye. Let's go confront this lady. Hello, how can I help you? You're fighting a lawsuit about the land the old town hall stands on. Yes, I'm in government. You want a full list of the suits I'm dealing with? Grab a notebook and clear your calendar for the rest of the week. What was going to happen with the old town hall? There is a proposed land use issue at the moment. We were thinking of dismantling the structure and replacing it with something more relevant to the city. It's nothing to get excited about. These things take years. Ah, but if you set fire to it... Did you do that chart thing with the accelerants? Yes, the only problem is I don't have anything from Deirdre of what could have caused the fire from her. But I did get her, Alexi, and uh, Brenda, who have what they could start the fire. Hi, I see. Is the town hall on the Historical Society's list of protected properties? Of course. That building is very important to this town. So, that means that no one could knock it down to build something newer, right? Well, that's the gist of it. Well, then why are you trying to knock it over and build something new? You wanted the building to burn down so you could sell the land, didn't you? <gasps> if I were you, I'd cool it. Understand me? Oh, is that a threat? I'll cool it with ice cream that I get for free. Another order of ice cream? I was hoping you'd ask. Cappuccino, cappuccino, cappuccino cream. Because I need coffee because I'm going to stay here all night long watching you. I guess lady. I could have one more bowl. Watching you. I'm watching you. Hi, welcome. You. What can I get for you? Catch you later. Goodbye. I will catch you later. In jail. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> she Until next up. time. Goodbye. <sighs> Curious the fire department really did take their sweet time getting there. Yeah, it's very odd. Like maybe, yeah, I don't know. This is how we defeat Tony. Eat all her ice cream and bankrupt her. Isn't she already doing bad anyways? Because she had to let go of her workers. Suspicious. Didn't they say something about like the fire? Oh, that must be what Nancy's dad was getting for her. Nancy, here's the chart your father asked to be dropped off for you, Christy. Tabular results of the 10 largest peak from common liquid accelerant. So I believe it was 45, right? 45. <gasps> Ethel Ether! <gasps> and that's what Alexi had! <gasps> At least I think that's what that says. Alright, let's go give this to Nancy. 
I love that house though. Like I would kill, one I would kill to have a house, just a house. And then I'd also kill to have that house. <laughs> god. Oh my god. Like it's so pretty and it's like the architecture inside is so unique. But they probably just drew that and it's not a real place, but, or maybe it is, I don't know. Ugh, so pretty. All right, let's call her. <laughs> Hello? Look at that eyelash. Oh. I'm passing the case to you. I'm on the case. Okay, let's go get it. I need to check this against the chromatogram results. Which accelerant was used? Ether. Don't think so. Wait, what? What do you mean? 45! Don't think so. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Retention time, detector response. Oh, 45 is here. Acetone? That's not it. Okay, I'm getting a little confused here. Okay, let's see. I guess there's multiple 45s. But 45 is so high. What am I not understanding here? Oh, 45, 100? Is, is that like what I'm... Is that 45 and then like... Uh -huh. Is that what I'm trying to find? Hold on, maybe that's what I'm trying... Wait, what is the... Which one's the RT and the DR? <laughs> it is a dream house for sure. I know, right? Can you imagine? 45? The fire was started with isopropyl alcohol, not gasoline. Adding this to the evidence against me will help prove I didn't start the fire. Don't know. <laughs> but yay! Oh shoot, I don't shoot, need though. any more evidence. I just have to make sure I've matched the evidence to the correct suspect. Yes. Uh, but I don't know who has the alcohol. That was more like a thousand. I know, right? So I was really confused by that. I'm confused. So acetone was Brenda, ether was Alexi, and tooling was, uh... Tony, but I don't know who had the alcohol. It wouldn't cause black smoke. Yeah, so something's not adding up here. I don't really know. I'm so confused. Let's blame it on Tony. Can you come look at the evidence? Be right there for an evidence check. That's not case closed. Should we blame it on Deirdre? Can you take a look at this? On my way. I disagree with your cop work there, Nancy. Yeah, maybe just leave it in new evidence. I think I've got enough evidence. I'm on my way. I disagree with your cop work there, Nancy. Hmm. She said she was working, can't confirm. Lied, scoop closed, not open.
about like that? I think I've got enough evidence. The note? On my way. Not yet. Keep working. <laughs> what do I need to move around? I think I've got enough evidence. I'm on my way. I disagree with your cop work there, Nancy. I think I've got it. Can you come take a look? On my way. Mm, not strong enough yet. Keep working on it. Shoot, dude, I have no idea. I think Brenda was the one who said she was working. Oh, possibly. True, true, true. Okay. Can you come look at the evidence? Be right over. Not yet. Keep working. Do you, do you think we need to give like this and then put a sticky note like that? I Maybe think it has to I've be, like, got enough evidence. Be right there for an evidence check. <laughs> Maybe we need red yarn. Not yet. Ah! Keep working. This probably has to go somewhere. I Blame think it on I've her. got enough evidence. She doesn't, Be right there she for doesn't an evidence have check. the alcohol, though. Mm, not strong enough yet. Oh, shoot. Keep Hold working on. on it. Hold on, I need to hide the image. Y'all don't need that anymore. Hmm. Here, let's hold that thought. Let's hold that thought because I just now remembered something. I just now remembered something. Hi, brother. Thanks for 26 months. I'm passing the case to you, Ned. I Time to something. help Nancy. There was a locked chest in Brenda's car. So we need to do that. How are you doing today, Brillo? Having a good Monday? Having the best Monday of the mall? Here we go. So let's get her you to leave. You have the Heights 9 action news tip line for Brenda Carlton. Tip line. Please speak clearly when prompted to report Some breaking news driving. in the North River Heights area. <laughs> say yes. Otherwise, say no. Yes. You we have indicated a breaking news story in fast. the North River Heights area. Brenda Carlton will be notified directly. Goodbye. Goodbye. There, here we go. Here we go. Now. Oh. Wait. What? We can't open it? Well, shoot, how are we supposed to open this? Does she have a key somewhere? Hmm. Does anybody know? How we can open it? Maybe we can't open it yet? How did... Wait, where did that one little key go? Can you zoom in on the monitors? No. Do you mean like these monitors? Dang it, I 
I was assuming maybe whatever was in here we needed to like get more evidence for Nancy, but Greetings. Tony thinks that you're bitter about what happened to you. Well, of course I am. You would be too. And that you're jealous of Nancy. Stop right there. If you're going where I think you are. Okay. <laughs> she suggested that you might be angry enough to take it out on Nancy for having everything that you don't. Get out. Get out of my store. Now. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> What's up? Goodbye. See ya. What's up? Bye. Talk to you later. Hello, how can I help you? You don't seem to like Nancy from what I've seen. What are you implying? Maybe you're a little too willing to see Nancy take the blame. I know you're upset, but don't forget who you're talking to here. Nancy has done a lot of very good things for the community, that is true. But she's also been a colossal nuisance. She's done a lot for this city. She has yeah. done a lot. But how many times did we actually ask for her help? Nancy Drew is the best thing that ever happened to this city. Touche. You are very passionate about this, I see. Let's hope for your sake that you're right. This town frowns upon people who associate with known felons. Is that a threat? Thanks. <laughs> Bye. Goodbye. A full flame Ned. <laughs> watch your back. Oh my god, watch your back, Ned though. How do I got it? Well yeah. Any word on the sample? Yes. It tested positive for isopropyl alcohol. It would take quite a bit to start a fire, so let's keep an eye out for a stockpile. Goodbye. Bye. Where do we find the stockpile? It said we had all the evidence, so there has to be a mistake somewhere, right? Oh, 100%, but I just... I don't know. <clears throat> Ooh, Ned the Risk Taker. Huh. Where was it found? Here! <laughs> Where the fire happened. Hi Todd, how are you doing? Okay, we gotta we gotta go back to Nancy then. What's up Todd? What's the newest deets with Hello. you? I'm turning the case over to you. I'm on it the case. It would have evaporated. Well, that was what it was found. Just interviews and stuff? How's interviews going? I'm trying to solve my own case. But what's wrong? What's wrong with it? Maybe this is wrong. I think I've got enough evidence. I don't know. Be right there know for an evidence check. Where to put this? 
That's a lot not of work. case closed. Dang it. A lot of work and I'm over it. I would be too, man. What is wrong? Do I need to put this? No. Does this not go here? These keys were found in his store. False outlet meeting canceled. This is all correct. Lied. Scoop, not close. Has to be Tony. Truly in supply call. Has to be her, because that was what we found. She has a snowflake ice cube tray and secret plans for town hall, the old town hall. And she had pictures in her off or her restaurant. Friends in it back alibi and she's a speeding ticket. Said she was working, can't confirm. And we're assuming that's her. Um, technically, Deirdre is the one who found this. But her fingerprint was on this note. So maybe that goes here instead. Can you come look at the evidence? I'm on my way. Not yet. It's got to be watertight. What's wrong? I say try the note with Deirdre. Okay, let's try it. I'm prom. I I'm promoted technically, so I guess there's that. Wait, that's really good news. I guess. I hope. I think. Does that mean more money? Maybe. Even though I'm interviewing elsewhere, they don't have to know that. So who cares? <laughs> I'll honestly use that promotion to get even bigger <laughs> amount at the other place. I think I've got enough evidence. Let's right try this. Let's evidence. try Check. this. Note with Deirdre. That's not case closed. You think this needs to be here with Nancy? Can you come look at the evidence? Be right over. Not yet. Keep working. Okay, let's try that with Nancy, but let's I try the I've note. It. With Can you Brenda. come take a look? Be right there for an evidence check. Not Nancy, yet. I need it's a gotta hint. It's got to be watertight. Hun, I need a hint. What is wrong? I don't understand, chat. I'm looking it up because <laughs> this sucks. Okay. All right. We were right with this and we were right with the note for Deirdre. But we did all that. But we did that, I thought. Can you come look at the evidence? Be right over. Mm, not strong enough yet. Keep working on it. Excuse me? Wait, maybe this isn't right then? <laughs> What's the solution? Darn you! What's the solution? I'm stumped. This has this has to be right. Watch it be something stupid like we miss one line of dialogue. Oh no, I hope not. Maybe this? But these are all... But these are all right. Maybe, does it have to be like more in the center?
Can you take a look at this? Be right over. That's not case closed. Can y'all look it up online? Because I'm I'm looking on my phone, but apparently I eh I'm still wrong. Here, maybe I need to call her dad first. Hello. Game Boomer said this is right. I better let you go. Yeah, Bye. I know. So I'm I don't understand. Can you take a look at this? Be right there for an evidence check. Hmm, looks solid. Looks like you just got yourself a get out of jail free card, detective. I think it was, it just, it, it I, whatever, whatever. We did it, we did it. We did it. That was so picky and unnecessary. So if it was off, the little thing, oh, that bothers me. But whatever. Freaking whatever. Did that. Haven't done that. Now that I'm out, I should talk to all suspects. I'm out of jail. I'm out of jail. Yes, I'm out. I'm out. Yes. Screw you, Deirdre. Screw you, Tony. Screw you, Alexi. Screw you, Brenda. I'm gonna go tell them to their face now. Not the good way. Look at me. Look, I'm out. Look who's out. Glad to see that you Freedom. can get them to see sense. Do you need anything? If you need anything. Thanks. Really? I didn't know you were following my case. Couldn't help. Small town. I want you to know that I didn't doubt you not for a second. That means a lot. Trust me. I know. I know what it's like to be in your shoes. It's the worst feeling you can have. You know, your friends really worked hard to get you out. I know. I should have worked harder myself. It's probably too late, but anything I can do to help you, anything you need to know, I'm your guy. Mm, do we trust him? All right, let's get him to ask, talk. What do you know about Tony? She railroaded you. Practically dropped the police at your door. Either she just hates you, or she's up to something that only you could crack. Interesting. Can you tell me anything about the fire? Anything I don't think at all? It was him. You know, I, I wish that I could. I, I already told everything I know. Except. <gasps> Except what? Okay, I went in. You what? what? I went in, into the building. I saw you come running out. You, you looked scared. I just knew it wasn't you who set the fire. And the reporter was just standing there, like she was waiting for you to come out. It wasn't right. Why didn't you say anything? It wouldn't have mattered. No one listens to me or trusts me. Will you testify to that? Yes, but it's not enough. You, you need more evidence. Huh. Why did Felt you like go into the town like hall when it was burning? The time capsule. Bennington told me he'd put the magnifying glass somewhere I wouldn't find it for years and years. I always assumed he meant in the time capsule. I was just hoping to finally be able to say, See? I didn't do anything. But I guess it's gone now. Aww. That, see, I knew it. He was looking in the time capsule to see something that could prove his innocence. Aww. Why did you become a detective in the first place? I was pretty young at the time, and back then my parents owned a shop much like this one. I wasn't much into the news then, but I knew in those days people didn't much like immigrant families like ours. One night, someone threw rocks through the plate glass window, completely shattering it. My parents were very upset, but they were afraid to go to the police. It wasn't done where we were from. So I took it upon myself to catch the culprit. Did you? <laughs> Never did. But that's when I learned that even a small, nice-looking town has its secrets. I decided I wasn't going to put up with secrets anymore. Why did you give up on being a detective? It wasn't a choice. The cases stopped coming. I'll let you go. Bye. Okay, I think I like him a lot. I like him. I like Alexi a lot. I take it all back. I like him. Even though he's really mean and grouchy, he's really freaking funny. But I I think that maybe he really was like Nancy, 
How are nice. you adjusting to life on the outside? Fine, thank you. I'm not in the mood to do an interview. That's okay. Everything you say will be off the record. You're still holding your microphone. <laughs> Sorry. Have it. Still holding it. All right. You're good. Word of warning, I will get the exclusive. I always do. Why wasn't your van at the fire? Why wasn't your van at the fire? Oh, shoot, it wasn't. It was. I just came separately. I share the van with other reporters sometimes. Can you tell me a little bit about your van? I never pictured myself as the kind of person to drive around in a van. But I have to admit, this one is pretty cool. Why is that? First thing, it's less of a van and more of a mobile action center. I spend more time in here prepping stories than I do at home. Why are you playing me up as the villain in the media? I'm just doing my job. I'm letting the world know about all of the suspicious things you've done. You should be reporting on the truth, not trying to grab a better job. My yeah. life is at stake. Mine too. And anyway, what good does telling the truth do if no one can hear you? Is there a way I could get in touch with you later? Good question. Why don't you take one of my cards? Is this your cell phone number? Yes. I don't know why we need that. You have the reputation of being the first on the scene. How do you do that? When news breaks, I get there first. Yes, I've seen the ad. I mean, how do you make it to the scene first? It's a secret she of the trade. Because causes them. You were at the scene of the fire so fast. How did you manage that? It's my job to be ready at a second's notice. Some people think I'm just lucky. I prefer to think I'm just that good. Do you mind if I look around in the van? Yes, for a variety of reasons, Nancy. First, it's mine, so no. Second, I have dirt on everyone in this town in here. And as a journalist, it's my ethical duty to make sure that all of the embarrassing footage I've got stays private until such a time that it is fit for broadcast. You mean, like, blackmail? No. No! Is that what you think of me? It's not blackmail. It's fact-checking. I have to balance the individual's right to privacy with the public's need to know. You didn't exactly extend that courtesy to me. Didn't I? I think the public needs to know everything it can about the criminal, I'm sorry, alleged criminal activities of the local self-appointed do-gooder. Bye. It's Bye. either her or Tony. I don't think Deirdre was in on this. Um, but like, oh, I feel like Tony has more of a reason than Brenda, but Brenda's like pretty high up there. Cause like, Brenda's the one who needs a story and wants a new job. Oh, no. yeah, Look what the cat dragged out of the jail. Good to see you were so concerned. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry if I was misleading. I wasn't concerned. I want to know what you were doing at the fire. Why were you there? Look, I don't care about the stupid clues challenge. Yeah, I you really do. don't. Yeah, you the do. The only reason I was in it was because my dad never shuts up about how I need to be active in the community and blah. Then why were you following me? I assumed you were cheating. Why would you assume that? Because I was cheating. I thought we were all cheating. That's why I thought it would be fun to catch you in the act. But instead, you did something super crazy. She was cheating. Which I did not anticipate. I didn't set the building on fire. That's cool. Just so you know, you do do a pretty great impression of someone who has recently burned down a building for no reason. Why are you hanging out here today? Can you tell your friend to stop spying on me? It's distracting. I'm not spying on you! <laughs> the fact that you responded proves my point. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Thanks for being so helpful, giving Ned all the information. Just yeah, look out for my number fun. one buddy. <laughs> right. Your right. boyfriend's cute, and you were in the clink. I think I'm blameless here. Well, I think. Relax, Nancy. I'm not one of those girls. I was just window shopping. Anyone can tell he's not going to budge on the you situation. It was just nice to spend a little time with him instead of the idiot boys on campus. 
I swear, you think they're gonna get more mature in college, but they just head the other direction. See you later. Bye. Hmm. Hi. That's all you're gonna say to me, Bess? I'm out of jail! Can I get you some ice cream? No, never again. Am I missing something? I thought you love ice cream. Loved ice cream. But then I had bowl after bowl trying to keep my cover, and then my brain froze. Permanently. I'm so cold, Nancy. If I don't make it, tell my parents I died of ice cream poisoning. Okay, okay. <laughs> I won't get you ice cream. Good. When this is all over, I could go for a room temperature snack, and then a warm snack, and then something hot. Baby steps. Bye. Bye. <laughs> That's cute. It was just me you shopping. All right, lady. Speak up. Nancy, we know you hate me. Happy to see that you're doing all right. Yeah, right. Just so you know, I've been pulling for you this whole time. That's, That's not what not I heard. what I heard. Well, you know what they say. Don't believe half of what you read and anything you hear. Including now? I see that your reputation is well-deserved. What do you want? Tell me about the fire. What were you doing? I've been over this with enough people already. I was out. I saw smoke. I made a call. Did you put pressure on the police to arrest someone? Yes, of course I did. You did? I didn't tell them who to arrest. I just told them to do their jobs. Aren't you worried that you pressured the police into making unnecessary assumptions? You would have done the same thing. You know it's harder than you think to run a town. If someone has to take the fall for the common good once in a while, so be it. Well, that's not very fair. Fairness is a luxury in government. It's sad, but it's true. Bye. Come again. <laughs> Mob wife Tony. <laughs> Ria, I wasn't trying to kill Can't her. Can't check that off yet. All right, explore the van. That's a really good idea. Let's explore the van. Her van. Ha, ha, ha. Hello, Ricky. After seven years. Oh, what the heck? I'll follow one second. I want to turn my lights on in the back. What do you mean seven years? It's been seven years since you've been here? How the heck? How do you know? It's been that long. All right. All right, let's go find Brenda. Or go snoop Brenda's van. Let's call her. There's a scoop you gotta go get, Brenda. There's a scoop. You have reached the Heights 9 Action News Tip Line for Brenda Carlton. Please speak clearly when prompted to report breaking news in the North this River Heights area. This voice reminds me yes. of the... Otherwise, say no. I want to find a man in finance. Six five, blue eyes. <laughs> I, feel, I feel like this is the same kind of accent. Yes! You have indicated a breaking news story in the North River Heights area. Brenda Carlton will be notified directly. <laughs> Goodbye. You <laughs> were banned. Okay, interesting. <laughs> All right. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, here we go. Okay. What am I looking at? I can't open that. But we can look at this. Look at that. Oh, look at this. Look at this. What is all of this? You're Bess Marvin, Nancy's closest friend and confidant. Yes. Did she tell you about her plans to burn down Town Hall? No. She didn't. I, I mean, she didn't burn anything. It must have come as a shock to discover what your friend had done. But she didn't. It's natural to be in denial. You just want the best for your friend, yes? Of course. Who else would she have told her plans to? No one. Has she always been secretive like that? No. So just recently? That's not what I meant. Does she have any enemies? Well, she solves crimes, so there might be some hard feelings from the people she's gotten in trouble. She solves crimes, so she must be pretty familiar with how criminals cover up their tracks. Yeah, she knows all of the tricks. Wait, what are you getting at? If anyone could get away with the perfect <laughs> crime, it'd be Nancy, right? Poor Bess. I don't know about that. So you think there's potential she won't get away with burning down Town Hall? That's not what I said at all. So you do think she'll get away with it? She didn't do it. She's not guilty. I can see that this is very emotional for you. Thank you for your time. We'll continue to follow the story as it develops. You didn't... You took what I said and screwed it all up. Oh no, Bess. You did great. I know it's upsetting, but really well done. I want to go again. Great. I'll find you as details develop. <laughs> oh, Poor Bess. Poor Bess. Wait. 
What's Deirdre doing back there? I should try modifying the settings of the other tracks to enhance the background track and hear what she was saying. All right. So let's turn... That's it. Only four more tracks to go. You are back, Marvin. Take his friend and confidant. What does bubs mean? Yeah. It sounds like she's saying, I didn't say anything. Marvin, Nancy's closest friend and confidant. Did she tell you about the... There's some nice birds. So wait, I can't change Bess's stuff? It's green, so I'm guessing that means I did it right. Eh? Your best Marvin, Nancy's closest friend and confidant. Did she tell you? Your best Marvin, Nancy's closest friend and confidant. What the heck? Yeah. I don't understand chat. Yeah. What else am I supposed to what else? What I'm kinda what do I need to turn like the birds up or something? How do I make this turn green? We need a mute. How what if I oh I see I can't move that now. Your best Marvin, Nancy's closest friend and confidant. Did you No, she didn't. I mean, she didn't burn anything. <laughs> what is going on? How do I fix this? This, she needs to be... Marvin, Nancy's closest friend and confidant. Your best Marvin, Nancy's closest friend and confidant. There. What the heck? Birds? But I think it, it matters, like, what this one's at. Like, I think I got lucky with Bess's.
Hmm. I feel like it's come it's it's getting louder when I make this one lower. <laughs> so I don't know. Uh what is the point of it? She looks like Nancy Drew. This is Bess. This is her friend. Um, we're trying to get to, we're trying to listen to what she's saying by adjusting the volume. Yeah, Lulu. <laughs> You, 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 you. I don't, I don't even understand what I'm best doing Marvin wrong. You are best, you are best, you are best Marvin then. Yeah, so you have to get both right. I got it. I got it. I don't know how the heck I did that. Oh, I got it too. What? How am I getting this right? Oh, hi, Jahara. Oh my god. Hi, guys. Thank you so much for the raid. I'm I'm being a snoop right now. We're trying to figure out what this lady is saying in the background by adjusting the volume levels. But hi, how are y'all? We're playing a Nancy Drew game. Speaking of, I need to save. What is she saying? I'm playing an older Nancy Drew game. I love these games. If you've never played them, y'all should. They're really funny um, and fun, of course, but they're funny too. Um, hold on, let me shout out Jahara. Jahara's my really good friend, guys. We all could go and follow her as well. I'd really appreciate it. Ah, oh, Sprinkle, you played Nancy Drew games? Yes! I'm currently struggling. Well, actually, I'm not struggling anymore. Now I got four out of the five. I just gotta... Oh, we did it. We did it. They're all green. Oh, yes. All right. <laughs> okay, let's see. I don't see anything. What? I saw her come through this way. It's no, gotta be here. She didn't. No, I mean, she didn't. Oh my god, Maybe we made it, it was so clear. In the fire. I'm thing. not imagining things. I know what I saw. Of course. I can't assume no. that. Who is she talking no. to? It's not here, okay? That's not what I meant. No, I'll find well, it. I'll so find it. Deirdre thought she was following me. Who was she really following? Oh my god. She was following... Oh my god. Didn't... We... Okay, hold on. Hold the phone. Brenda is the reporter, and she said that she used to dress up and disguise herself as Nancy, right? Oh shoot! So maybe... Oh my god. What is this? Oh yes! How Lucky. could Brenda have possibly made it to all of those interviews so quickly? It doesn't make sense. Brenda, here's your updated schedule reflecting the changes in tomorrow's lineup at the mall. Sorry for extra markups. I'd already entered your tracking data on the interview. 
end times from the unedited tapes and we and when we received your final edited story and was too lazy to pull it all back out. He loved a great job of making it to all your assignments on time. Yeah, how the heck? When was the fire again? Wait, what was... What does that say? Something? Breaking? Arson? I can't read that. Oh, there. Cancelled and covering breaking arson story. Interesting. How is she able to do all these, though? Presentation, interview, presentation, event coverage, special event. All right, she had, okay, we're gonna, we're still snooping through her stuff. Oh, what's this? Ms. Carlton, I understand that there has been some frustration on your end concerning our decision to pull your antiquity story from the national broadcast schedule. You have assembled a truly remarkable piece of investigation journalism, but the fact remains that you're trying to sell us on a story the public has already seen. Your investigation into the antiquities fraud is one of the best pieces of investigative journalism that's come across my desk, but Nancy Drew got there first. My advice to you at this point is to let this go. My patience is limited. If you call me again about my decision to pull your story, I understand that in no uncertain terms, it will be the last time I take your call. Get over this and regroup. Put together a new package and make sure you do whatever it takes to keep your story from leaking. Call me when you're really ready to take the next step in your career. I see big things for you here. If you can, cl if you can clear this big first big hurdle. Until you do, don't call. Dang. Beverly Hills. Is there anything else I can read? That was it? Really? Okay. All right, I think, oh, oops. And just what do you think you're doing? Oops. <gasps> I got caught. Oh no, I got caught. Do I need to look at that stuff again? Hopefully not, right? Oh. Okay, I don't think I do. Hopefully I don't. How could Brenda have possibly made it to all of those interviews so quickly? It doesn't make sense. Really doesn't. Unless she's a twin. And her... Remember? There was one Nancy Drew game where there were twins. And it was like a, sh a twist. Okay. Who knows? Maybe she's a twin. That's how she's able to get <laughs> there on time. All right. Um. Uh, what do we need to do? What do we need to do? Oh, we need to go talk to Deirdre. Haven't done that. Still have to do that. Let me explain. Did that? Oh, okay. What do you mean explore Can't the check van? Check that off yet? I did explore the van. Was there something else I didn't explore? Dang it, she's Hello. back. I'll let you go. Bye. <gasps> Hello, Nancy. See you later. Goodbye. She has the alcohol. Hold on. Let's get her out of the van. You have reached the Heights 9 Action News Tip Line for Brenda Carlton. Tip Line. Please speak clearly when prompted to report breaking news in the North River Heights area. Finance. Say Six yes, five, otherwise five. say no. Yes. You have indicated a breaking news story in the North River Heights area. Brenda Carlton will be notified directly. Goodbye. Goodbye. There. There Alcohol. it is. It looks like this is for cleaning the equipment. But if she has more... Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm leaning more towards Brenda being the one who did it. Mm-hmm. All right. I mean, Tony is still so close, though. All right, let's go talk to Dear All right, you... Hi. How do you think Brenda gets around town so quickly? She probably speeds and never gets tickets because she's good looking. Didn't you get what? a ticket from a red light camera? All right, 
that's a flaw in my logic, but I'm still going to assume I'm right. I've got no idea how she does it. Hmm. What do you know about the notes that were left for me? <laughs> Promise not to be super mad? No. No? Okay. Uh, wasn't expecting that. <laughs> Moving forward. That's not the first note I found. I found another note earlier on your porch. What did it say? It gave me a place to go. I went there. Nothing happened. That's when I thought maybe someone was expecting to meet you. Next time I intercepted the note and sent it your way. And you followed me. Right. Why are you admitting all this? I oh. thought you hated me. I do hate you. But I don't hate you. It's complicated. I just truly enjoy hating you, and I'd hate for something to happen that would throw off our equilibrium. <laughs> also, it's not fair. Well, that's really nice of you. Thanks. <laughs> and that's why I hate you. So much positivity. And you're welcome. I'll let you go. See ya. <laughs> I hate you. Hi, Nancy. Did you find anything out about Brenda? Friend of me. Oh, I forgot. Mm -hmm. Nancy, I'm so sorry about the interview. You know I'd never say anything like that. Brenda just... Took what you said out of context? I know. Don't worry. I know how she is. I was so worried you'd be mad when that came out. Has there been much traffic or road work these last few days? It's been the worst. It took me 45 minutes to get across the river Monday morning. It would have been faster to walk. When you were stuck in traffic on Monday, when exactly was that? 10. Chic Boutique's Chic Week doorbuster was kicking off at 10, and I was late. Nancy, it was a travesty. <laughs> but if the traffic was that bad, how could Brenda have made it to both of the interviews on her time log? Right. Either she's good at being in two places at once, or she's got some top secret route I don't know about. Interesting. You're still here? Well, this is just a really popular location. Or do you mean, like, I'm still streaming? <laughs> and I am out of... Yeah, Nancy got out of jail. Woo! I'll let you go. See ya. <laughs> how can I... How can I talk to Ned? Hello. Does River Heights have any shortcuts that most people don't know about? Shortcuts? No. They're the tunnels, but those are locked up as far as I know. Tunnels? Yeah, from back when everyone was worried about the Cold War. They've been locked for as long as I can remember. Doubt you could find your way in if you tried. What? Bye. Come again. Tunnels? Where's the tunnels? What tunnels, lady? What do you mean, what tunnels? Where's the tunnels? Here, what? Here, maybe we can go ask her? Are you taking the tunnels to get from point A to point B? Oh, yeah, I usually stream from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. What tunnels? Hi, Nancy. I'm stuck. Do you have any advice from your detective days? Times were different back then. The town's a lot nicer these days. You used to have lots of crooks running around in those tunnels. Oh, tunnels! Tunnels? Tunnels! Yeah, there's a whole network of tunnels under the town. They say they're from the Cold War, but they're even older. Built by smugglers and the like. And the city turned them into a fallout shelter in the 50s. Fallout! How do I find my way in? I don't know if I should help you with that. The tunnels are very dangerous. I have to find a way into the tunnels. My case depends on it. I see. You know, Nancy, when I was younger, I used to love to read. A good book always gave me great ideas. There's a book over there you should check out. I really don't have time for that. There's always time for this book. I always brought it with me on my adventures as a kid. You'll want to read it cover to cover. Bye. Good day. This book, Dust and Dirt. Alexi said cover to cover. There must be a coat on the book's cover. Dust and dirt, boring through it all. A critical review of standards, methods, and technological advances in archaeological studies. Okay. It's a coded guide for getting around the tunnels. The tunnels exist. Found great hidden entrance on the road out in front of the old antique shop. I should buy the shop someday. Which option below is the next step of the above sequence? Uh...
this. See? See. After you've picked an option, follow its rules on which marked doors to go through and the tunnel rooms. If you pick the correct one, you'll quickly find your way out again from any room. I think it's C. Yeah, C, right? Yeah. Option A. If only two doors... What? If only two doors, then continue ahead. Else, if entering maze for first time, then... <laughs> We're just gonna take these notes. notes and we're gonna bring them with us so he Alexi's said, guide said there'd be a tunnel entrance right outside the antique shop yes See a tunnel entrance? Is the van on top of the tunnel entrance? Did that? Did that? How do I go away? Hello, Nancy. You're the one who left me the notes, aren't you? Yes. You lured me to town hall. You led me to that room. All I need to know now is whether you were trying to frame me or trying to kill me. They both would have made a great story. You won't get away with this. You what? and I both know you have no proof. Oh my god, it is I've her. I've got your fingerprints. Oh. And... Oh no. And... I'll be on the air before you know it. What? Spinning your story so hard that every potential juror in this town will be itching to lock you up <laughs> and throw she, away the her key. Voice actress Far is from it. <laughs> I'm going to make sure everyone in this town finds <laughs> out who you really are. Yes, we are. Look, you do what you want. If I were you, I'd take it my head start Brenda. and book myself a flight out of the country. I'm not the type to run away. Before you say that, I'd take a good long look at Alexi. That man's sad, broken down, lonely life in that grimy old store you is world? your future if you stay. Your choice. <sighs> this is about the antiquity show, draw. isn't it? This is about you. Thank you, You know Sam. who screws up my leads? You. You know who gets in my way? You. You know who I'm sick of? Precious, special, Nancy Drew. I'm going to love watching this town turn its back on you. Girl, I found the culprit. Did that. Still have to do that. How do I stop Brenda? You know, we could just take that off the wall. Whack. <laughs> you know? Um, oh, what happened? Um, what was that? I'm so confused. How do I... <laughs> oh look i think it's that do y'all see this but she's parked over it <gasps> she's gone yeah say i call well kind of called it aha this must be how brenda gets around town so quickly there it is we found it we got it! Let's catch her in the act of lying, I guess. Oh, goodness. Choose a door? Or wait, hold on. 
Where? Oh, wow, it leads straight to the town hall. Oh. Okay, well, that's not where she is, though. Okay, so, wow, this tunnel leads straight to town hall. All right. Okay, let's read that piece of paper. Okay, after you picked an option, follow its rules on which marked doors to go through in the tunnel rooms. If you pick the correct one, you'll quickly find your way out again from any room. All right, option A, if only two doors. I don't understand this. Should I just like pick a door then? This one. I can't even open it. Yeah, maybe the it's not useful right now. <laughs> that makes sense. But like stop her. I don't know. We should get Ned to help. And Beth and George. Maybe they can each take a room. What's up? Ned, I need some help. Brenda's going to turn this whole town help. against me. I know. Things are looking pretty bad. I know. If Brenda runs this story, wait a second. Brenda might have a hold on the River Heights media, but I know a lot of people in Mapleton. I'm going to run there now. If I can convince the Mapleton Press to pick up the story on Brenda, I don't know if that will work, but at least we'll be fighting back. Ned, you don't have to do that. Go, yes, Ned, I yeah. I know you can handle things yeah. here. Let me work on this just in case. <sighs> Thanks, Ned. Goodbye. Hey, yeah, Bye. best boyfriend ever. All right, let's call Beth. Let's Thanks fight back. Beth. Leave Beth a message. What? Beth, we're in a crisis here. I am George. I am so important that you better leave me a message. I... Oh my god. What about our dad? Hello? Brenda Carlton is trying to convince the town that I'm guilty. That's the Carlton M.O., all right. No surprise that she'd be a muckraker just like her father. Oh, shoot. I know this is tough, but we're going to get through it. Don't let her get to you. <sighs> I'll do my best. Have you found out anything about Tony and the town hall deal? Nothing concrete. So you did find out something. Nancy, promise me you're not going to take what I'm about to say as proof that she's some grand mastermind. I love when you give me a disclaimer. That means you've got something good, doesn't it? According to a friend of a friend, she's the majority shareholder in the Heights development. Meaning? Meaning if something were to happen to free up that land, say a fire, for example, she stands to profit. How much? Let's just say enough. I knew it. This isn't proof, Nancy. It's motive, but not proof. Unless you're 100% sure that it's her, take caution. <laughs> Don't I always? Uh, no. Rarely to never is more like it. I hope that helped. Of course. Well, if she had to stand to gain, but she didn't, but she didn't do it, Brenda did it. So, like, what? Alexi's been pretty helpful. Do you think I should trust him? <laughs> He's got every right to be mad at me. But if anyone knows what you're going through right now, it'd be him. I always say you should trust your instincts. But if it were me, I'd listen to what he says. I need to go. Talk to you soon. Maybe they're in it soon. together. That's a very big possibility. Find a way to Haven't stop done Brenda. That. Well, yeah. I'm trying to figure out a way of how to stop Brenda. Is she going here? Whoa. Can't believe I made it out of here in one piece. We found the tunnels. Should we go talk to what? I'm so confused. We can't go in any of these. Freaking Brenda!
Nancy, I need to ask, why did you trust me right away? Your friends didn't. We sleuths have to stick together. Plus, my father said you were worth trusting. He did? He did. Well, that's, that's just, I don't even know what to say. I'm, I'm surprised to hear that, I guess. Like, will I, Dizor? Dizor? How do I say your name? Dizor? Dizor? I need help stopping Brenda. She's trying to frame me. Yes. If we don't help learn me. from the mistakes of history, you have to fight fire with fire. She's going to go after you with everything she's got until you show the world how rotten she is. Don't let her get away. Don't run away. Fight her head on. Okay. Find a way to turn this around on her. I know you can do it. I'll let you go. Good day. What? How? What? But how? What do you mean? Good luck. What? But how? I don't understand. How do I turn this on her head? Oh, should I call this lady? Oh, I don't have her number. Go ask people for help. Here, let's go ask Deirdre for help. She'll help me. <laughs> Burn her, her van down. Burn it down. <laughs> That's what I was here to do. Fight fire with fire. I mean, okay. Hello. I know it's Brenda that started the fire. She set me up. Ha! Good. I'm glad it's someone awful. You have proof? <laughs> I'm working on it. I wish I could help you. She's the worst. The absolute worst. She's only got that job because of her dad and because she's good at shortcuts or something. What do you mean by Brenda being good at shortcuts? She's got to be. She's always there we before anyone else. We already found the tunnels, else. Nancy. Next. That's all she's got going. I'll let you go. Later. Best. Hi, Nancy. Help. It's Brenda. It's she's Brenda. framing me, and she's about to go on the air to make things even worse. Yes, we're trying to stop her. I, I don't knew know what I to hated do. her for a good reason. Yes. What do we do? I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to have to stop that broadcast. How am I I'll let you go. See ya. What? How am I going to stop the broadcast? Hi, welcome. What can I get for you? Brenda's the one who set the fire. You've what? got to help me. Do I? I don't think that I do. You're fine with letting her get away with this? Do you know how hard it is to get things done with you around? You and your friends always snooping around, causing trouble. We don't cause trouble. We expose troublemakers. When you're stuck cleaning up the mess, it doesn't make a difference. Wow. My father tells me you're Deirdre. the majority shareholder in the Heights development. Technically. I have investments in that and other local organizations. Does that mean you could benefit from the sale of the land if it was no longer protected? I don't care for that implication. Yes, I could make money from the sale, but I invested in the property, which was languishing, by the way, as an act of public service. I think you set the fire on purpose to cash in on your investment. You think I set the fire? What is it? What is it about this town? I swear, working in city government is like posting a big sign that reads, Hi there, crazy people. Please drop in any time. <laughs> but you'd benefit from the building burning down. That establishes your motive. Yeah. I literally just told Book her yourself that a room Brenda on that it, sinking <laughs> ship and tell me how it turns out. When disaster strikes, people always look at the beneficiary. Always. Regardless of what you think of me. I'm not the type to burn down a building, and I'm really not the type to set myself up to be the main suspect. Can you prove that? You can't prove a negative. I don't have to prove that I'm innocent. You, on the other hand... I can't believe you're not going to help me stop Brenda. You'll get used to the idea. I can't believe you're a witch. Bye. Come again. Sneaky little witch. <laughs> You'll get used to the idea. I know, right? Freaking. I don't know what to do now, chat. I'm like, honestly, Can't how do I that stop off her? I don't know how to stop her. I don't know. I talked to, I think I talked to everyone. And then I went in the tunnels. 
like, there's nothing there. Unless. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, should we go to the police department? Maybe, okay, the police! 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 Help! I'm being framed! Police! The police will do something, surely! Surely, the police, help! Kid, I'm busy. No, but I, I mean- should leave you alone. What? All right, screw the police. They never do anything anyways. Ah! <laughs> I'm going home. Screw this. <laughs> I honestly don't know where to go. Oh, who's that? Nancy, you're out. Oh, is I was this so George? worried. You have no idea. Oh, it's George. Thank you for your help. You guys are the best friends in the George, world. George, help me. We're not out of the woods. You need anything, you let me know. So, how's the case coming? Okay. Much better now that you're out. We're a team, but nice I still like it when you music. lead the way. <laughs> you're right, I didn't talk Do to Do you George. know about any tunnels and river heights? Yeah, I didn't know that they were actually real. How cool is that? Hi, Ninja! It's Brenda. She's setting me up. I knew you'd figure it out. Now I just need to figure out how to stop her broadcast. Say no more. I know just the thing. What? Let me go grab Finally. It. If you can go find a battery for me, I'll be right back. A battery. I have to find a battery? Okay. I'm on it. Freaking, freaking George with the solution. Heck yeah. Where's a battery? I don't know. Is there a battery? Oh, battery! Found battery. Got it. All right, George. Battery has been found. Oh my gosh! Who would do something like that? Someone could really get hurt. <laughs> the piano is okay, though. Who would do this? Arsonists will bet a, or get a taste of their own medicine. Oh! <gasps> Some of the fine citizens of River Heights have been expressing their outrage ever since you were arrested. I can't believe someone would do that. Don't worry Not about it. Window. They're just a big bunch of cowards. We'll take care of this for you. Were you able to find anything to stop Brenda? I think I've got something good. Sort of. It's in pieces, but I'll figure it out. Maybe you could help? Of course. What is it? A jammer. Once this baby is up and running, there'll be no way she can get her broadcast on the air. Do you have the battery? Oh, yes. Yeah. Here. That's exactly yeah. the one I need. Perfect. Perfect. We need to hurry. Yes. I'll work on getting all the pieces wired Jammer. up. If you could work on getting all the connections powered on. Okay. You got it. I need to get all of the connections powered on. Right. Don't worry guys, this jammer will be fixed in no time. That's why they call me Nancy Drew. What? Oh, nice. Good, doing good. Maybe I should focus on this one too. Um. The heck? <laughs> I like how she just puts the rock back on the piano. <laughs> oh, how nice. <laughs> she just leaves it there. Oh my god. person angry at Nancy for not being in jail anymore? Like, 
the audacity that Nancy has of not being a criminal. <laughs> like, what the heck? <laughs> we have a rock to use on Brenda, just saying. <laughs> That's, that was Nancy's dad to motivate her? What? <laughs> I may not come to you because I'm in Australia, but... Wait, what am I missing? Wait, I literally have one left. Uh, wait, I have one left. Chat. Oh, here. Yes. There we go. Got it. Got it. This should Done. keep Brenda from going on the air for yeah. a little while at least. Yeah, Brenda. Perfect. Jamming it you'll up. You need to connect it to the signal box in Brenda's van. She should be using the standard system, so you'll just need to connect the two together. Got here, it. take a look. Freaking there George are colored is wires so good. with this. Just connect the identical color terminals with a matching color wire. Be careful not to cross any wires, though, or it'll short out and not turn on. Oh, Once it's good. on, it'll be blocking the signal, but will only last for about 30 minutes before the battery dies. <laughs> Was Natty secretly angry at Nancy for ditching him all the time? I wish I could make it last longer, but it's the best I can do right now. Go find a way to put it on Brenda's van's antenna, but don't let her know it's there. Once it's on, you'll have to move quickly. It won't last long. What's going on? Any new developments? Ned called. Things aren't going well in Mapleton. Oh, no. That means we have one shot at this. Okay, George, think. You've done enough. Don't worry. I can't just sit here. You need backup. Okay, you go for Brenda. Bess and I are going to the station. I'm going to send Bess in to sweet talk the management. Oh. If that fails, I'll try my best to cut the broadcast from the station. I don't know if I'll be able to figure out their system in time. Sitting here won't help. I gotta get moving. Nancy, good luck. Heck yeah, George. Yeah, her name's George. Heck yeah! <laughs> Maybe it was Alexi. He just felt like being sassy with a rock. <laughs> Alright. We'll just jam it up on her car. How do I put it? So wait, I put it on her, oops, I put it on her antenna. Jammer should go here. All I need to do next is match the colored terminals. But they can't cross, right? Georgia, but nobody calls her that and she hates it. Oh, backstory. I didn't know that. Go up and over for red? Okay. 
as opposed to like, like that. One up and then over like this. But what about green? Maybe it's blue that's the problem, but that's... Because the green always blocks the blue. Go straight up from the bottom purple. Oh, like that? Keep red how it was. Okay, let's try this again. Hmm, maybe it's the yellow. Left the purple go around for green. Let the purple go around for green. Um, keep red how it was. I think you can make bottom purple go straight up and then green can go past it. Okay, hold on. Keep red how it was. So go up first for purple and then around red. Okay, so like this. Mm-hmm. Right? <laughs> now green down of purple and up to blue. Oh, like this. Yes. Oh, yes. Signal Thanks, is chat. getting jammed. Time to hurry. Oh shoot. Oh, a key. F C two one B. Okay, this is a tunnel entrance. All right. Good. Yes. Yes. Tunnels. Okay. All right. Which is this key for? I can't remember the number already. Try them all. She can't do the oh, this key. That's done. Did that. Explore the bunker. <gasps> this is her stash. Look. Oh, a screwdriver. That's definitely enough isopropyl alcohol to burn down town hall. Yes. What's in her bag? This is definitely enough evidence for the chief to know it was Brenda. Yes. Is that a wig? Brenda! Nancy? Lose something? I'll be honest, I was not expecting to see you here. Dang it! Clever move with the jammer. This is how you got into town hall to start the fire, isn't it? If you have to ask, do I need to bother to answer? Why? Why would you do this? You've got the next 10 to 20 years to figure that out. I'll give you a hint. If they give you TV privileges in the big house, you'll be seeing a lot of me. But why frame me? If I didn't, you'd screw up everything for me. And now you can't. Ha, huh, here it is. Take a good look. It may look like a tape, but to you, it's the final nail in your coffin. We need to get out of here and stop Brenda before she broadcasts whatever is on that tape. Let me out! She locked me in. I need to find another way out. She was throwing darts at my shadow. Ooh, <laughs> Stuck. Oh, there has to be a way to get this open. Screwdriver. Oh, yes. Oh, perfect. All right. Now for the maze. <laughs> okay, so we got circle, square, uh, that, and rectangle.
Okay, if entering maze for first time, then that. All right, this one. If is not next to that, then circle or square. If entered room through circle, then not circle. Well, circle's the only option. Is there two circles? There's two circles. Oh my god, this is so confusing. If it's a circle, then not circle. Okay, so we go back to this one. Okay, here we go. <laughs> okay. All right, we got... If is not next to that, then circle or square. But it is next to it. If four doors in square, then rectangle. Okay, no. <laughs> am, I am I doing this wrong? I think I'm doing this wrong. I think I'm doing it wrong. Should I go back? Maybe I should go back. I don't remember what door. Oh, I think that was the wrong door. There. Oh, entry. Okay, okay, okay. All right, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. All right, so I think maybe not the, I don't understand the ABC. Cause it says if only two doors, then continue ahead. Oh, if exactly three doors and one of them is that, then this. Cause I did this, but I don't know. Uh, if one of them is a squiggly, none of them are squiggly. Okay, so let's do C. If exactly three doors and one of them is a square, then not this one or circle. Okay. Wait, then not... Okay, but we have two options then. None of them is this. We only have a circle. Okay, hold on. So, with this, we have a rectangle. What? <laughs> Finishing this in one stream is pro Nancy level. Thank you. Uh, does the option A, B, C refer to the different dice? Oh, yes. And the an answer is C. So it has to be C. Okay, hold on. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Okay. Oh, I went through something I wasn't supposed to. Option is C. Okay, if exactly three doors and one of them is square, then not rectangle or circle. Let's try this one then. I don't freaking know. Alright. At first four doors with no take rectangle. Maybe that was four doors. <laughs> So wait, maybe this is four doors? Cause technically this was a door. So then take rectangle. Okay, we're taking rectangle. Maybe this isn't an order.
order, chat. Okay, there's only two doors, so we just go through. Okay, so we just went through this one. Okay, there's four. There's four doors. At first, four door. Now it's not first, though. Technically, it's our second. I think I did this. This is so confusing. Oh my god. Ugh, okay. If three symbols match, then take center one of matches. Okay, no. However, we do have these squiggly ones. If exactly three doors and one of them is square, then not, okay. Okay, if blank is next to rectangle, then circle. Okay, it's not next to rectangle. If it's not next rectangle, then this one. Okay, then this one. Okay, did it. Okay, I think this is the only option, so we have to go through circle. Okay, we went through circle. Not circle. Okay, this is our only option. <laughs> One, two, three. Okay, three options. Okay, if squiggly is next to rectangle, then circle. Okay, it's not next to rectangle. Or whatever this is. Okay, then this one. <laughs> okay, there's three rooms. Okay. Okay, so it says if uh, exactly three doors and one of them is square, then not... So not this one or this one. So it has to be the square one. Okay. Didn't we... Okay. two doors oh here we go no wait okay hold on okay so there's three there's a square dang it it's a square oh god i'm getting I'm <laughs> the timer <laughs> i'm doomed i think i need to redo this I think I got confused of what's considered a door and what's not, because we technically got rid of the door. All right, I'm just gonna wing it. Go straight, Nancy. Take whatever door you see. Go, Nancy. Any door. Find the escape. Wait, is the timer dead? Oh, darn it. <laughs> Oh no, it's too late. Brenda's broadcast is yeah, in. Yeah, yeah. Nancy, I'm so sorry. All right, let's retry. I don't do well with timers. I wonder, I mean, whoever framed Nancy could have easily killed her in the fire. Uh, I need to get out of here and Brenda. stop Brenda before she broadcasts whatever is on that tape. All right, chat, I'm gonna take y'all's suggestions. Because <laughs> stuck. Oh, there has to be a way to get this open. Alright, first room. And it's option C, unless I'm wrong. I think I'm right. It's option C. Because it goes four leaf or cl clover, clover, heart, heart. Uh, uh, square, square, clover, clover, heart, heart, heart. And then, yeah, see? It's C. So. So it says, if only two doors and continue ahead. All right. Oops. Oops. Wait. 
wrong. Oops, didn't mean to click forward. Okay, so we are in this room. We have circle, rectangle, square, and then half circle. So, there, I took this one. It says, at first four doors with no of squiggly, take rectangle. Should I do this one? If you've played this game before, don't answer that question or any of the questions following. If you haven't played this game, then I'm more than willing to take your suggestions. Um, so, we entered, what did we enter through? We entered through a circle. Okay, so technically if you've entered through that or a circle, then not circle. So, not circle. Well, that makes sense. <laughs> All right, I'm thinking it's this one. At first four doors with no squiggly take rectangle. So let's do that one. I think that's the only one that matters. Unless, is it says, if it says exactly three doors and one of them is square, that, no, it has to be the first four doors. So we have to take rectangle. All right, rectangle. We're in rectangle. All right. So we just came from rectangle, and this is the only door, so we have to go forward. So we just went through a semicircle. All right. We have semicircle that we just came out of, and circle. Wait, didn't it say if you entered through semicircle, then not circle? Okay, so not this one. So it's either this or the squiggly. So let's see. If squiggly is next to rectangle, then circle. It's not. If squiggly is not next to rectangle, then it's this one. That makes sense. So let's go forward. This, we're doing good. This is it. So we just came from here, and the only one we can is a circle. A circle. All right. Okay, still, only one option, so we go through. All right, just came from squiggly. Okay, we got squiggly, circle, no, we got circle, and this one. All right. So if squiggly is not next to rectangle, then it's this one. So I'm thinking it's this one, unless there's something else. Okay, we don't have any squares, so it's not the first one, not the second one, none of them match, and we entered through a squiggly, so I think it's this one. If I end up back in the room, I'll cry. Okay, so we just came from here. There's three doors. So we got circle and a square. So there's three doors, three doors. Exactly three doors, one of the square, then not this or the circle. Okay, then it has to be the square. Okay, we'll go through the square. All right. Okay, what do we got? We got, we just came from a square. Okay, this is the only option, so we'll go here. All right, we got half circle. We got the squiggly. Okay, half circle it is. <laughs> half circle. Okay, we got half circle and a half circle, and that's it. So half circle. Okay, we got, it. We just came from half circle. Oh, freaking, that's the only option. Okay, go through squiggly. All right, go through square. Got a lot, oh, here we go, three, three, three rooms. Okay, we came from the square, and we got this and this. Squiggly is not next to... Okay, hold on. Exactly through one of it, then not that or that. Okay, what? That means I just go back through the, the door that I came from. But they want me to go back through the door that I came from? What? But I'm so confused. <laughs> the first door can't be circle, open, bottom, rectangular. Wait, what? Thanks, Free. 
This is, makes no sense to me. We literally just, what? I thought you had to go in the order it says. I don't think you do. You just have to follow the rules whenever they appear. Oh wait, hold on. Shoot, I am lost again. I'm just going back the way I came. Clearly I did something wrong. <sighs> All right, there's four doors here. There's a squiggly though. Ugh. I'm lost. Okay, Squiggly is not next to that. So then, if it's not next to that, then it's this one. then take center one. So this is the center one. Yes! Something new. Yes! Okay, this is the only option. So, square. Okay, hold on, chat. Maybe we're on to something. Okay. We came... <gasps> we did it! I knew we were getting close. Today just keeps on getting better. What is that? What is that? Oh. Freedom! Yeah! Freaking freedom! <laughs> what is, what was that thing that I got? Was it a medallion? What was that? Hi, lovely. Thank you so much for the resub. I think, I think I got one of the rooms mixed up, but we are able to find our way out. Woo! Police! Police! Chief, I've got something you need to see. That's Nancy. Nice job, Nancy. Could no longer contain the darkness inside herself. In a desperate act, she set the night sky ablaze. Perhaps we'll never know what caused Nancy Drew to strike the oh, match that forever charm? changed this town. But one thing is certain. River Heights will be a safer place with Nancy Drew behind bars. Dang. With a heavy heart, we must forever say goodbye to a former hero and look bravely. Excuse me, I'm in the middle of a broadcast. Brenda Carlton, you're under arrest. Yeah. No, this isn't happening. You can't do this. Get your hands off of me. You don't want to mess with me. I've got dirt on all of you. I could ruin every single one of you. What? Yeah, that's a risk we'll have to take. <laughs> Back to you, Jim. Dang. Dear Hannah, Brenda was Caught right her about alive. one thing. Her broadcast did make it all the way to the national news. Dang. Just not exactly the way she had intended. Not the type to let a little thing like a prison sentence get in the way of her ambition. She's already started working the weather news desk at Heights Regional Correction Center. <laughs> I'm sure she'll work her way to the lead anchor desk during the next 10 to 20 years. Her hair still looks While good Tony in jail. had nothing to do with the fire, she did show her true colors. As she the details did. of the case emerged, public support for Tony fell to an all-time low. Yes! Tony quietly removed her name from the ballot, but remains behind the counter at Scoop. It'll be a while before That's any it? of us go out for ice cream again. Really? To everyone's surprise, the time capsule survived the fire. <gasps> and sure enough, when it was opened, J.P. Bennington's so-called stolen property oh was recovered. Yay. After decades, Alexi was finally vindicated. Dad is working on formally pardoning Alexi of all wrongdoing. Yay! For once, yeah. Alexi seems late, pretty though. happy. When I asked him if he's interested in being a detective again, he said, never again. Aww. But he did say he would be happy to help anytime. 
Deirdre is still Deirdre. She's throwing a post-clues challenge party this weekend. Not surprisingly, Ned's been invited. And not surprisingly, Best George and I have not. Not that we go anyway. The town hall is set to be demolished soon and replaced with a new museum celebrating the history of River Heights. Word is that Alexi may be asked to be head curator. <gasps> now that I've been publicly exonerated, the town has really started yes. to show its support again. Oh, yay, my neighbors no more have rocks. gotten together to repair our window, and my house is overflowing with notes of support and baked treats. For me, it's just nice to no longer be public enemy number one. They sure turned on As Nancy the pretty fast, though. I got to choose what to place in the time capsule. I'm pretty happy with what I chose to put in there. If you think about it, you'll be able to figure out what it is. Or you could always wait 50 years until it's reopened. What do you think is in Finally, it? I couldn't have gotten through everything without help from the best friends a girl could have. And, of course, your wonderful gift basket. Can't wait to see you. Love, Nancy. The people in her town are savage. I know. They were so mean and so, like, quick to jump. Um, oh, it's 2,500. I remember. Uh, or 250,000. They were so quick to jump on her. And now they're like, oh, you didn't do it. Here, have a gift basket. I'm sorry I threw a rock in your window. <laughs> All right, it's this answer. I remember. I got it right. Yay. What is this? Audio analysis for thoroughly reviewing the files. I did not do that. Belly full for not working on an empty stomach. Cartographer knowing your way around town. Dairylicious for trying the flavors. Didn't find the Easter egg, but there is one. I never find Easter eggs. Emergency call for trying to get through. Okay. Fire specials for tracking down the possible starters. Legal lawyer for following the paperwork. Numberista for a love of the game. Are they talking about that game in the scoops thing? Quotable noter for successfully swapping. Okay. Team player and trivia tamer. Here we go. All right, guys. We have the, when we do the credits, they're going to show two things one i think the second thing one is going to be the next game and two there's going to be like a silly little blooper thing i think so let's watch it this is the next game i can't Halfway believe i finished across this. the world beyond cairo and the ancient pyramids a lost world rises from the shifting desert sands Ooh. I've joined leading archaeologists to help unearth a site that some say may be the true tomb of Egypt's legendary lost queen. But once I arrive, rumors of terrifying curses fly, and stories of the site's deadly past begin to surface. It's up to me to solve an ancient riddle and find Egypt's legendary lost queen before a curse as old as the pharaohs themselves seals my fate forever. Ooh. Ooh. Join me in my next adventure, Tomb of the Lost Queen. Tomb of the Lost Queen. Ooh. She'll get trapped in... Oh, look! My photos! It's when I find out that Brenda is the evil one. This is the only photos that I took. <laughs> I love that it shows the photos that you took at the end of the game. <laughs> I remember Kyla got Nancy mummified in a museum in another game. Is that what I... Oh yeah, I did do that. Nancy, now you know full well not to mess with an ancient tomb like that. Yeah. <laughs> Yikes. Well, that was fun. I did not expect that to be finished. I literally thought it was going to take me two days. But it took me one. How do I rate this game? I definitely say this is one of the better ones. Um, I don't know how I would rate it though. Maybe I'll give it a uh, maybe an eight out of ten. There wasn't enough funny scenes where I could have died. It was just more of like getting caught. Whereas some of the other games, there's some really funny scenes. Um, yeah, I don't know, but I liked, I liked being able to switch between 
Ned and Bess and George. And we, we got to see everybody technically except for Ned. We didn't get to see him like in person, but we did see a photo. Oh my God, is that how much money I spent in the ice cream? Oh my God, that's my bill? I ain't paying that. I ain't paying that. What are you talking about? What is that? I ain't paying that. The dialogue is top tier. Yeah, they did really good. I love the switching. Oh wait, is there no bloopers? Is Dare that the blooper? Play. Wait, what? No blooper? Oh. Don't forget to pay it on the way out, Kylie. Uh-huh. Dang it. Why did I, it literally says town hall on it. Why did I think Nancy? That was Nancy's house. 